Hello, hello, hello. Oh, wait a second. The ads are playing. I'm gonna wait a minute. Do I want to do a poll? Should I eat my green white fish in or order cake? I'm going to let you all use your points to vote. <laughs> I need you guys to spend your points on something. I need you all to spend your points on something, my love. I don't know what, but something. I need you all to spend your points on Oh my god, wait, the ads are still a minute playing. Oh my god, these ads are forever. These ads are forever. What the heck? Sorry for this. I like to run ads when we start so you won't get them during the stream. Or less. Spending their points. It's working. It's working. God damn, you all suck. <laughs> you all suck. I was so excited to order takeout. You all suck. You want me to sit here and eat my healthy food? Just follow your heart. This isn't a democracy. Yeah, sometimes I remember that this is in fact an autocracy and I can do I can do whatever I wish. But I will respect what the momos want. The momos don't want me getting thicker, heavier, chunkier. I get it. Yeah, I have my antenna off for a second. I want to have small brain right now. The monarchy decided and they have chosen. <laughs> they choose it that I am to eat healthy food. All right. Give me maybe just five minutes to eat a little bit of fish before we start the stream, or I will get too hungry. For anybody that doesn't know, you can't hear by my voice. I just woke up. <laughs> I took a nap after the first collab. I finished the collab. I took a bath and a shower. And then I did a little bit of work, and then I napped for about an hour. So it's going to take me, you know, a little bit of minutes to... To be clear, I voted for takeout. Thank you. Saraz contributed 19,000 channel points. Saraz, be honest with me. Where did you put those points? No pressure. Where did you put those points, huh? Where did you put them? Hmm? Nobody will know my choice. That means you voted or not take out. All right, let me get my fish. not bad it's just white fish that's seen you know what i mean it's it's not bad at all but i just you know i yes the vi <laughs> everyone's like come on mata eat so we can play some dwarf fortress come on eat mata eat faster oh hold on with it i have this hot sauce i put hot sauce on everything from a brand called Empty Hell. I bought it when I went to a convention this summer in Montreal. And it is called the Quina Cafelada. It's really good. 
um, spicy sauce with cafe limo and smoked pineapple. I don't know what a cafe limo is, but it's good. It's good. Thank you, Voitan. I appreciate the bits. How is everybody today? You having a good day? Who was here for the morning collab? And now you're here for the night cozy stream. I, I got a little hyper in the morning collab. Probably because I drank so much tea. And it made me feel a little hyper. You were present? Aww. I had a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to play more of those games. I just never really played a lot of Left 4 Dead. So I'm not used to like looking at my environment. But just noticing where like the bins and the environment are and stuff like that. And it sucks because I feel like my character is kind of made to go up front. But then staying with the team is what regenerates shields, right? Mm. I was, Phantom. I was. Mm. Thank you for the bit. But don't worry. I'll have the VOD on Twitch for you all soon. Ooh, what kind of chores did you have to do? Both Zen and I streamed the collab. Um, but I'm already going to be uploading my VOD on the Twitch VODs section. Thank you, Evo. I appreciate it. Hey, Manta Mama. We love you. Just want to let you know that. Thank you so much, Aurelius. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Having a little bit of fish, and then we're going to do a little bit of mining. Mm. Good, Gore. That makes me happy. I hope you're enjoying the VODs. I am so sorry the VODs are not in order right now. It should be better from now on. I apologize. I know it's so annoying that you have a VOD where it's like the 17th, and then the 20th, and then the 19th, and then the 18th. I am so sorry, but I do have the date on them. I apologize. Mm-hmm. I'm eating Joel right now. Mm. And they're delicious. Don't worry about it, Agitated. Honestly, d d is very important. I absolutely get it. I think streams, as amazing as they are, they should be kind of like the hot sauce on the meal that is your life, right? So, for example, I wouldn't be eating the hot sauce alone that's a little blasphemous i i would eat the fish alone but you know a little bland but having this hot sauce on this fish just lights up my life in a very very nice way so i feel like my stream should be the hot sauce in your life you know so D, &D with friends don't miss that for a stream that's super important D, &D with friends especially having like, just the fact that you have a group of people that you play D, &D with it's not always something that's easy to find Especially because sometimes some of your friends want to not troll in the game, right? They want to take everything serious. And then sometimes other people, they only, only want to troll. So finding the kind of party and the kind of setup that works for you is awesome. Chris, I am learning how to play this game, yes. Mm -hmm. I played for about two hours last stream. And dug into an aquaphor and had a great time. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to try to not dig into an aquaphor and just get better at the controls. It's still a lot of stuff to kind of... It feels like there's a lot of information, but as I absorb more of it, it'll get easier. Thank you, Wendigo, for gifting to Leonardo. I appreciate it. Hmm. Cutlass, I wonder if you could find like a D and D group where somebody is already an experienced DM, but then you will be the one DMing. And if you're kind of missing out on anything, they'd be okay to help you. Oh, I'm sorry, Dark Striper. That sucks. Yeah, AJ Shell, I feel like once you become an adult, finding time with people is hard. I have this problem too. Um one of my close friends. I'm sorry, I have food in my mouth. <laughs> they bought a house pretty far away. And they bought a small dog. So they both can't really be out of the house for too long. And I'm friends with the couple. I'm friends with both of them. So 
they can't be out of the house for too long because they have their little dog that they need to like you know make sure while they're still young that they're there for the dog so it doesn't get lonely and stuff like that and then getting there it's like an hour drive past any public transit and then getting back and you know if i go there i'd want to stay over so that we could maybe drink maybe have a good time but then that also means that i have to take a day off i have to go all the way i have to go all the way back It's been harder to find time. Yeah, puppies need a lot of attention. Exactly. All right, I'm pretty much done eating. I cooked like a bunch of these fillets of fish with just a little bit of onions and um, tomato and lemon. And so I just, I eat one fillet. I'm good. I didn't cut up my veggies. <laughs> so I just, I just had fish, no veggies, no nothing. You know what? I can finish. I have a really tiny piece of fish I can finish. But if I'm hungry later, I have Greek yogurt with fruit. I just really need to do groceries tomorrow. Which I think I'll be able to do because I only stream once tomorrow. <sighs> Thank God. I have such an easy day tomorrow. Only eight hours of Vampire the Masquerade. Easy. You've been playing D&D &D on Mondays. Seriously, if you have a group of dedicated people for that, that's amazing. You got this. Mm. I feel full and delicious. Mm. That sucks, Nolan. I hope you can watch streams and do it. Can I just like put the streams in the background like a podcast? I'm sorry to hear that, Wing. That sucks. But I hope you find another one soon. Mm. So Some of you are making me so happy to see that you hang out with your D&D &D friends and others. I feel sad. Craving the taste of coffee. Oh. The hiki don't say that. That's so scary. Don't say that. Oh my God. I don't know why this hot sauce. I'm pretty good with spicy things. Not, you know, the best, but I'm pretty good. And this hot sauce, I don't know if it, there's a spice in it that I don't eat often, but it always kind of... I mean, it is called Empty Hell, but it, it really, like, catches me off guard where I'm like, I, I need a second to, you know. Ooh. Longbow, that's another big diff a big problem with a lot of D&D &D groups. You basically have to play one shot. Otherwise, good luck finishing your campaign, you know? Yeah, I need a second to just, like, uh... As a forever DM, I got one taste of player freedom, but I've been chained for campaign three. Mm, how's player freedom treating you? That's why you kidnap your D&D group and unchain them from the basement every Monday so that they play, right, Proto? Proto Gays. I like that name. Yeah, Zoro, we're talking about this. We're talking, half of us are either saying how amazing it is and how often people meet up, and the other half is like, we never meet up. Oh, 
All right, everybody, it's time. So, hey, that wasn't that bad. I started the stream, did an intro eight, all within 30 minutes. That's, I'm pretty proud of myself. I am, I am pretty, pretty proud of myself. That's, wow. Hmm. Let's see, maybe we have half booba today. Half booba. No full booba, just half booba. Okay? Half booba today. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Don't worry. I'll have my claws out soon. I'll have my claws out soon, baby. What if we're just ahead today? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just a little ed. A little booba as a treat. Exactly. A little tiny booba. I know, D-Man. I'm starting the game and I ate and I like woke up, you know? Okay. Can you all help me find a really clever name on Twitch? I don't know how to do those clickbait titles to make you walk in. I have to be like, I'm with Stinky. The person to my left is Stinky. Click this stream, you know? what? How do I? Y'all got to help me with this. You know? And I, I stopped capturing Dwarf Fortress last time to capture another game. Give me a second. Big drama drops on? No. I can't post that. Epic good gamer dwarves all over the place. Hot single cockroach mom in your area. Click here. Roach Fortress. A moderate amount of booba. You're a fan of the current title, It Has My Energy. I mean, yeah, I wrote it. <laughs> Ooh, Roach Mom enslaving dwarves. Roach Mom enslaves little men. Roach Mom enslaves little tiny dwarf men. That's good. That's a good title. And definitely will not get me canceled for... Um, Definitely will not get me canceled for, you know, anything. Short princess? No, they're short kings. Kings, I tell you. Kings. All right. We are going to create a new world. Um, Everything medium. How is the music, by the way, loud enough? You want me to say captures, but I like enslaves. I feel like enslaves really puts... It, it really shows the people what I deem important. That you belong to me. Oh, that's good, Omsky. Roach mom enslaves lighty... Little lighty. Lighty tiny dwarf men. Little tiny dwarf men. So last time, I settled on an island and dug into an aquaphor immediately. This time, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how aquaphors work. I'm not going to lie. I'm still trying to figure out how aquaphors work. So, I just know don't dig next to the water. And if there's water, go deeper. So, I don't know. Aquaphor is like wet earth. Hmm. So, how do you not dig into it? Basically, if you dig into it, you kind of have to go and like dig on another part of your map is what I'm kind of seeing. Right? Does the game keep going while you're not playing? I don't know, darling. I'm actually not quite sure. I'm sorry. I'm still pretty new. But maybe other people can help you with this. Should I make the music a little bit higher? What do y'all think? Exactly, Seol. I agree. The little happy dwarf men and women are happy to work their hardest for me. For the hive. Hi, Shambles. Yes, it is. Well, technically my second time playing. My first time I played my first stream after debut that didn't crash. And I only played for two hours because then I had a collab. So I'm still learning a lot. I'm still kind of trying to figure out a lot of things. Um, like a lot of I accidentally ate the seeds of my food production, which is something we're going to have to talk about again. It might take me like just a little bit of time to kind of get back into what we were doing. Underground rivers. 
Oh, I see. That makes more sense. Okay. So. Shallow sand, very deep soil. What does everybody typically look for when you're when you're settling? Is there anything that you really should be too like serious about? I guess I can try to find no aquifer, right? So if it doesn't say aquifer, that means no aquifer, I'm guessing. Use the site finder? Um, I think it's okay to just pick random locations for now, right? Until until I improve nearest site a day's travel west good soil flux and no aquifer flux stone okay okay there's a lot of neighbors here what are these little huts human helmet board oh these little huts are like the little settlements cute okay the adorable horns that's awesome so here there's light aquifer. Oh my god, there's a lot of aquifer. Hello? Hello? Can we get no aquifer? Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. All right, but there's a... Okay. There's a lot of hostiles nearby. Oh, well. Not everyone's hostile nearby, but... Does it matter how many people settle next to you? Does it make it more likely to attack you? Enjoy. Enjoy Bloodstorm. baddies nearby just means more fun you're right it would allow me to learn the game quicker maybe i don't know i feel like you probably have certain fighter people and then oh 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 man it seems like just like in real life all the best places have already been settled huh the only places oh okay little soil trees none <laughs> Uh, remember losing is fun. I, I've played RimWorld, so I do remember. Oh, wait. I can zoom in. Oh, stop. This changes everything. All right. I don't know if I want to I wanna really live with people, but we can do our best. What is this? Oh, red areas or bad areas, I'm guessing. You really need trees, right? Although somebody told me that the elves hate it when you do stuff in the trees, so... Hmm. 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 Kick them out. That's your land now. Welcome, raiders. I'm sorry I missed it. Thank you so much. I mean, what, what are elves going to do? They're all sized like Giga. You know, they're all incredibly beautiful, but they are giga sized. So what are giga sized elves really going to do for me? Huh? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. Let's try it here. There's hostile goblins, humans and elves, or maybe the humans. The hostile is under humans, right? Is Giga small? Giga is extremely, extremely. What? Where? Why are there all their humans here? Hold on, hold on. How is there so many humans everywhere? How is there so many settlements everywhere, you guys? Can you not? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Everybody quiet. One short elf trip. Okay, how do I zoom in here? Hold on. Hold and drag the mouse button. Okay, is it WASD? Yes. Yes. No. How do I zoom in again? Do I just click? Aha. All right. If I find no aquifer or light aquifer here, we are saved. All right, everybody. In the wilderness, only elves nearby. A little bit of a river maybe at the start so I can fish. Right? Let's try it. Embark. Click on the map to embark. I guess right here. No, 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 no. Yeah, sure. Ah, <sighs> I'm scared. I think Zen is taller than me. I'm only 181. A dwarven outpost, you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Berdim Sazir. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt 
plow or hook. Provide for your dwarf. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just because before the winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to dwell. Delve secure lodgings ere the black bears get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins. All right. First things first, we're going to pause the game. Okay. First things first, we're going to pause the game. Let us see. What was it again? Stocks, right? No. Items. I'm trying to remember all the controls. <laughs> trying to remember all the controls, so it's going to take me a while. Okay, we have a fisher. We have this. We're going to make the expedition leader also be our um, miner, right? I just need to remember how to do this. So expedition leader mines. I wonder if we have enough picks for three people. I don't think we do, but just in case. I may be in a... I may be in a permanent winter. That's exciting. My wagon is on top of a water. Well, I better get rid of all the stuff so I can get rid of it, huh? I better, I better get rid of everything then. Stone cutters, this is fine. Hunters, this is fine. All right then. I guess we're good for now, right? Oh my God, this is so exciting. Look at us. First thing I'm gonna do is do a little bit of hauling, right? That's how I do it. Hold on. How do I get rid of the little... Oh my god, oh my god. Stop. I keep going up and down. Alright. First order of business, we mine. T. Perfect. And then I go down, and then perfect. Alright. Sorry, it's still taking me a little second to kind of get used to everything. Okay, so E is to go up. Q is to go down? No, D is to go down. No. Wait, if E was to go up, how do I go down? I want to get better with the uh, with the controls that automatically play. You? Mm, no, it doesn't seem like it. I did mouse wheel, so it's better than nothing. All right, let's me just dig right here, dig right here, dig right here. We're going to try to go deep-ish, you know? We're going to try to go deep-ish and see what happens. Definitely going to gather a little bit while you guys are waiting. Definitely going to gather a little bit and make a stockpile zone. Um, question for those of you that play this game a lot. Do you typically make your stockpile zone right away? Or do you wait to dig a little deeper to make your stockpile zone? Be honest with me. Oh, one second. Those are frozen mountains, I see. All right, so we're going to do this right here and then go down. Oh, wait, no, go down, go down, go down, wrong down, wrong down. I know, it's like watching a child play this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it feels that way too, Evan. So I guess I'm going to make a quick stockpile just close to the surface. Perfect. Um, so then let's just make a little stockpile here. Just to kind of get things started a bit, you know? Just so everybody can move things. I go first off. Dig for bedrooms. Move stockpile inside after the bones of the settlement are built. Int Wait, what's that? Ice and river. That's not good. That's not good that we dug into a frozen river. Hello. And uh, quick question. How low do you all like to dig your settlements? Because a few people told me that they like to build their settlements pretty low. So just expect to dig them pretty, pretty low. I guess that'll be fun when it thaws in the summer. Is there a way that I can rebuild a wall? Oh no, how am I already learning all the hardness of this game? How am I already learning the hardness of this game? Hello? Lower is better. All right. Oh my God, I keep pressing E. Am I sure that, okay, if E goes up, is it W that goes down? No. Hmm. I don't want to keep pressing... It's frozen, so everything is fine for now. For now. Everything is fine for now, my dear. When will you learn that things will eventually not be very... Oh, sh Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. So there is water underground, which means we now dig here. We're at elevation four. All right, we're trying to find more stuff. It's just because usually it warns you when there's aquaphor, but I guess since I'm playing on a winter map, it did no such thing, right? Since I'm playing on a winter map, it didn't warn me that there was going to be that. Okay, 
All I know is that supposedly I'm not supposed to build up to the caverns. Apparently, I heard allegedly caverns bad. And I should definitely not be digging to the caverns. So maybe that's a lie. Hmm. Is it? Aki, thank you so much for the raid. Was it you who raided me? Thank you. I'm sorry I had missed it. I was I was in the middle of, you know, sometimes you focus on things a little hard and then you you completely miss it. All I know is that allegedly I am not supposed to go into the caverns early on. Going to the caverns early on, not very good. Stupid river. That's fine. That's fine. This stupid river can't stop me. Let's maybe dig to the left of the river. Oh, God. I feel like we're digging so far down. Or, all right. You know what I think we're going to do? Maybe. Uh, so we know that there's a river. At minus... At, at elevation three. We're not even in the minus yet. Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm going to be shy every time I look I look back. Hold on. Is there really not a better hotkey than... Hold on. What's going down a level? If going up a level is E, but going down is in Q. Caverns are very deep. Okay. Going down is C. Ah, oh, thank you. I was pressing D and I was pressing Q and I was pressing all this stuff and I couldn't figure it out. Thank you. This helps a lot. All right, so. This is where I go down. I hope everybody who plays a lot of this game is recognizing a lot of their own kind of noobness when they played. I hope you are all recognizing the noobness of my plays. How far away from the surface is too far? Am I ever going to be really going to the surface after a while? I feel like maybe eventually I won't really go to the surface. Right, you know what I'm going to do? Why am I blushing? Because this game makes me blush. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to dig this out and put my storage. Yeah. You're watching my game so you know what not to do. That's awful. Thank you. All right. So, oh, no, there's water. Okay. Well, on, erase. So I'm going to put a little storage here just to get everybody starting to bring things from the surface because I feel like I have people kind of doing a little bit of nothing at the surface. So we're going to put everything. We're going to put all. And then I guess we're going to start building our little base. Oh, my God. I please don't have any water down there. Although, I'm pretty sure it's going to have a ton of water. This game said light aquifer. Light aquifer where? It's not very light. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I finally do it? Nope. All right, well, do we go up or down? What do y'all think? <gasps> Zentreya. Oh, my God. We're like, we're trading viewers. Zentreya, I propose a trade offer. <laughs> I raid you in the morning. You raid me in the afternoon. <laughs> Please, everybody, make sure you follow Zen. Zen, I had such a good time with you this morning. I had such an amazing time playing video games. Thank you for playing video games with me. I adore you. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, my dear. How was your Dark Souls stream? I didn't realize you were such a cracked gamer. I mean, I kind of should have known you're a very cracked gamer, but it's just everything you do, you're always such a cracked gamer, Zen. What the heck? She was playing the freaking... She was playing freaking Dark Souls 3, not even, like, blinking. And I'm here having to pause a game because I accidentally mined into, um, 
I accidentally mined into, like, the bottom of the cave, you know? I'm here having to pause the game all the time. You know? Like, this is crazy. We are not the same, Zentrea and I. Zentrea is a gamer. Oh, I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we found finally a place. Yes. Oh, no, it's because we hadn't, we hadn't dug in. Zen, thank you so much for the raid. I love you, and I cannot wait to play more stuff with you. Also, um, that scary game that you told me about, Iron Lung, if it's too scary, would you want to babysit me while I play and make fun of me? And I can come babysit you sometime, too. Mm -hmm. So maybe what I'm going to do, I'm only at Elevation 4. I would like to ask everybody, why do you usually build your uh, lodgings deeper in? Is it because you, um, is it because it's just safer? Is it worth kind of building my logics at the top and then moving slowly down? You can carve decoration into stone further. Hmm. Would you like to have a room of dirt? I just want to have a room. I just want to have a room. Can somebody remind me where the um, priority sheet is? I would like to make this a big priority for them. But they're not really making this into a priority. Make one long shaft down and work from there. I just don't know. Am I able to just dig continuously down? Okay, M? No, 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 T. It feels like, yeah, I have to kind of go up and then down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I can do this. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm, I want to, like, make sure I'm using the hotkeys so then I get more used to using the hotkeys and stuff. Why am I cockroach shape? Uh-uh-uh. Don't ask questions to answers you don't want to know. I guess for now, maybe at the top, I'm going to make somebody gather all the plants here. Just so we have stuff, you know. We only have a certain amount of, of, of picks anyway for them to carve and for them to dig. So might as well do a little gathering and might as well un unload the stuff. Cool. Nice. It's going great. Now please dig the stairs. By Nato, please don't do this. Kenya already can only hear that word when she thinks of me. Please, don't do this to me. Uh, where is the... Can somebody remind me where the... The, like, um, order is so I can make this high priority. Because they ain't prioritizing shit right now. Yellow arrow. Ah, thank you. Oh, did I make a mistake? No. Hmm. Oh, it's because I was supposed to. I get it. I get it. I get it. I was supposed to do things this way. Mm -hmm. This makes more sense. Okay. All right. Please. Please. No aquafort. No. You silly game. You silly game. When will you learn? This is fine. They don't have a place to sleep, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You will get a place to sleep once we get a little deeper in the cave, okay? It's still too early for you to fall asleep. All right? Still too early. Why did I embark with aquifers? Because I couldn't find a place that had no aquifers, and it said light aquifers. I think we need to start building a pool, not a base. I mean, listen, silly of me to think that, you know, we were going to be spared and we were going to be good. Um, maybe I can make a little work office in the moment, though. Maybe I'll make a little work office. Um, somebody told me the rooms need to, the doors need to be too wide. Is this true? The rooms need to be too wide. I'll make the room go into here so that we're able to. I'll make this into like my little carpentry room for now. And maybe, maybe I'm just going to chuck a bunch of bed. Oh, doors can be one wide. Oh, oopsies. 
Only for like big hallways. I see, I see, I see. All right, we're still going. I have to MT. Okay, I thought I could just press T to go down, but it's M. Hold on. M T. This is this is my this is my RTS Pro era. I'm learning how to press several buttons at once. Isn't this exciting? Okay. Let us build. Oh my god, now I have to remember how all the buildings work. Beep workshops and just the uh, what was the first furniture workshop right workshops hmm furnaces ashery carpenter i think yeah carpenter is probably the first one or mason oh okay okay thank you so or mason meaning i can do both all right Oh my god, I never even finalized the building. Darn it. <laughs> F. Mason. Stoneworker, I'm guessing, right? Hmm. Same thing. Oh, was I supposed to select the material? Hold on. Yeah, so far I am really finding all dirt. I don't have stone yet. Oh, even the carpentry requires stone? Hold on, hold on. Where can I see what the carpenter requires? Use closest material. Ah, there we go. Okay, thank you, everybody. I'm learning. Oh. Okay, wait, never mind. I thought I thought we had finally reached the pin. Be honest with me. Is this the typical dwarf fortress experience? Am I actually playing the typical Dwarf Fortress experience? It, am I actually experiencing the proper way to play this game? God damn it. Absolutely wild up here. Absolutely wild. This, this, this... As Gwen Stefani once said, this stuff is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. All right, let's go down and build, and then we'll see. Come on, you guys. Make mama happy, please. Oh, oopsies. Please. I beg of you. Please. Please. Do me the honor. <laughs> You know, this is wh where I've been saving all my swears for this game. I have been saving all my swears for this exact game. Okay, B, F, B. Keep building after placement. Uh, can I just not put them here? Is it possible to just like drop the bed somewhere? Or do I have to build the bed in the room? I think I have to dig the bed in the room. What if I just dig into no aquaphor? What if that happened? All right, everybody, it's looking bad. It's looking not good. It's looking not good. Thank you, Weave. I appreciate it. How do you feel about Roach VTubers learning how to play Dwarf Fortress and failing miserably? Is that also up up in your area of things you like? Because if so, do I have a stream for you? Um, does the map keep infinitely going to the sides, by the way? Like, if I just kept going to the right and the left, would it just keep kind of going, you know, to the right and the left? map is extremely huge oh nice 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 it's got edges but it'll eventually end hmm all right my dwarves where are you where are you my dwarves where have you been where have you been it's fine it's fine we are gonna find the location we seek i i guarantee you soon Soon I will dig into non-aquaphor and everything will be all right. I'm telling you. 
glory to the non-aquifer that I shall find shortly nearby. Wait, what? Shortly, gently, slowly. No! You'll fall off the edge. The world is flat, just like in the real world. Exciting. I love games that follow realism. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, game. So it seems that things were not very good for me. It seems that the fortress was having a hard time being created. I like how so many people at the surface aren't even doing... Can I deconstruct this, by the way? Deconstruct, right? Yeah. And then we slowly got to take our animals down, I think. I think eventually, slowly, we're going to have to take our animals down. These guys are working. These guys are doing their best. Nice. Good job. Ray Lynn, hello. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me pull up my little my little notes about everybody that I met. Hold on, Ray Lynn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> Ray Lynn, would you like me to read you the notes I have written about you? Be honest with me, because maybe you're gonna say no, Roach Mom. I do not want to know what you have written about me, what notes you took. All right. My first note is old smiley face like me. So thumbs up. 90s anime lover. It's your first TwitchCon and your first con since the 2000s. And you talked to me about Vampire, Vampire Hunter D, Appleseed, and a few other anime that I didn't know about. And you recommended that I watch Bubblegum Crisis. Is that good? Thank you, Akio. So I can go around the aquifer. I just have to build walls. That can work. And I hope you know, I mean old with the greatest of compliments. I want old, older viewers, you know, as they say. Yeah, the way he was explaining bubblegum crisis to me sounded amazing. I'm very happy. Hell yeah, tequila. That's what I want to see. I'm not going to lie. With your name, I would have guessed you were like much younger than that. It's such a youthful name. All right, everybody. Um, how about this? Let me look for no aquifer a little further. And then if I really, really can't find the no aquifer, then you're going to teach me how to build a wall around the aquifer, right? This is like teach, teach your, your, your boomer roach mom how to, how to dig. Eternal, that sounds good enough. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, thank you for coming to meet me. I really appreciate it. Even though, you know, there was a limited amount of tickets and the lineup technically shouldn't have been... Wait. <sighs> technically, the lineup shouldn't have been that bad. You know, it still is a lineup that you waited on your time at a convention. And I am very, very grateful for that. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for going out of your way to meet me. It means a lot. It really, really does. Oh my god. These silly little dwarves with their silly little things. This is not this is not going to happen. I think I will need to le learn how to dig through an aquifer very very soon. All right, so how do we build walls? Oh god. Oh god. All right. All right, everybody. Build. Build. Doors constructions. Wall. You can build walls above grounds or in caverns. Okay. And then... Oh. So I can just build around the... Okay. And I keep, keep going down, 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 down. All right. That makes sense. Thank you. But the problem is I would kind of need to dig into the aquifer and then like immediately... Immediately, immediately, um, what's the word? Like, dig the wall, right? So I would almost immediately have to 
You said to build the wall around it. All right, but hold on. If I build the wall around it, P, and then... Oh, wait, sorry. It's N. So if I build the wall, would I have to dig further? I, oh, right. Sorry. You said four by four. When you said four by four, I thought you meant two by two. <laughs> when you explained this to me in detail and said four by four, I thought you meant two by two. My bad. <laughs> All right, so let's just wait for the dwarves to come and do their work wherever they are. I have dug so much of this. Where are my dwarves? Hello? Where are they? Where are my little guys? Huh? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What? What are my little guys doing? Hello? Little guys time to go to work oh it's because i didn't put this okay i made a mistake it's because i hadn't done the going down oh my goodness oh no oh no they're growing unhappy they're growing unhappy because of the work conditions the work conditions are bringing unhappiness to the dwarves it's too bad my friends you must work it is what you must do All right, this is fine, right? This should work. You know what could have maybe been better? If I put a stockpile right next to this. Nice, okay. They're unionizing, right? They're refusing to work. Uh, build constructions one. Oh my God, this is gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of things to remember. There's a lot of letters. This is like playing the piano. You know, oh my God, please don't be unhappy. Life is beautiful. Don't be unhappy, please. I beg you. Yeah, so I think what I should have done is I need to build next to the stockpile. That way, things are much safer. All right. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. So you're going to go down here. T. Yeah, they're pretty unhappy. They got nowhere to sleep. My dwarves' morale is not good. I hope they cannot leave me because if they can leave me, that would be unfortunate. But the good thing is we are definitely learning. And by we, I mean I. I am definitely learning. All right, my friends. Perfect. Let's keep digging. We are some dwarves and we're digging some holes. Diggy, diggy holes. Digging some holes. Oh, man, I pressed furniture. I feel like there's, there's so many hotkeys that I will always accidentally finger another hotkey than the one I intended to finger, unfortunately. Yes! All right, we're doing it! Brothers of the mind rejoice. Dig, dig, da, da, da. I don't remember the lyrics now. Wow. Today I have learned wall building. Thank you, everybody. This is everything I have ever wanted. I have just learned how to build the walls. True happiness follows. Oh. There's no more water down there, and I think we hit stone. Realite. Brothers of the mind rejoice. Dig, dig, dig the wall. Wow, look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Look at us. So for some reason, the one hotkey doesn't work for the wall, so I actually have to manually place the wall. We did it. We build into the stone. Which means we are half... Oh. oh, just the dogs fighting. Let the dogs fight. Hello, Heavenly Father. I love that name. All right, we got a bad feeling. If these, if these dwarves get more unhappy, we, we got some bad stuff happening. We, we got a little union on our hands, which is, which is not very good, and it is not what I'd like. Oh my God, have we done this? Have I, have I beat the water? Have I conquered the water of the game? Am I more powerful than the water itself? Like, what is this? Is this, yeah, there's no water here. 
wow, we did it. 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 All right. I think we did it. So can somebody explain to me, just to be sure, the water is in the dirt. So as long as I keep digging down, I will typically dig lower than the dirt, correct? Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate that. And I have copper here. This is exciting. The water is inside of the dirt. Mm, mm, mm. But the dirt only goes so far down. Cool. So now I know next time I could have wasted way less time. We're learning. Next time I could have wasted uh, way, way, way less time. Um, because I could have, okay, wait a sec. I kind of want to mine this copper though. Next time I will waste so much less time because I will, um, oh wait, hold on. Let me just actually see where we're going to build the bedrooms because I will instantly know what to do. Next time I will know exactly what to do. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so happy. Oh, my God micro lean wall there's so much different stuff here so how are we feeling about settling in our new oh no oh no in our new rylet walls i think that would be great i think settling in our new rylet walls will be a treat i think our dwarves will rejoice and uh i think this is honestly the best living conditions i can think of and if you disagree, well, you will be hung outside to dry in the middle of winter. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Is there any reason to, um, is there any reason to, what's the word, make the crafting benches near here? Oh, yeah, and we got to place an inn after, too. Oh, my God, look at all this stuff. Pipe oral cluster. What is all this stuff? Oh my goodness. These are the gems that I'll be able to trade, I think. Okay, this is the furthest I've gone in the game so far. So this is kind of exciting. This is kind of great. This is kind of amazing. And we can start building bed. Look at us. Look at us. We're building beds. Who would have thought? Oh, I think I need to move these out of the way first. I think I need to make a stockpile for the ores. I think I need to make a stockpile for the ores because I don't think it's going to let me place the bed. The horror begins, right? Now that I've learned how to do this, the horror begins. You have to make a workshop first. But I do. I have a carpentry. Oh, okay. You want me to basically make the bed here. Hmm. Okay. I guess they want me to make the bed and then move the other stuff. I'll make a few. Oh, oh, uh, um, 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 um. Oh, it's because it's summer. No, I forgot to block the river at the top. Oh my god. What happened? My game crashed. Oh no. Okay, now that I know what to do, I am so much smarter. I am so much stronger. I am never going to settle in the winter. I am, I forgot, we all forgot, you all forgot. It was your job to warn me that the river was gonna melt. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, my game crashed, but now it's back. No, no, uh, Shingro is because when I first dug, I dug into ice and then I didn't yet know how to build walls. So I forgot to block the wall and then summer came and summer has gone and passed. The innocence will never last. Wake me up when we get attacked. Also, uh, mods, would you mind adding the 7 BTV emote where it's just Mouse's face when people go, huh? I was in Mouse's stream yesterday and I really liked it. I think it's like H-U-H-H. -H -H. What game is this, Toa? If you like RimWorld, this game inspired RimWorld. 
Oh, wait, we already have it added. Yes. Mods, you're the best. I'm gonna kiss all the mods. I'm gonna make an emote where it's gonna be the mods and then the Momo's kissing and you can kiss the mods. Yeah, pet the mods. Kiss the mods. Love the mods. Sacrifice the mods. <laughs> to Roach Mom. Yes. <laughs> Sacrifice the mods. Kill the mod allegedly in, in this video game. Alright, so find embark location, right? So I can just have it have no aquifer? What would I do to make it give me no aquifer? Just minus minus? Although I don't mind light. I kind of feel like I want to learn how to play in light aquifer. You know, now that I've learned, I feel like I've gotten better. Oh, what is this green stuff? Very deep soil. Oh, I get it. That means the dirt is going to go longer. Mm. Wait, it does mean that, right? Read the mod. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Don't sexualize the mods. They're doing their best. Oh, wait a second. Whoa. Everybody, chocomate. There are no trees. But. No trees means no bed. They can sleep on the floors. Can we make beds out of, um, what is it called? Can we make beds out of, out of, um, out of, uh, stone? What, you don't think stone beds are comfortable? What are you, some kind of a king? You need a bed? To, you need a, you know. You need wood to make beds. Fine, fine, fine. All right, then we're going to get light trees. Scarce trees should be good enough at the beginning. Deep soil just probably means we have to dig really, really long, right? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I am smart. I am good. I got this. There are underground trees. Nice. I feel like then if you start with just a little bit of trees, it's good enough. Back in the army days I slept on rocks. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Oh, crossbow flex. That is such a good idea. I'm going to copy you. So I am going to basically from almost like right underground, the first floor underground, I'm going to make a big area and put a few beds in it and put a carp like a crafting station and a um, place where they can bring ingredients from up there, from up above. And then, as you said, eventually when you get attacked, I'm going to convert it into a medical bay and, like, bring the beds down and stuff like that. That's so smart. You can change the name from the dwarves to us. I'll be honest with you. Let's wait until I'm, like, a little bit more stable in my dwarf fortress journey. I feel like for now, I am still an extreme noob and beginner. Let's be honest, I am still a very extreme noob beginner. So let me just improve a tiny, tiny bit. And then I will start naming you after people. I promise. Okay, so for miners, let's also give the stone crafter mining. And then plant gatherers, let's give the planter and the mason plant gathering. And then the expedition leader, I guess when you don't have an assigned job, do you just do whatever job comes your way? Does it auto-assign you a random job? Yeah, let's not get too attached to this crop of people, all right? Let's not get too attached to these people. I wish that I could just press, like, something for the stairs automatically and not have to press M and T. Because that, that's a lot of buttons for me. Two buttons? It's a, it's a lot to press. It's a lot to press. You know? A lot to do. A lot to press. All right. Let's see what we got. So when you were talking about the medical bay, how deep do you usually make your medical bay? Do you make it... Um. Oh. Well, well, well. We already got an aquifer. Let's... Um, elevation 29. Oh, we're high up. 
we're high up. It's a well. What do you mean it's a well? How do you know it's a well? Here we go again. No, 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 no. I know how to prevent this. I have the technology. I know how to stop this now. All right. So good news. We're up high on a mountain. Let, let me make a few places for my people to gather around and put stuff in the room. So let's do this. And then somebody said to just make a really big barracks. Okay, I'm going to do a little barracks. Yay! Perfect. Apparently last time when I opened the um, inn, the music got even better. So the music gets even, even better when you open the inn. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, sorry. Eventually, though, the management of the stockpiles is something you will all have to help me with. Because later in the game, you can just make it so that... Um... Is there anything else that I should really consider building early on? Is there anything else that I should consider building early on other than, like, a really big barracks for them? Do they need, like, a dining table... A farm, maybe? So early on, I can make one big room with a dining table with some beds and farms ASAP. Okay. Wait, I actually have to build all that stuff early? And then I dig to find my permanent place? Wait, 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 wait. I thought the whole point is I have to dig down in order to find a place for them to live. But farms and still are something I should create early. Okay. You do not want sober dwarves. <gasps> That's why they were so unhappy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, dwarves, for keeping you sober. Make a workshop first. All right, so. Oh, my God. I accidentally deleted this. All right, then. So we're going to make a workshop right here. And then we're going to make some beds. We got this. Um... The problem with the farm is that I don't think anything will grow right here, will it? I don't think anything will grow <laughs> right here. I kind of doubt that, you know. What kind of monster makes the dwarves drink water? I'm sorry. Yeah, last time I was playing. Needs building material, non-economic item. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me just one second. Workshop. Why was workshop O? Why is workshop an O and not a W? I know why. It's because I use my W to move. Okay. How can I see what kind of ingredients it requires? It's a little strange. It's no wood or stone yet. Oh, I see. It's because I haven't actually cut any of the wood yet. Mm. Oh, my God. The struggle is on. The struggle is real. Let's go, everybody. This is exciting. I am truly, truly struggling already. All right. So we're going to make a lot of beds, a dining room, and then somebody said a farm immediately. All right, then. And a still immediately. Cool. All right, then. I'm going to make the still being able to go there. Mom, that was the mining tool. Uh-oh. Thank you. I feel like I still kind of went to gather everything around. Oh, no. I guess we're going to have to get rid of everything in my cart and unload it, huh? All right. Guess they got to unload everything in the cart. Bed, 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 bed. Cool. Okay. So I was doing things wrong. I guess from now on, just make a little base underground and then eventually go deeper and deeper in your little base underground. That makes sense. Um, I guess here. <gasps> Dibby, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
before you ask, yes, I am that person that when I play Oxygen not included, I accidentally make everything high priority. And so the trees will live another day. No, they will not. Gathering. I swear to God, I thought gathering and shopping were the same. No, and I have played RimWorld a lot. No. Oh, what an embarrassing, embarrassing, disgusting rookie mistake. Oh, no. How embarrassing. Uh, how big should my early farms be? I feel like this might be a little too big. Ow, ow, ow. Wait. Oh, I sat on my claw. Ow. Ow. I sat on my claw. Wait, I have more pickaxes. And more. One second. Ow. Yeah, I imagine playing the original version and just seeing like ones and zeros. All right, well, then I'll put my plum farm right here. M, not M. Build workshops farming. Farm plot. So you said four by four. So this is more than four by four. That should be good. And then no mud soil for farm. Mud is left by water. Ooh, this no good. No mother soil for farm. I wonder if maybe I can dig down here. And then maybe down here it's going to give me mud. Hmm. Hmm. And you all said to make plump helmets, correct? Construction inactive. Dun, 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 dun. You can farm in clay. Hmm. Okay. And then he also said to make a still, which I'll make pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I think I think things are things are moving up slowly but surely. Slowly, gently, surely, things are moving up. I'm doing I'm doing the best at the things as I can be. Forbid them from cooking plump helmets. Okay, so where do I do this? Labor menu. Cooking. Kitchen. Forbid them from cooking plump helmets. This type of food is allowed to be cooked. Not allowed. Perfect. Thank you. Is there a way that I can make it so they are not allowed to eat seeds? And not allowed, I guess, to cook the seeds, right? Because last time they ate and cooked the seeds. Oh, I just realized. I think we have no dirt because we're too high up. They don't eat the seeds. I think they automatically ate the seeds last time. Does anybody remember that playthrough? How is none of this dirt, you guys? Hmm. How is none of this dirt, you guys? Huh? Huh? Tell me. Oh, I just cooked the seeds. I see, I see. Well, good news. We can build beds while we kind of figure things out. Oh, and I need to build a workshop. Is there any way that I can just build multiple beds at a time? Um, and place multiple beds at a time? Oh, my goodness. Wait, I messed up the stockpile. I did not mean to do that. Ugh. Okay, well, now we have two separate stockpiles. It's fine. Thank you, Novo. I appreciate it. Lo loam is dirt. You're fine. Oh, you're right. So, not set to fertilize coarse soil. Not good. So, do I just do plum helmets every single time? For now? Cool. I'm guessing the plum soil, uh, the plum helmets are in order to drink, and the food that we have kind of from upstairs, it's to eat. That's what I'm guessing. I could be wrong. But this is my, the theorizing I'm currently doing. Build um, workshop farming still. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm getting it. I'm getting the hang. Um, so who of my dwarves is going to be cooking the alcohol? How is it going to be the cook? Corina, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, I see. So it's better to have several different farm places for several different things. That makes sense. All right, then. That actually makes a lot of sense. Having like a bunch of little farm plots for little things. I'll do that. You can build a parameter that says that if there's less than X beds, build beds. I meant more in like the furniture menu here, right? So they all seem to be planting. That's good. So um, for the building menu, I know that I'm supposed to have a, what is it called? I know that I'm supposed to have a kind of person that overlooks all this job. I'll make eight beds while I'm at it. And then I'll place them. And then I guess I need a dining table. Uh, and then a... We'll do like four chairs, right? I know there's seven dwarves, but... Like, you know. I know you're seven dwarves, but four chairs should be good enough. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I don't want to I don't want to brag or anything, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I guess that's the problem. I was previously digging too far down when I should instead be making these like temporary bases. Um and then, you know, eventually you move your base all the way way lower. And things get easier and better. Uh so, okay. Here, I got to set to auto brew. Am I brewing from fruit or from plant? Because the mushroom is a fungi. And I need to make barrels, it seems. So I'm going to add making barrels. It's cool, Yuda. I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. This is great. I'm learning. I'm learning. This is awesome. Okay. <gasps> Muscle. That is. That actually sounds like a really good, good way to pass the time. Anything gathered from a plant and anything gathered from a tree. Well, then. My question still stands. Um, am I brewing this from fruit or from plant? <laughs> or am I brewing alcohol from anything, basically? From plant. Okay. Not from fruit. From plant. I need, I need barrels anyway. I need barrels anyway. And then I need chairs. I need everything. I need healing. I need everything. All right. Build, workshop. No. Workshop is, oh, I keep pressing W. I'm never going to get over that. Um, okay, perfect. All right, everybody. I'm sorry. You're sleeping like in the army, okay? You're sleeping like in the army. Mm. Let me make the storage a little bit bigger for now. All right, everybody. I need to also erase. Yeah. My one has said the tasks on repeat. Which ones? The wooden chair? Wooden barrel? Maybe the wooden barrel after, but I want to make sure it's lower. Let me let me make one of the wooden barrels a high priority. So we can start making a little bit of stuff. Look at all their beds. All right, this is a very, very sad looking. <laughs> oh, wait, did I? Oh, I'm trying to get better at like not using the mouse and using the hotkeys. But, you know, sometimes I get lost in the sauce. 
Okay, so we're going to make another wooden table, and then we're going to make more wooden chairs so we can place another table. Here we're going to empty food storage vessel. Nope, still not ready. Repaint this stockpile. Nice. Don't forget about administrators and work orders. Mm. Hello, Soul Banana. Welcome. I'm learning this game, so don't don't worry. I'm very, very noob. I'm very, very noob and still doing my best. Okay, so I guess we can make a little administrator to boss them around, huh? I guess we can have a little man bossing them around. It would be nice. Who doesn't want a little man? This and the other one don't go together. Hmm. Somebody did tell me to make a big barack, so I was doing it just like in RimWorld. Why did I make my bed so big? No. 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 I'm doing better than you. In my defense, it's because I have the whole chat here helping me. I feel like these games, it really helps if you have somebody guiding you a little gently. So you're not kind of losing yourself trying to figure out where everything is. Somebody very, very gently guiding you can be a huge help in a game like this. I could add the wall, but then my wood. I barely have any wood, you know? Oh, never mind. And here I thought I barely had any wood. Yeah, we're going to add the wall. Sorry, you guys. For now, you are going to share um, your bedrooms. I know it's not the best way to do things, but it's better than nothing. And then this is going to be a big dining room, I guess. Cool. All right. Oh, my God. Look at us go. We have chairs. We have dining room. What's next? Beds? What's next? Beds? Wait, no. What's next? Everything working. Sorry, beds. I already have beds. Come on, Mama. The elves will not be pleased. Screw the elves. What are the elves going to do to us? Huh? Oh, yeah. I should maybe make a grazing area for the animals, huh? Zone. Um. Hen pasture. And then accept. And then just select all the animals um should i be selecting my dogs i feel like my dogs can run around probably and my cats right i feel like the mules the goats the chickens they could be in here dogs can run around yeah let's do stray cats put them in dogs and cats don't grace perfect so we put them in and then do i have to repress this to put them in no are they automatically put in? Oh, yeah, they are. Perfect. Oh, yeah, this is a lot of trees. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies, whoopsies. All right, where were we? We were supposed to make alcohol. Brew, drink from plant, infinite. I guess. For now, it's infinite. But eventually, it won't be infinite. Eventually, it's going to be a little bit less bad. Okay. Speaking of infinite, Zen, I see you. I see you, Zen. Wait, what do you mean? Have I not made all my chairs yet? Is that why? Oh, I'm making the chairs. I see. Wow. I hate to say it, but I think I'm doing it. Okay. Is there so much more that I could be doing at the start of the game? Or should I try to dig low and find my more permanent base? Or am I still needing to stabilize by maybe making a kitchen or things like that? I can also have hunters and make crossbows and things like that. What do y'all think? I feel like maybe starting to hunt would be good. I feel like maybe starting to hunt would be good. Maybe doing a kitchen would be good. But at the same time, do I really need a kitchen? You know? Getting to stone is good for the first year. All right. Since getting to stone is good for the first year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep building my dining room. I want at least two tables. 
Is the inn and the dining room the same thing or no? Can I have them both be one building? Or do they kind of need to be different buildings? Is the question. They can be in the same building. Yeah, okay. Can I know the difference between like the dining room and the inn? Why, what makes them so different? I guess for now what I can do is I could just put the inn like in here. Right? Did I... I disabled them cooking the food, right? Oh yeah, I definitely need to put some people into into some jobs soon. Labor kitchen. Okay, so they cannot cook plump helmets. Cool. Inns attract bums who eat your food and never leave. Uh 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 uh. But the inns will have good music, so you know. But the inns will have good music, so all right. Let's make a chair and a table. I'm getting it. So I only need one administrator to start for now, right? And then I can give a dwarf the job of administrating. And then we're kind of good for now. Nice. You can turn your regular dining room into an inn for visitors. I think for now we're fine. You know, I think for now we we don't gotta we don't gotta worry too too much. Sometimes when I press spacebar and it doesn't click, I get so confused. Okay, we need a few more chairs. All right. Feeling pretty good about it all. So now, um, I guess I'm going to maybe build a... Should I do a kitchen? Uh, a butcher? What would y'all think is pretty important? A hive could be interesting if I get the hives from upstairs. Hmm. If you want the hunting to work, butcher is required. I definitely think I can make a few bows. Fishery, I have no no rivers right now, Ultimatum. Upstairs, there's absolutely no rivers. There's no rivers and probably no fish. And I like how there's a tree in the middle of the, the water. Butcher, if you have animals around. Um... Can I check if there's animals? or I don't see any animals, to be honest. What kind of a place am I living in that there's no animals? Huh? What kind of a place am I living in? Hmm. 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 kind of a place? Oh, sorry, wrong. I think that's my llama. Oh, no, that's a straight. No, yeah, that, that is my llama or alpaca. I don't know the difference. They kind of look similar. I'm sorry. I know they're not the same, but I'm sorry. All right, we're going to get the elves a little bit upset with us, but that's okay. Being a little bit upset is actually motivating. If you're not a little bit upset sometimes, how are you going to live your life? How are you going to do the best things possible, you know? You can check for animals in the creature tab. Thank you. Um, creature tab would be information menu creature. Well, oh, right here. Giant blue jay. That's a bird, right? Oh, so I, I don't know if we'd be able to shoot the birds that high up. <laughs> I don't really fully trust us to touch the birds. All right, so what a great place that I settled. It's got no animals. I got a rail gun. Wait, the blue jays might kill you? No way. No way. I know. Blue jays are not that monsters and giants. Stop that. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. At all. They're not regular blue jays. They're giant blue jays. That's kind of crazy. I wonder how big they are in the game. Okay. 
I think what I should build before going deeper is, oh, an office. I need to make a little office and I would like to make, I need to stop pausing the game. Sorry for that. It auto pauses and then I don't always unpause it. Maybe a kitchen. Maybe I should have like a hunting just in case for the animal migrations. If you haven't already, you can make them do auto. Do you mean like work orders? Because if so, people told me that I need to have a manager. So that's why I'm going to build a manager so I can make work orders more. Um, the reason that I'm that I'm making managers is so I can finally set up work orders so I don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. No way, Delioth. That's crazy. Okay, we will definitely die. If those Blue Jays came at us, we would definitely be dead. Yeah, I'm making a manager. No worries. For the flies, is doing the trap stuff is what kills the flies or what? Oh my God, Crossbow. That's crazy. They're so big. They're so big. Having cats? Yeah, my cats aren't doing shit. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I am so sorry, kitty cat. I am so sorry to my kitty cat. I was out here talking all this smack for no reason. I was out here talking all this smack to my little kitty cat for no reason. All right. Doors. Can somebody explain to me doors? Worth it? Not worth it? Explain. Yes or no? Doors or no doors? Yeah, I think the cat definitely always doors. Why always doors? What makes them an always? I'm going to make him do forever doors for a little bit. Ooh. Worth for miasmas, invasions, and locking. I, I can lock my dwarves in so they can do their work. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Thank you. I like the idea of locking them in so they can do better work. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're giving me good ideas. You're giving me good ideas. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. All right, so... Here, I will have to set up the zone as an office. See, I'm learning. I learned last time. Accept. And then we have to add a little guy into here. So who can be my little leader? Who can be my little guy who's in charge of the little people? Uh, I guess it's bookkeeper, correct? All right. My farmer is also my bookkeeper. Good job. So, we are now going to give him a little door. And technically, I will recheck to make sure that I did everything correctly. But it, I, it should technically be all correct. I hope. Manager for workshop and bookkeeper for stocks. Oh, okay. Bookkeeper was my planter, correct? Okay, you said it could be, wait. Did I not set it up? Manager, expedition leader, and then bookkeeper. I'll do the expedition leader too. Oh, okay, awesome. So now we are going to put the expedition leader into this little office space. Accept. Overlapping office? What do you mean overlapping office? Hold on. Did I make a mistake? Overlapping office. Oh, I accidentally made two office zones on top of each other. Oh, I see. I see. My bad. My bad. I didn't realize. Oh, my God. Come on, game. Why are you doing this to me? Accept. Then we're going to put our little manager in here. <gasps> Yay! Money son. Yay, we got a little manager man in his little office. 
doing his little shenanigans. Very happy. Uh oh. Please don't be unhappy. I'm doing my best to make you happy right now, okay? Please don't be unhappy. Please don't be unhappy. Should I make this my dining hall, I guess? Please don't be unhappy. I'm doing my best. Office should be off the chair? What do you mean off the chair? Thank you, Crazy Lou. Thank you so much for the prime. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, wait a second. Let me repaint it all. Click the chair shows the office. Well, this guy's sitting on it right now. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. Drinks, seats, foods, everything. Nice. Why are you unhappy? What are you possibly unhappy about? You live a beautiful life. You're having the time of your life. You're not dead. I haven't murdered you. I'm giving you food and alcohol and, and things to do and places to see. What are you possibly unhappy about? Huh? What can you possibly be unhappy about? I don't know how many barrels they can stock the alcohol in, so I'm just going to. You should be grateful and honored and lucky to be here, okay? You should be grateful and honored and happy to be in this environment with us. All right, dwarves, it's time to dig. I think it's time. I think it's time we go deeper. I think it's time we find where we got to go. I think it's time we find love in a hopeless space. Something died. Oh, you're right. Ooh, our stray dog has been dead for a week. It's the Appalachian demons. We are not going to find. We are not going to find it. Drop dies. The other day I was playing Mechanicus and I didn't realize that on Twitch, the amount of people who follow the game was 5.7k. And then when I ended the stream and I took a and I took a look at my at my view count, I was like, whoa, we had more viewers than people who follow the game. It definitely made me feel a little, a little like, oh, that's awesome. A little okay, I'm sorry. I keep deleting the freaking stockpile zone. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, I see. They're getting more seeds. I see this. That's awesome. Good for them. Alert. What? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I don't think he's missing anymore. I got bad news for you all. I don't think he's missing anymore. Don't let any other dwarf see him. But what about his body? I kind of want to retrieve his clothes and stuff, no? So basically, the birds... Now I understand why we have to go under the surface. It's because of the effing birds. Yeah, his body is everywhere. What do you mean, don't let the dwarf see him? His body is everywhere. Okay, well, I have learned today... Um, maybe furniture too? Oh my god. I hope we get a replacement dwarf soon. That's crazy that that happened. 
I probably need to make a tomb in, in, um... Oh, no. Check the fight log. Yeah, they got attacked by a bird. A few of the people were fighting a bird, it seems. So I guess the bird got hungry and just, like, dipped from up top. You only have four dwarves? Yeah, three dwarves died. You all knew this was gonna happen or no? I wish the game gave me an alert when they were fighting. I didn't hear an alert whatsoever. So this is the combat lot? Hold on, hold on. It can happen all the time with giant animals. Oh, God. All my animals started fighting. You know what I think happened? I think maybe when I made the animal zone, they dove down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I only have four dwarves, but that means less mouths to feed, right? Oh, the game was auto-pausing. I thought I was, like, not unpausing myself. I thought I was being weird. All right, where can I build a cemetery? Yeah, I think that's what happened, Ampelion. I think they try to eat my livestock and then... Should I have brought my livestock underground? Would they have survived? Yeah, I didn't realize that's what a savage biome meant. That's so cool. I'm so happy I learned this. They would starve. I mean, that's fine. Better than getting eaten by... I guess being in a savage biome next time, I'm just going to bring my animals down and let them starve. Okay. So, is there a way that I can cancel all of my gathering? I want to make sure I'm not gathering anything anymore. We've gathered enough. Um, oh, look, his hand. Yeah, I think that's what could work. I could have just... So, what have I learned? I think it's really important when you're learning to play games to kind of just realize what you could have done differently. Since this is a savage biome, so next time what I should do when I settle a biome is check the animals. Also, you have all told me that animals graze and migrate, meaning... Um, I should have checked the animals, realized the giant bluebirds are here, put all my animals down, butchered them, used them as food. Um, and right now I need to find a way to build a cemetery. So let me take a look first and then I'm going to ask you all for advice about the cemetery. So. I wonder if the cemetery is just a zone. That could be a thing as well. You can see the savageness, evilness of a biome. See, we're learning. Yeah, bioweapon. We lost three people to giant blue jays who probably went feasting on my livestock. You have to create coffins, which I'm guessing I have to create from stone. And I don't have any stone right now. So coffins are only stones, right? Did we not warn you about savages? No, nope, I had no idea. But please don't worry. I like this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff does not, um, what's the word? This kind of stuff motivates me to learn the game and know more. I feel like every time this kind of thing happens and I die in a game, I've learned. Like now I have learned to forever check the savagery of a place that I'm building and things like that. Zot, may I recommend, as somebody who has recently been doing this, to maybe potentially um, play this on stream if you ever stream? Because I think that helps a lot, a lot, a lot. Wooden coffins or caskets? I don't think I saw a casket. Oh, never mind. Thank you so much. 
Uh, so I guess we'll make four caskets for now. And then you told me three by three rooms. So I guess we're going to make just a three by three room uh, further up here. Uh, let's not dig down for a second there. Let me erase this for a moment. Oh, man. What a time to be alive. Okay, so you told me three by three rooms. Three by three. Three by three. Three by three. And I'm also going to put a um, animal butchering. And make sure that I butcher the animals that just died. So that way we get a little bit of extra meat. Um, Furniture. No. <sighs> Workshop farming. Butcher. Like the butcher's bay. Do you usually just stack all your workshops into one? Give the animals a burial too. Nah. Nah. Animals are for food. Not for burying. Animals are for yum yum yums. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. But animals are for yum 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 yum. Any reason to make a kitchen or is it still too early for that? Aw, oh, man. One guy is very unhappy. Wait till he discovers all the corpses upstairs. Let me make sure people are mining. Oh, yeah, we have a miner left. <laughs> oh man. I was thinking the opposite. Don't bother with the tomb. I am guessing that the dwarves don't eat dwarven flesh. I am guessing that the dwarves don't eat dwarven flesh. But I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. He found the corpse. It's okay. We're going to bury the corpse ASAP. So. We're going to bury the corpse ASAP. I hope. If they just start moving. Oh, it's because now they're building. Can I make him not focus on the stocks and instead focus on the mining? Mm. Nope. Stone crafter missing for a week, huh? Too bad. It's too bad. So sad. Yep. Looks like one of your dwarves is wounded. Is he? Hold on. How do you see where he's wounded? Oh, no. All three of the other dwarves are definitely dead. Definitely dead. Kimono, it's really fun. There's a lot of stuff to learn, but it's really, really fun. So I have a question. Since I put Manesan on Manesaning, he's not going to do anything else, right? He's only going to be a Manesan? You have a YOLO... Heart, red, black, heart icon over them. Injured. Oh. She was afraid after experiencing trauma. Her red. Oh, no. Her left wrist is mangled beyond recognition. Is it possible that she was injured before? Because I don't know. I don't know. Feels like she probably had that before, right? Feels like she probably had that before. Okay, I see Ren. So they're going to, but then if I keep mining and building, I feel like they're always going to keep accounting, right? Because I keep mining and building. So because of that, they're going to keep accounting. Um, is there a way to heal him or do I need a medical bay for that? I still haven't really learned how to heal people. Display, bookcase, constructions. Yeah, I still haven't really learned how to heal people. 
you can lower the level of detail in the bookkeeping. Perfect, perfect. There's so much stuff in this game to do. Um, bookkeeping. I see. So I can do... Hold on. Oh, I see. So five is the highest precision. And one... Okay, so I can just do low precision and that way they'll go back to doing their work. Cool. You need a medical dwarf job, a hospital bed, and clean water as a bare minimum. Uh-oh. All things I do not possess. All things I do not possess. All things I do not have, my friends. All things I have not yet attained. Can we please make this a priority one, you guys? I beg you, please, please. I need, I need these graves yesterday. Please. My friends. I think your miners are dead. No, no, no. I still have two people mining. I, dub I double check to be sure. I have two people mining. I have a miner mining and I have my expedition leader mining who, yeah, he's currently, I don't know where he is, but he is currently. So just to check, they should be able to like butcher these bodies, right? Because these bodies, right? Butchering an animal is basically killing an already dead dead animal i'm guessing they're rotten already oh rotten agitated you are correct no. butcher is livestock not corpses that's fair too just to check, they're not going to murder the cats and the dogs, right? They're not going to murder the cats and the dogs, only the other stuff. The giant Blu-ray DVD. Okay, they only butcher the stuff you designate for butchering. So, let me maybe open the citizen menu. Let me look at my pets and livestock. Um... Mm, as a pet if interested but it says unavailable uninterested in an owner all right to the knife you go what would y'all do if you were me right now would you kill your extra animals because i feel like the birds are gonna attack them and make it really really hard for me you think i'm supposed to kill extra cats i only got two female cats Oh, yeah, there's still birds around. The, yeah, 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 yeah. The birds are definitely still around. There's still two, and they're agitated. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to... Get my tombs going? Hello? What are you doing that's more important than building my tombs? Is my question. You know what? I think doing the manager thing this early was maybe not a bad idea. Not a good idea. I think doing the manager thing early was okay when I had more people. But now that I have like no people. I think. Manager is good. Bookkeeping, not so much. I see. I see. I see. I guess bookkeeping is more for like later in the game when you got more stuff. Right? It's more when you got more stuff later in the game. You need a migrant wave stat. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know what that means. I am new to the game. <laughs> So I do not know what that means. Let's do prepare easy meal until we have, what, 10? 
Is there a way to make it just like in... Just like in um, RimWorld, where I can be like, if you have less than four meals, make more meals. Oh, okay, that's good. I need more. Use the plus symbol, okay. Oh, I see, I see. So... Amount of... Wait, 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 wait. I need help here because I have a very, very small brain. Amount of items available is at least five. Restarts if completed. Conditions checked daily. So. Oh, I see. If the amount of unrotten prepared meals is less than 10 it will cook 10 meals because i have prepared 10 easy meals 10 which means it's going to technically prepare 19 meals every time i'm going to have 19 meals every day which is a lot yeah actually ren that's what happened to me in one of my playthroughs so maybe let's get rid of this work order for now. Because that's what happened in a previous playthrough where I just like accidentally deleted all my stuff. That's exactly what happened to me earlier. Yeah, I'll eventually start automating the crafting. I think I just got a little bit, unfortunately, um, you know. Unfortunately, things happened not very nicely right now with, you know, everybody dying. <laughs> it's so cool, though. I didn't even think about it. Remember, I was like, oh, we should hunt the Blue Jays, not even realizing how gigantic they are and how much they were going to hurt me and how much damage they were going to do to me. I'm just like, oh, we should hunt the Blue Jays. Hee <laughs> hee. You know what would be nice? Hunting the Blue Jays. Hee <laughs> hee. Little did I know. So the tomb, somebody told me to make it three by three. Correct? Because then I just put one citizen in it. Every time. Can we please pay our respects? All right, everybody. Let's entomb our citizen and then we're going to play our respects to them, okay? Give me, a, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me, give me a chotomate. Hold on. Good music. Good music for the tombs. All right, everybody. Are you ready? For Udil Amber. Oh. For Udil Amber, our man who died in a pile of vomit. Um. Oh, can I not read about him anymore? Oh, no, I can still read about him. I don't think I could even read about him. We now pay our respects to Udil Amber, the farmer, to Moses Uri Sled, the stone crafter, and to Keep Eralabus, the fisher dwarf. As my grandmother once said, so long and good night. What's the worst thing I can say? Things are better off this way. So long and good night. So long and good night. So long and good night. Um. Yeah, how sad. I guess, oh my God, now we can do the work orders. I just realized work orders, barrel, make wooden barrel if I have less than, yeah, if the amount of empty barrels is less than 10, is less than five, is less than two. Make a wooden barrel. Right? But only make, I guess it's only going to make one wooden barrel, correct? What's the 10 on 10 wooden barrel? What does that mean? Hmm. That's what I'm a little confused. 
So they will by default make 10 and there's no way that I can make less than 10. But it's going to make 10 when I have less than three. Okay, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. And we're going to put some doors as well. Oh, man. You know, I got to be honest with you. I thought this was the run. I thought I was learning. I thought things were happening. I was like, wow. Things are really happening for me here. I thought things were really happening for me here, you know? Brew drink from fruit. Right? And then if the amount of drinks is less than 10, I will brew drinks. Is that too many drinks? Well, I kind of want it to be automated, so I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? Oh, I don't have any fruit left. So that's why they're not making drinks. I have 162 drinks. Okay, maybe we're good for now. Maybe that's why it's not letting me brew anything. My farmer died. You are correct. Thank you for reminding me. Oh my god, this is so sad. This is so sad. Sad. So sad. <laughs> Things are happening. Things are moving. Things are moving. Wait, what? <gasps> he ran back in, I think. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, you guys. Okay, this you're going to die, my friend. You are absolutely going to die to this bird. This agitated bird. Do not go. That's a blue jay corpse. Yeah, but with the blue jay corpse was also the 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 shirt. So I think they both died. Dwarf one is very mad. I don't really know how to make him unmad. He's tired. He's injured. He's unhappy. But you have everything you need. Sure. I think he's mad because his friends died. I think he's mad because his friends died. Check his thoughts humiliated at the lack of chairs. I have seven chairs and four dwarves. What do you mean? Irritated eating at a crowded table? Are you telling me they need to have... Okay, goblet, cup, or mug. That's the next thing. Are you telling me? They need each an individual table? That is insane. Oh my God, I just deleted my barrels. I think we have enough drinks for now. That is insane. That is crazy. You're telling me you all need to be sitting separately? You prissy little alcoholics. Can I not make them out of wood? Do I have to make cups and mugs and stuff out of stone? They want one table each but can sit next to each other. Oh, I see. I see. They don't want to share a table.
Oh, it might be the craftsman. Okay. You can make them out of babies, <gasps> like baby skulls or what? Is that what you mean? Yeah, so, okay, I see. All right, so we got to make way more tables. God damn, these dwarves are, these dwarves are demanding. These dwarves are so demanding. They're so demanding. One table is about the size of a school desk. I don't know about you, but school desks, you can be like four children eating on it. And dwarves are children sized. They're giga sized. So you can have four gigas eating at a table. All right. Oh, okay. You're right. This is where we make the cups. Perfect. Um, work orders, cup. The amount of empty goblets. Wait, but this is a cup. It's the same thing, right? I gotta pee. <laughs> I didn't realize I've been streaming for two hours. I like have not interrupted. I love this. I feel like I'm getting better and better slowly but surely. The bird stuff really put a damper on a lot of our stuff. But... I think things are getting better. Be honest with me, everybody. Do you think I should keep playing this save in this region and kind of struggle and suffer and try to get the migrant dwarves or just try again clean, see from the start? Oh, my God. Is that a sock? Oh, it's a spider silk sock. Play until you lose? Okay. I'll play until I lose. Try again clean. Struggling is fun. How about this? I am going to pee and I'm going to leave you with the poll. Okay. Or. All right, everybody. Letting you do this. I'm going to take a really quick break. I'm going to brew some tea and I will be right back. Yeah, I don't think this is on, you know, it's definitely going to be challenging. But as you all said, apparently dwarves are going to come to visit. So if those dwarves come to visit, it's going to be real nice, real good. Be right back. Oh my God, I played a three minute ad thinking like, oh, it's fine. It'll be a three minute ad and there's a minute and a half left. I'm so sorry. I should have played like a one minute ad when I AFK. Play to lose. All right. I guess we got to do what we got to do. You love ads now? No, don't say that. Don't say that. Hello, Sheep Metal. How are you? You don't love ads. You're just saying that. I want to wait just because I feel really bad for the people who don't have a subscription. 
I don't want him to miss even a minute of this content. Kimono, I'm jealous. Minari Mori, thank you for the raid. Uh, moth raid, moth raid. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing night. And uh, I'm so grateful. What were you playing today, darling? What kind of what kind of video games were you were you doing, my dear? What kind of video games were you doing, my dear? Welcome, Raiders. I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, hello, I am Matara Khan. I am Vishojo's newest, shiniest member, along with K9 Kuro and Giga. We're all kind of like a month apart. Me and Kuro are like two weeks apart. But uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I am learning how to play Dwarf Fortress. So if you want to kind of hang out, have a cozy vibe, have me ask a lot of questions, have me try and fail. Uh, as, example, as an example, I settled in a savage area without knowing what it means. Three of my dwarves got attacked by birds. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, we already lost half of our population. One of our guys is severely unhappy. But, you know, losing is fun, as the people say. It's the way of the rim world. You lose some, you win some. So, yeah. Have you all played this game? Do I know how it works with birds? I just learned how it works with birds. And I am not too happy. I am not too thrilled. Yeah, half are dead and most are severely unhappy. I feel like this is very relatable to the reality of things, right? This is very relatable. Thank you, Midwing. Yeah, one dwarf has a basically no hand, and I got no, no one to replace his hand just yet, which is also very exciting and very happy. Hopefully, he gets a little bit happier because unmet need eat a good meal. Let me maybe make a few good meals then. Um, let me make a few good meals because hopefully it's gonna make him a little bit happier. I don't know if that's really, really, really gonna work, but let's just try. Cause he just has. Unmet need be extravagant. Oh my god, why do you need to be extravagant? We're dwarves in a mine. Cowboy Nader, thank you for the sub. We're going to be getting alerts later this week. I feel like now things are starting to slow down and calm down a little bit. So, wait, what do you mean no plump helmet seeds? Hello? What do you mean no plump helmet seeds? They're all planted. There's only one of them. Only one plum helmet is planted. Yeah, we have good alcohol. Make sure you don't cook them. I think I disabled my cooking of the seeds. I feel like every time I've been playing this game, I've been learning a little bit more and a little bit more. So it's good. Hold on. Creatures task. No, 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 no. Sorry for that. Citizen? Labor? No work orders? No. Cooking? What was my cooking? Uh, tasks, places, labor, location, stockpile, workshop, farm plots, workshops, stockpiles, location, zones, labor. Hold on. Let me try to find it. Work order, nobles. Yeah, I'm guessing the extravagance is the same thing as in RimWorld where people like the way things look. Labor is in kitchen. Oh, thank you. Okay, so plum helmets cannot be cooked, but they can be brewed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fair, right? Nice. Oh, God, he's so unhappy. He's so unhappy, my friend. Miasma? Uwaga, there will be a VOD. My asthma comes from corpses, but, 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 but. I buried my guy. Is it because I took too long to bury him? Is it because I took too long to bury him? Or is it from the animal corpses? V 
rotting food can cause miasma. Oh my God. So you got to be careful not to cook, not to make too much food. How long until, when can you see how long until this food rots? Yeah, I guess I won't have to wait a really long time to restart, huh? Food only rots if not in a stockpile. Oh, then never mind. Then never mind. Then this is fine then. Wait, Keith, what do you mean you just leave this game running? You can't just leave this game running. Yeah, I think it may have been like a dead lizard or something. Because look, what do you do? What do you do with these kinds of lizards? So if these lizards die in the cave, what do you do with them? Do you just cook them? Do you butcher them? Refuse stockpile. Oh, okay. This is exactly... All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. It's the same thing as in RimWorld. Man, there's so much little stuff to worry about. I kept thinking earlier when we kept getting attacked by the bird that... Um, Wait, so do I delete these or do I? No, I can just play them. Yeah, the more you learn, the more you kind of understand what you need to pay attention to, which is funny if you then forget something really, really important. Right? All right, everybody, let's do it again. One more time. One more time, we're gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, all right. Don't stop the dancing. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again, everybody. Surroundings calm. Where did I settle before? Surroundings wilderness. Oh, I see. So I accidentally... I accidentally settled in the wilderness. I was a savage. I was a savage girl in a savage world. Cool. Okay, I do have a question for the soil. Deep soil, does that just mean you have to dig further down to find rocks? Calm is going to be boring. Wilderness is fine. Um, I just had half my people die to a bird on like the first 20 minutes of play. Deep just means more dirt. That's fine. More dirt is good, too, because I kind of want to, you know, I was kind of missing some some dirt before. All right, let's let's go somewhere here. I was brutally attacked on a calm place. Can I ask what you were attacked by or is that going to spoil it a little bit for me? Can I ask what you were attacked by? Or is that a spoiler? Right? Half my people died to a bird. Wait, try avoid settling on an island? But there's these guys. These guys are a civilization, right? I don't know if they're a good civilization. But okay, I'll settle... I'll settle here. Except there's no trees. I'll settle here. Surroundings wilderness. Uh-oh. Okay, it's calm. All right. Let's go. Where is my origin city? Wait a second. People are talking about my origin city. How do I know what my origin city is?
choose origin civilization. Oh, I see. So I kind of want to settle not too far from these guys so that they can come visit me. I see, I see, I see. Does it matter to be near neighbors? I guess I don't want hostile neighbors, huh? I guess here could be nice somewhere. So I could have settled here because then they can come here. Ooh, that's cool. <gasps> no, Gagan, I didn't even know that's true. How could that happen? How could a vampire just come in and settle? That is some absolute BS. That is some absolute BS, my friend. I'm so sorry. I want to be in the wilderness. I want to be in the wilderness. I want to be in the calm. 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 I don't want to be in the wilderness. Oh, please. I don't want to be in the wilderness. That's crazy. No, it's okay for now. I don't want to embark. I kind of want to just like, while I'm still new to the game, I'm really enjoying like the looking around. So I basically have to have neighbors or get attacked by birds. Ooh, very. That's actually really funny. Oh. <gasps> Ren, that's interesting. So if you have a vampire that comes in and he's an extrovert, you just know he's a vampire instantly. You're like, oh, I see, I see. You are an extrovert vampire. You must be a vampire. Surroundings serene. Why is it purple though? I have a bad feeling about it. Serene is good. Vampires tend to get elected mayor. That's so funny. I kind of love that for them, though. I kind of love that for them, no? This area is good because it has fairies and unicorns. I wonder if they're going to protect me. You can tame and milk unicorns? Oh my goodness, yes. Yummy. Honestly, the fact that you can have vampires living in the underground with dwarves absolutely makes perfect sense. Unicorns will murder me if I upset them. Well, I better not upset them then, huh? Oh my god. All right. So good news. There's probably fish around. So that's kind of good. Let's set a little bit of gathering around here. Just a tiny bit of gathering. Um, okay. So now that I've learned... Now that I've learned about how things in this game function, okay? Let me, first things first, check my labor, okay? We have a fisherman, meaning we need to build a fishery. We have... We're going to put the mason... On. Oh, yeah. The mason, we're going to put him on here. Uh, the metal crafter, we're going to put him on plant gathering. And then we have the planter on planting. Um, And then this administrator, I guess, is just going to haul and help and do that stuff. Then I got to go into my kitchen and forbid the cooking of plump helmets. Okay. Then I got to check what creatures live here. Okay. I got bad news for the alligator snapping turtle. Oh, but he's like kind of far. Who's this guy? Like no frog. So this guy probably is a little hard to hit. But he's kind of far away. So we're fine. Frug. It's little Frug. Apricots in my game. 
pike is a fish, and then the opossum is small and clumsy. All right, so where was the... They're like... Where am I? So this is elevation 31. I don't know if they're going to naturally attack me or not. Okay. So first things first, we are going to put a zone for our grazing animals. Right? I don't know how big to make the grazing zone, so I'm just going to make it this big. Except, and I'm going to put animals in it to graze. We got a lamb. We got stuff like, we got bunnies. We got yaks. All right, everybody. Let's begin our adventure, shall we? This is exciting. This will be nice and peaceful as long as we don't screw with the unicorns. Which, I gotta be honest with you, I do not want to find out how we can do that. I do not want to find out how we screw. Oh, I see. So that's where the turtles were. Wait a second. Interesting. Yeah, being attacked by giant birds was not the greatest story ever told. You know what I mean? I feel like there could have been worse stories than this. So. Oh, nice. Okay, we're going deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Um, all right, everybody. So question for me to learn in the game. Right now that you're digging and like everything seems to be fine and nothing seems to be bad, would you just kind of keep digging to like maybe elevation zero if you can? Or should I try to go a little bit higher? Go until the first cave. I heard the caves are scary. Let's see where we're at. 26. Oh. Oh, it's the blue jade. Already jade. Oh, my goodness. That feels like fancy. There are more than one cave. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So then I'll just keep building down, I guess. I press M instead of T. Do I have to? Yeah, it's kind of. So I have to do this and then I have to go down every time. I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it. All right. Let's maybe hopefully go to elevation zero and then we can pretty much start our first base in elevation zero. Which I feel would probably be a good start. How low are the caverns going to be? Is it like Minecraft where they're going to be at minus? All right, let's see where we're at. Tetra Hanit wall. Oh my God. Interesting. Oh, wait a second. So I could just click here for the stairs. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go to minus 10. <gasps> this changes everything. Thank you, everybody. Oh, my God. This changes everything. Raw muscle. Oh, there's my little fisher guy. Okay. Nice. You know what? While we're doing this, let me just maybe put things in a stockpile. You know what? Let me just maybe put a few things in a stockpile, and then I can move them down again. Right? Just so the people upstairs can be busy. I feel like it would be nice to give the people upstairs something to do. Am I blushing? I am. It's because my F1 is also my blush for now. All right. I hate to say it, but I think this is the run. I think this is the run. I don't want to brag, but I think this is the run. I think this is the run.
I think this is the run of runs. Okay? I think this is just like, wow, the run of them all. The one run to rule them all. No? Oh, did I make this wrong? Hold on. No, I didn't make this wrong. Okay. They're just not digging. I feel like I'm getting I'm getting kind of more comfortable with the with things going up and down. And now the fish, okay, it's good that I did this because now the fish won't um the fish won't uh what's the word? You all told me that food doesn't disintegrate when it's in the um, in here. All right. All right. Things are happening. Um I think I am okay to like wait to dig to zero to build a base, right? Or is that too low? Hmm. I just wonder if I should already be moving my base all the way underground. Or if I should kind of wait a little bit. Because that's a pretty big underground. Zero is fine. You can go deeper too if you want. But I kind of want to always build stuff, no? That's some pretty grass, isn't it? I'm in the serene area. I've never started here before because I've barely started. <laughs> I've barely really done anything in the game. So, you know, here we are. Serenely starting. All right, then. I guess we wait until they keep digging. Nice. A salesman of doom. That's what happened last time. But then the problem is when I did this, it like took away the time for other stuff. You'll need farms. So you'll always build close to the surface. Uh, can't I build farms much, much lower down, especially if it's only growing plump mushrooms and stuff like that? You all told me that as long as I just have soil, it'll be fine. Once you hit the caverns, yeah, but I don't want to hit the caverns. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of the caverns. I don't want to hit them. I want to avoid the caverns for as long as possible. All right, then you know what? Since I'm at the surface now, let's make a plump helmet farm while I'm here. And a still while I'm here. Okay. All right. Let's at least do that then. Five by. Uh, somebody told me four by four is enough. Right. For now. Four by four. And then a barracks and bunk room. When you say a barracks, what does that mean? Is that like the rec room and stuff like that as well? Or what is the, what do you mean by that when you say that? Okay, let's do that then. Perfect. See, I don't ever tell me that I don't listen to your ideas. I do listen to your ideas sometimes. <laughs> I do listen to your ideas sometimes. Barracks is specific for military to sleep in. Do you really need military this early in the game? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, not the music getting spooky. Not the music getting spooky. I'll put a little dining room, like, right here. Ooh, 
Fluffy Wambler? What a cute name. Fluffy Wambler. Oh, I keep pressing W for workshop. Okay, so carpenter. And then build O farming still. And then uh, build O. I guess for the cups after. Oh no, I guess I could do the the fish the fishery, right? So that way we can cook fish into meals. All right, so add new task. Okay, add new task, bed. So we are going to make a ton of bed. Um and then we're going to make like a few barrels just to kind of get started on this. Um, and then we're going to make, all right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Here we're going to make a farm. No more dwarves sleeping on the ground for now, for now, for now, for now, for now, no more dwarves sleeping on the farm. Eventually they will be back. So workshop farming farm plot like this farm plot like this. Okay. So here you're constructing it here. Prepare raw fish. So he's always going to be preparing raw fish, I guess. Okay, good. Um, here, we're making the beds. We're doing the things. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So I am going to make my sleeping quarters here. And I'm going to make the barracks here. So what do I need for the barracks? Uh, the barracks. Sorry. Um, let's see. Build military. So just armor stand, weapon rack, I'm guessing? So I'm going to have to build them. Okay. Wolf Sage, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, now I understand why everybody was telling me to kind of try and settle. Oh. Oh. Is this why I paused the game? Okay, no, this is not why I paused the game. I thought... I was scared that something bad was happening in the game. I was scared that something bad was happening in the game. Military is not really needed in a serene area. Aw, oh, darn it. I guess I'll know in the future. So, Plump, what do you fertilize with, by the way, in this game? Just asking out of curiosity. Ash and tallow. Potash. What is potash? Is that where you like burn trees or? Oh, by burning wood. Is it worth fertilizing? I feel like early on I'm kind of doing good with my kind of stuff. I don't know. Feels like maybe I shouldn't really need to fertilize, right? Door. And then we're going to make a lot of doors. Yeah, so it feels like early on, I basically have a guy constantly cooking. I have a guy, sorry, I have a guy constantly making wooden stuff. I have a guy constantly cooking. Maybe a guy constantly making alcohol. Guys constantly planting. I see what you all meant that like at the start of the game, things are kind of slow. I see, I see what you mean. But I guess eventually we'll also get way more dwarves. Why did it pause the game for me? What happened? Damp stone. Okay. So here there's damp stone. So it's stopped. So I can probably wall it off when I go back. Perfect. All right. Let's go back up. So far, this is by far the deepest I've ever mined, which is good. This is exciting. Nice. Look at us go. You can consider sealing your fortress on the surface now? Oh, really? Should I bring my animals in and butcher them then? If I were going to do that? I feel like if I were to do that, I'd have to butcher my animals. Which I'm okay with, you know? Having one miner that is only a miner is very, very nice. 
All right, then. So we are going to... Competent, is that better than adept? Or is adept better? Probably competent is better, right? Cool. I hear you all. I hear you. Yeah, I put my doors into infinite. After it's done making beds and stuff. A hatch door would be perfect. So since my base has four, I would need to make four hatch doors, correct? Oh, did I not make a grazing zone? Whoopsies. Oh, no, I did make a grazing zone. Nice. Don't disable the other one. Oh, that's smart. So this one is red. He's locked in, so he will only, only mine. And then the others will do everything else. Awesome. So I wonder if I should do the same thing. The thing is with the surface, I feel like I'm pretty safe because I don't have, you know, I have unicorns, allegedly. Although I haven't really seen the unicorns here yet. Um, Wild boar, so. Ooh, these guys could be good to hunt. I remember in like one of my first playthroughs, we hunted them and it was good. While the adept is better, it's the manager. I don't have a manager yet. Oh, yeah, it's the expedition leader. I'll end up switching him to other tasks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. Let's continue. I'm going to make another farm. I don't know if I'm making too many farms, but I feel like I kind of want to farm for every... Um, I Oh, shit, shit. I feel like I kind of want to farm for every um, kind of plant that I have. It just makes sense. Right? Oh. <sighs> One farm break per crop is usually fine, right? Which is, like you all said, about 4 by 4 or 5 by 5 That makes sense to me, too. Right? You want to farm at least one thing. I guess for now, as long as the plump helmets are being cooked, um, that is the most important thing. Did you not make the barrels? What happened to the barrels you were making? What happened to the barrels you were making, my friend? Hello, Geeks! I think you will absolutely love this game, Geeks. Are you kidding me? I think you will 100 million percent love this game, Geeks. How are you, my Geeks? I'm so excited for your stream tomorrow. What are you going to be gaming? What are you going to be doing? You've played it? No way. I am still a noob. I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, look at me. I'm elevation 31 is where I'm freaking, you know, stationed. Freaking stationed in, you know, that high up. But it's getting better. It's getting, you know, it's going to, we're going to grow. We're going to build. Things are happening. Things are, you know. How are you? turn this bed or does it have to face that way i guess we'll find out listen is this the best room ever not yet but it will eventually become the best room ever <laughs> it will one day become the best room ever all right let's um yeah let's not keep making wooden doors for now i will add more wooden doors at the end though uh table Let's make two tables. This guy is just out here doing his best. And I guess we... Wait, so does that mean we need seven tables and seven chairs? No wonder you want a manager early in the game. No wonder you want a manager in this game. No wonder. All right, I guess we got we to gotta make a manager. Giga, you're up. Manager Giga to the rescue. Yeah, I think early manager, just so I can, like, control how things are being made, will probably be so good. Just so I don't have to worry about how things are made, and I can just auto... <gasps> Look at all the fishies! It's a shad. Also known as a chad. It's a shad chad. Nice. All the shad fishies. I hope you feel much better soon, Gigi. I'm sorry you're having a rough time and a rough day. 
sorry, life is rough, baby. You got, I just had a game, okay, where I, I settled in a wild area without really understanding what wild areas do. So I, um, I accidentally, oh, sorry, I accidentally got killed. So these giant blue jays killed three of my people. Another one's hand was mangled. Everybody was unhappy. The corpses started rotting. Nothing was working out. Everybody was mad at me. I didn't even do anything wrong, but everybody was mad at me all at the same time. Everybody was mad at me all the time, every day. It was amazing. And, and everybody was like, wait, did we not tell you about this? I'm like, no. Nah. But again, I need everybody to know it is fine if you don't tell me about things. I like learning these things. I like, I like struggling. I like the difficulty, so don't even stress. All right, so expedition leader will probably be my guy, correct? All right, everybody. One of you will be a manager. Administrator, yeah. Wait, Stodir Getschun. Hold on, hold on. What is your typical labor task already, Stodir Getschun? Who are you? Oh, he didn't have a task. Perfect. Amazing. All right, Stodir, you are my manager. Enjoy. Enjoy the managing of people. Enjoy the managing of people, Stodir. Hold on. Did I make this? Did I make a mistake? Oh, no, no, no. Not an office. Click the paint of the office, except. Oh, I accidentally built two offices again. Darn it. Sorry, everybody. I keep doing this. So how would I erase this zone then if I paint? Cancel. How am I making two zones by accident every time? Click the green power zone. Yeah, so, okay, when I click the green zone, here it is. Here's the zone. I click office. And then if I want to erase this portion of the zone, all right. Permanently remove the zone. Perfect. Office. It's the same thing. Click on the actual green zone. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. So now it's no longer overlapping. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I get it. Thank you, everybody. No, wait. I don't get it. don't get it hold on what am i doing wrong so currently this room is nothing just to make sure currently this room is absolutely nothing because when i click it doesn't pop up when i click zone oh never mind when i click zone i have to click the desk and then the desk allows me to put in my manager all right it was kind of confusing because i felt like i was clicking the room and nothing was happening but it's because i had to click the zone to then click the room and now it's an office for manager son Whew. Oh, that was, that was a little bit. That was a little bit of work. Good, we got it. Can the meeting area and the dining room be the same area for now, or should they be different areas? Yeah, it's overlapping the dining hall. All right, well, there's my answer. They could be the same. It was saying that they were overlapping, so... I don't know. All right. Work orders. Table. Make me 10 wooden tables. Work order. Work order. Wait, what does it say? General work order. Wait, why is it going 8, 9? Hold on. I'm confused. Chair. Make me 10 chairs. Make me... What else do I need? 10 chairs, 10 tables. I already have beds. 10 doors. 
and then 10 barrels. And the barrels were going to make them so that every time I dip under a certain amount of barrels, they remake a certain amount of barrels. So I'm going to go into plus minus. Anytime I have less than 10 barrels, I make more barrels. Let's go! Sorry, I was supposed to be cozy, but I'm just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Here, we're going to add new task. Brew from plant. Indefinitely. And then eventually when they pick the mushrooms, we're going to be able to brew from mushrooms. And then just a reminder to us all, we got to go back down and keep digging. We got to go back down and keep digging because we got a lot of digging to do. We got a diggy diggy hole. You think bins are good to store ore? Um, is that what's going to help me like store bin? Wooden bin. All right. Let me also make 10 wooden bins. <laughs> cool. All right, everybody. This guy is going to be here forever. <laughs> this guy is never, ever, ever coming out of that cave. Coming out of my cave and I've been doing just fine. Wooden cups. Make sure we have 10. Just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. Started out with the kiss. And I think after this, we can slowly start moving people underground. Deeper and deeper and deeper into the cave. I would like to pick up like all the wood from the surface. And also pick up my anvil. Um, When do y'all think is a good time? Like, should I ever block out my full entrance? I guess the hatch door could be helpful, right? The hatch door, so then if anything comes, I could block the hatch. But I think I'm still good for now. You love my song references? Thank you. All right, let me double check what animals are going through. Pike, great horned owl. Ooh. Ooh, I sure hope nothing bad happens with that one. I sure hope nothing bad happens with that one, because that would be a little oof. Cool. All right, so eventually, just to be sure, when I go underground and I have a still, should I have a still and then next to it a stockpile area for mushrooms, right? So then when they pick up the plump stuff, they put it next to the still. How big would you build the rooms? Would you maybe build like, put it down here and then just like a three by two or something? What do y'all think? I don't think I need 10 bins, actually. Um, all right. Where were we? Yeah, I agree. I'm a little sus of that owl, but I think we'll be fine. I think it's not so, so bad. I hope it's not so, so bad. Stray puppy. Look at him go, little puppy. Okay, let's go back to digging then. So, over here is where you encountered water. Let's, uh, let's do this and build a wall next to this water and see what we can do. Oh wait, this looks actually kind of deep already. Hmm. Hmm. This actually looks like it's a little bit deep already because it's already got water on the bottom. So. I am going to stop digging here. And oh, 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 oh. I said stop digging here. I said stop digging here. Yeah. And then do I have to lock this staircase since the aquifer is at the bottom or are we good? Try smoothing the walls. Um, isn't it a little too deep now for the, for the walls to be smoothed? It's okay, Denny. I am in the same boat as you. I'm still just figuring everything out. It's fine until four deep. Eesh. Eesh. I guess let's make it a one priority. 
Yeah, water is hard. I'm I'm learning. I'm still learning myself about the water stuff, so no worries. Come on, come on, my little guys. Come on, my little man. Come here, my little guy. Come here, my little guy. Come here. It's, it's building up. It's going up. Going up. It's going up, up, up. Come on, my little guy. Come on, my little man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Smoothing is done by engravers, not miners. Oh, I don't think I have an engraver. There we go. Now we have an engraver. <laughs> and a miner. Yay! Oh, it's getting deeper. Quickly! Quickly! Come here and smooth my stone, please. Please. Come here. Come here. You avoid embarks with aquifers, but I feel like every embarks at aquifers. Oh. Nice. Make wooden cup has been completed. Good job. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. What's taking so long? All right, labor. You better go engrave this. I don't think they can reach that spot anymore. Oh, do you think it just got too deep? Is that why? Think it got a little too deep? Is that it? Question. Will this keep going up to this staircase or are we fine? What do y'all think? Is it going to keep going up, 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 up? Hold on. Let me just go up, down. We got these guys. We got this. Let me also see if I can build some um, tables and chairs then. Oh, wait. That's a chair. I thought that was a table. Whoops. <laughs> um, oh, I thought that was a, a table so I could put the chairs on the side. Oh, uh, shit. Cancel, 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 cancel. Right? Oopsies. I'm going to put the table in the middle and then the chairs around it. Due to the hydraulic laws, it will not be higher than that level. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to put the tables, maybe like one, two, three, four, five, and then chairs, and then one, two, three, four, five. Or should I spread them out? Or should I put, like, tables here and then they're a little... Almost like they're grounded, right? And they're staring at the desk. Hmm. <laughs> Puroka. I feel like that happens so much in these kinds of games. Let's separate them for now, right? Since they don't like to be together. Let's separate them for now. I'll be nice. Everybody is eating solo. Putting up my shades to cover up my eyes. I'm eating solo. I'm eating solo. I'm eating solo. I'm eating solo. Work orders. Um, brew drink from fruit and brew drink from plant. And make sure that you brew it if you have less than 10. And make sure you brew it if you have less than 10. So I don't even need to have this up anymore than the task because I'm just going to keep brewing this if you have less than 10, right? Yay! Oh, no, no. Screw the seeds. Drinks? Wait, hold on. Sorry, sorry. I need to... Does it go for both of them? I'm confused. Oh, shit. I canceled it. 
nor. Okay, it's going to go for both of them. You have dreamed of this dream? Hello. Yeah, I feel. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How did. Did the bird bring the slugs? I just remembered I need a dumping zone. I need a dead body dumping zone. Um. So I guess that's just a stockpile for dead bodies, right? Just a stockpile for corpses. Okay, so where would I find the corpses? It's in the refuse pile. Oh, I see the corpses. I see the corpses. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Yay. All right, so now the corpses won't stink up the place. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, I think things are moving a little bit, right? I think things are moving a little bit. I can make things with stuff. Wait, what? Has created a masterpiece. Feather wooden table. Well, isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? Good for you. Good for you. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him kill it. Look at him doing a good job. You go, you. Glen Coco. One for you. All right. So I'm guessing later I'm going to have to go through everything and, like, cut up. Um... Cut up the um all the extra gems, right? Or do y'all just not bother with the um, do y'all just not bother with the gems that um that aren't super deep down? Because I feel like in the first year they told me to kind of prepare my money. So going to like some gems might be good. Uncut gems. I'm sorry. I, whenever I'm not streaming, I go to TikTok to just rot my brain. So uh, I just, I just apologize in advance. All right, everybody. Like I, I, I do that. I just, I go on TikTok and rot my brain and then I repeat TikTok sounds um, like a child. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that a lot. So I'm just warning you on that one. Cutting gems is easy and creates value, but I want to make sure I don't create too much value too quick, right? So that um, I don't suddenly get attacked by everybody, right? Cool. Let's keep going down. Oh, look at that. A lot of little well. Well, well, well. Oh, wait a second. Was that also going to be a water thing? Hold on. Getting the hang of it, I think. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this quickly and actually wall it off in time. Wait, I can encrust goblet with gems? Is that what I should, what I should sell? Are we past the NPC TikTok trend? I think so, but then sometimes I feel like I still see streamers do that trend. So I'm thinking maybe we're not fully past it, you know? I, I feel like I still see people doing the, the NPC. I, I just recently watched a clip of Ludwig and, um, and, uh, oh my God. Look at him making a masterpiece maple door. How exciting for you to make a masterpiece maple door. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> mm. Sugary, when do you end up butchering loads of animals? Is it just like when the animals are coming through or? Or when do you usually like to do that? Oh, wait, you told me to smooth the wall. Oopsies. And I instead... Yeah, I should have just smoothed the wall, right? What's easier, to smooth the wall or to put the... Hmm.
I guess we'll find out in a second. You think making walls is faster? Yeah, all right. Then we'll make walls. I think if it's faster, then we might as well. Build doors, hatches. Oh, sorry. Constructions, walls. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Well, things are looking good. I think my choice when I'm trying to, like, get rid of the water is to go fast. You know, is to go fast AF. I'm just going to mine these just to see what I can get. You know, might as well while I'm kind of up here. Oh, I need to put my mining not to be number one anymore. Just to see what's around here. Just to see. Just to see. Nice. All right. We're back in style, I think. Um, You're still making barrels. Good, 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 good. You're still making drinks from fruit and brew. Nice. Um, Could you possibly have, dare I say, too much beer? Is that a possibility? That you just have too much beer? We got migrants. Oh, we did. We got a migrant duck. Chicken. It's a chicken. <laughs> um, is that it? Is that just we got a chicken? Oh, there we go. <gasps> all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> She's good at killing animals, making weapons, and cutting wood. I like her. Disdains loyalty, values hard work. Um, She seems not bad. I mean, she seems to have a lot of green stuff. She has a great musical sense, a very good feel for social relationships, very good focus, a great memory. Is she a vampire? Is she a vampire? That looks like a steel axe. I'm guessing that's very, very good, isn't it? Unlikely not skilled enough. Yeah, people told me about vampires. People told me about vampires already. Um, so if she's a herbalist, is that what it takes to be a med medicine, a med a doctor, medical doctor? So I'll put you to, herbalism is plan gathering. Oh, okay. So I'll put these and then eventually I'm guessing if she doesn't have stuff to do, she'll just and gather so she seems nice she seems no worse than my regular dwarves which is good she seems no worse than my regular dwarves um is there any reason for anything that she should be got at gathering upstairs to be honest is there like any reason she should be i feel like i got enough wood i feel like i got too much of stuff like what can she even be doing for me she could kill you worm there's five new people. Oh, you're right. So do I just keep them all? How does that work? My God, it's my first time, you guys. I'm getting more people. Developed empathy. Aww. She's just like me for real, for real. Okay, she has no skills, though. She only makes good armor. Five new mouths to feed. Five new people to work, though. So that's also not quite bad. And I feel like food for now is kind of okay. So let me make this a little bit deeper. Um, it does seem to me right now that, like, having the extra people is probably more valuable, right? Um... So I have a serious question about like the dining room table. How do I have a big enough dining room for everybody? Like how do, also this means I can actually have probably more people like working the farm, which is good. That's kind of what I need. 
I'll put this at number one so that we can get this. How do I make sure? You don't need a table for every dwarf. Okay, okay. That's helpful that I don't need to do that. So build furniture bed. Oh, I need to make more beds. That's fine. Um, I guess now I can turn one of my guys into a forever manager, right? I can turn one of my managers into a counter so I can kind of start figuring out how much stuff I have. Sarvesh Besmarkon, is that the lady who just came in? No, that's my old lady who's brewing drinks. Question about the drink brewing. Do you have to be a planter to brew drinks? Hmm. What do y'all think? Anyone can brew. Brewing, it's its own thing. Oh, nice. Is that two legendary weaponsmiths? No way. Is it because they're YOLO that you think they're legendary? Wait, are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> How do you all feel? This is streamer luck. And you know what the worst part is? I don't know how to utilize this streamer luck because I am new and this is like my first thing that I started. How do I decide which one of them gets to craft the metal smith? Tell me this, does the game automatically make the person with like the highest level do stuff? Because right now this guy's labor is like, you know, it's not. It's not really. There are usually options in the workshop. That is awesome. That's cool. Let me take a quick look then. So I got two legendary weaponsmiths. Oh my God. What an accident. Novice organizer, novice record keeper. I feel like that will make him a good Manasan, right? And then he could be a Manasan and then he can he can maybe teach people how to do stuff. Right? All right then. Let me Let me set Lorbum Pico Dorman to being the manager. You have this many good weaponsmiths in your sieve, it means they're at war. Oh no. That's not good. So Lorben is gonna go here. And then you are gonna also be Lorben. So Lorben is gonna do both, and Lorben's just gonna start organizing my stuff. And now, the other legendary weaponsmith. I guess I gotta start making weapons. What's a good weapon to start making, y'all? I feel like I still need to make kitchens and stuff, though. I don't really have kitchens. And I don't really know exactly how much I have of everything. Axes are one of the best all-rounders. Make sure you send the office to the new manager. Yeah, Lorbum Ficodorum. Oh my god, I got so lucky! Okay, let me still keep looking at my new people. So give me a moment. Um, carpenter. Novice boyer. Dabbling fish cleaner. So the higher ones are the best. So carpenter, skilled woodcutter. How do I make sure that he's the one that makes all my stuff? So this is Neil, and this is Dabbling. So I want to make sure that Neil is the one touching everything. Can I assign the carpentry to only be used by him? Click on the Workshop Workers tab. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. So. Let's go back to, oh my God, this game is going to drive me nuts. I'm so sorry, everybody. This game is going to drive me absolutely crazy. 
So proficient minor. Oh, you kind of suck. <laughs> okay, proficient minor. Is there a way to just cycle to my next gnomes? No, there isn't. Um, oh my god. Okay. Don't forget to smooth out those walls. I want to go deeper to go down. I have not looked at the Legends mod yet. Workers plus. And then it shows their skill level, you said? Oh, you are correct. Thank you so much. All right, so only this person may use this workshop. Amazing. Uh, for the fishery, should I make it so only the best fisher, dabbling fisher? I guess they're all dabbling, so it doesn't really matter. And I feel like eventually I'm going to stop fishing overground and go fishing underground. So Nil is already carpenting, so I don't really want him to be doing the fishing stuff. I wonder if it's better to specialize one dwarf on every on like every one thing so that they get better and better and better. So for example, if I have somebody that doesn't have good skills, just put, you know, him on the fishery so he can slowly get better. Okay, so you are my weaponsmith. Legendary weaponsmith. So I guess I'll make a weapon workshop below, because right now, like, yeah. Okay, let me... I'm sorry. Now I have to, like, go through it. Uh, so let me take a look at Sarvish the Planter. Talented Planter. Proficient Record Keeper. Da okay, so Talented Planter. I want to make sure that... Oh, I can't really put a farm to Sarvish, huh? Can I? I can't really make Sarvish do the... Hmm. Let me also make sure... So this guy is my current proficient miner. Yikes. And then who is my other one? Skilled appraiser. What is appraiser for? Is that for like trading and selling? Thank you for the raid, Ren. I really appreciate it. All right. So my leader could also be a good seller. But then what about the other stuff? Like I feel like the other stuff is... I guess I can just have him mine for now. Okay, so later I'm going to sell him. I'm going to sell him. I'm going to put him into trader. Cool. Okay, I think next time, if this game dies, next time I will... I will definitely start naming people. So he is forced as my carpenter. He's forced into carpentry. Okay. Okay. Woodcutter, you are, I guess, forced into cutting wood. That's fine. Not that he's really cutting a lot of wood or gathering a lot of plants, really. So he's just going to be kind of... Maybe I can put him to, like, haul and do extra stuff since he's going to be a little bit useless. Um, So Vukar, labor, I'm going to put him to haul. Vukar, yeah, I'm going to put him to haul so he can, like, help around. Um... Yeah, I'm going to put him just to that so he can help around. What is orderlies? Can somebody give me a quick explanation on that? At the top, everybody has hall set to default. Giving water to wounded dwarves. Oh. You just set it so that only he hauls? Oh, everybody does this. I feel like it maybe is okay if only he hauls because everybody else is going to be busy. Right? I see. So, okay. So everybody hauls, meaning he's probably going to do a lot more hauling. Because he's going to have a lot more free time. Since everybody else is going to forcefully go into the places where they're better. Okay. I'm starting to understand. So if I assign the people who are best to go to the best stuff, then the haulers will have nothing to do. So they are going to be forced to... Adequate mason. Masonry is cutting 
stone thing. It's basically carpentry, but for stone, correct? Because if so, I probably want to find a slightly better mason than him. And I wonder if not creative also makes him worse at masonry, or if that's like, I'm thinking way too far. Yeah, this is the weak armorer. This is the legendary weaponsmith. Manager, fisher dwarf. All right, so I guess you are my fisher cutter and my fisher everything. So all in. All in. All in. Cool. I got two legendary peoples at the same time. <laughs> So many mussel shells. I can probably cook something with them, right? Where do you see the mussel shells? Where do you see the mussel shells, my dear? That's stone carver. Mason was buildings and stone cutter is furniture. So Mason shells are on the surface by the river. Why can't I bring my shells in? Where do you see the shells? I don't see them. Oh, they're on the floor of the fishery. Where do you see them? Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. My bad, my bad, my bad. So who would be able to use muscle shells? Would it be the craft dwarf? So now I should put proficient metal crafter. So why is the proficient metal crafter before the expert carpenter? Is it because he has both skills and you kind of need both for this? He only do metal stuff. Okay, so technically this Sazir person is better in this workshop than other people because he has both the skills. Correct? Right? He's only better if you're making metal things here. I'm making things out of shell. <laughs> So, it's neither wood nor shell. Have a good one, Candace. Thank you. Also, is it too early to start turning my shells into, like, nice earrings and stuff like that? Or is it gonna... Or is it all right? They need a bone carver. I wouldn't mind having him... So question, I saw that there's decorate with shell. So the question would be, should I decorate mugs with shell or should I just make like shell bracelets and crafty stuff? It's never too early. Thank you for your patience with me, everybody. I'm having so much fun learning everything. I guess I will go like make amulet. Dwarves feel happy wearing them? All right. Then maybe we'll make a few shell rings. Crafts are good. There's caravans that are arriving soon. Okay. So let's just do infinite shell rings for now. And then I guess they will put on the rings. And then the rings that they don't put on will sell. Thanks, Davern. I'm having fun. Okay. So also, let's make sure we make like 10 more goblets. Right? Cup? Uh, goblet? Mug? No. Um... I guess it could have even be making amulets out of wood, right? Let me make a wooden cup. Make wooden cup. Just so when the new... Oh, right. The new migrants came in, so they need the extra cups anyway. So this is perfect. All right. If you choose make shell crafts, it'll do different stuff so I can make 
Shell Crafts. Thank you so much. Thank you for the help. Cool. So I'll just make him do everything. Nice. Okay. 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 Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are moving. Um, Having one dedicated farmer is good enough for now, correct? I love it. I love how I get to learn a game with everybody helping me. It feels awesome. Do you have a lot of shells? Uh, yeah, I have, I have like all these shells. <laughs> so I think we're fine to do this. That was, that was a good call. Um, oh, sorry. I paused the game. One or two dedicated farmers. So I guess who's my current farmer? Sarvish planter. Cool. Oh, so I have two farmers that are going to basically do my farming for now. Where's my planter? Farmer and planter. Planter, farmer. Perfect. Uh, let me see what Vukar does. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how much there is to do in this game. Adequate miller, herbalist, leather worker. Interesting. And then talented planter. So yeah, let's just have them both keep leveling up. My miner's going to keep solo digging. This guy's going to help him digging. Um, and then the mason, I guess for now, he's just going to do whatever. And um, let's dig lower. Once I dig lower, let's then um, build bed. After I dig lower, well, no access to bed. What do you mean? Amount of beds is less than 10. Then build 10 beds, right? Seems like a lot, but I feel like we're always going to need more beds. People are always going to come in, right? Going to have so many beds, so many chairs, so many everything. A stray alpaca? All right, everybody. When is it the right time to start killing all my animals? How soon is soon? When is soon too soon is the question. Don't cry. All right. So here I don't even have to worry. He's just going to automatically work the orders, right? Here it's 10 on 10. He's going to automatically work them. When you need food, leather, or soap from their fat... Well, I got 15 meat, 116 fish. So I feel like I have enough food for now, correct? So I think right now, with the fact that I have more migrants, more everything, I need to place a little bit more beds. And then I can start digging underground how I was planning, right? I was planning to dig more underground. And yeah, I think it's time to just keep building underground and seeing what we got. Maybe building a few more gems so I can start having somebody doing gem crafting. You recommend making a grassland. I already have my people upstairs, like uh, my people, my cows upstairs, like in a grazing area. Is that good enough? Try the auto mining function. Dig only ores and gems selected and auto mine any ore and gems of the same type which are uncovered. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Thank you. Oh, I think this is where it was like wet, wasn't it? So this will then automatically... Well, I don't know if the wall counts as a gem, though. Hmm. Wait, why? Now it's weird that it's not letting me, like, auto-mine. Hold on. I just want to see what it's going to do. So now he's just automatically mining every time he uncovers... How does this work? So how do you know if something's, like, a rare stone oh I see I see so he's just following okay I get it I get it so he is just following what I told him to follow that's why all right I was a little confused as to why they weren't digging what I wanted them to dig but I get it 
So I can basically make them dig what I want. So here, for example, if I did auto here, then they would auto dig all the open copper. Technically. I'll let them finish this. That is a really cool thing. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for showing me how it works. Oh, wait a second. What do we got? Masterpiece Hazelwood Table. Um, in the future, do you end up selling like your cheap tables and stuff? What do y'all do? Okay, what are you guys doing? I think I got to start killing some animals. What do you think? What do y'all think? I, I think I got to start killing some animals, huh? I think it's time. I think it's time. Just pen them outside. I Oh, it's because they're new. Thank you. I think it's because they're new and they probably like wandered in. I wonder if they're eating my food. Oh my God. We got so many new animals. They came with the people. Is there any reason to have so many cats? All right, let's see what we got now. We got two dogs, three dogs, two cats, three cats. Three cats, three dogs. All right. Yay! Oh my God, I feel like my brain is getting so big. I'm getting such a big brain. Getting such a big brain. Playing this game. Got the big brain. Wow. All right. We got so much stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is normal, right? Like that my storage is completely and utterly filled to the brim. Right? Like this is this is normal gameplay, right? Very normal. All right. All right. All right. Just checking, just checking. I think maybe here I can, like, make a door to... I don't think, actually, I need them walking through here. They can... No, I need them. I don't know if they can walk through the bedrooms and... Grasshopper remains. That's not good. Why do they not bring the dead grasshopper back up? Hmm. Try to have a limited number of pet cats. I see... I see. So you're... Oh, I kind of want to kill him. Uh, I kind of want to make a hunting thing so I could kill... I could kill the little froggies. Sorry, Fruit, if you're listening. Sorry, Fruit, if you're listening. I got I got bad news for you, Fruit. Oh, did I accidentally unpasture the pasture? No, I think the pasture is still a pasture, is it? Yeah, it's still a pasture. So I have... Only one male cat, right? So we're good. It's just in the future, if I have more male cats, I should kill them. Is that her cooking? Oh, not cooking. I'm so silly. <laughs> Is that her uh, <laughs> fishing? I swear, I'm just saying random words. I don't even know what those words mean. I'm just saying words. I'm just like, Is that? Is that a cat? Is that a dog? Are, are you cooking? No, she's not cooking. What are you saying? You can neuter males. Stop. Stop. What 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 kind of a job? How is this game so advanced that you can neuter male animals? How is this game so advanced? You should geld the males. Is that the same thing as neuter? Wait, why am I building all my workshops here? I'm supposed to transport them lower. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I feel very safe right now. But also, like, what if that's a big mistake and I'm not nearly safe and I'm just, you know, being silly? This game has so many things happening at all times. I don't think I can move my current workshops, can I? It's not like StarCraft where I can just float my base. I can deconstruct it. 
Oh, I can deconstruct it and then move it down. That's fine. Just remember dying is fun. No, losing is fun. Dying is not fun, but losing is. Is there, my trade depot should probably be next to here, right? So that they can easily access it. Coal, interesting. I wonder if later you can get machines for the coal. Perfect, beautiful, lovely. <gasps> All right, Ben. Things are going pretty good. Can't complain. Can't complain about the things. Things are going pretty good. Oh, I keep I keep getting distracted and forgetting that I'm supposed to like I'm all the way up at elevation four wasting my time when I'm supposed to be at like minus elevation. What am I doing? Why am I up here wasting my time? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, I'm supposed to uh All right, everybody. I have to make more tea. I have to make water. I have to make tea. Um, what is a good place for making stuff into gems into like metal? Let me take a look. Workshop. Jeweler, correct? Cut rep gems to increase their value and improve value of other objects. Nice. So gem maker. What kind of tea? Um, I have blueberry tea. So it's not, um, how do you say it? It doesn't have tea in or caffeine in it. So that I can, you know, fall asleep after the stream. <laughs> Falling asleep after the stream would be great. It would really suck if after the stream I had so much energy and wasn't able to sleep, you know? That would be very not good. Not good. Not good. Weaver, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, welcome, everybody. Catch live land animal. Butcher animal. Catch live animal. Hmm. So I get this is only for like the animals that I'm. Oh my God. A masterpiece barrel. Thank God. I don't know where I'd be without my masterpiece barrel. Thank God it's here. Otherwise, like I really don't know what I'd be doing. Who do we kill? Everybody. Who do we kill? Should we kill the rabbit? I think we should murder the rabbit. I think we should kill the rabbit. How do I mark the rabbit for death? I need your help, everybody. Ren, um, I guess my trick is to just stream for like eight or nine hours until you are tired. You need a butcher. Unit menu, livestock, mark for slaughter. Unit menu, livestock, mark for slaughter. Why are some of these guys red? Hmm. War training. I'm guessing you can have somebody that can actually train your dogs. Luckily, this puppy, I hope he makes more for me, more puppies. All the red ones are little babies, little baboos. Okay, we're going to kill you. Do I need to cook the meat that they're going to make, or is it fine to not cook the meat? How would I be able to kill the little frog that was passing by? Is my question. You do need to cook it. Okay, okay, okay. As long as the meat is stored, it can be cooked raw. When do y'all think is a good time to start cooking food? I feel like maybe I should get underground. Am I really going to make bedrooms for like 80 dwarves? Is that actually a thing in this game? Or I'm basically going to end up making bedrooms for like 80 dwarves. That's insane. If that's the case. Are they going to live on like two separate floors then? Because that's a lot. I don't 
mind if dog becomes pets. I like dogs. Oh my god, look at her go. Hematite. So basically, yeah, you can like have some rooms. You basically are going to make like a copy of your stuff. Okay, everybody. I need to use the restroom. And I need to then start war training animals. So I have to then ask you all for the war training of animals. Can I war train animals underground? Like, can I have an animal war training zone like here, for example? So that I don't have to war train them outside. Okay, I can war train them down. That's good. Next question. Um, is there a skill that people need in war training or should I just take whoever is like kind of weak and make them start doing the war training? Go piss, girl. I am. I'm just, give me a moment. I'm having too much fun. Created a masterpiece. All I love how they keep creating masterpieces. Is there a way that I can change old tables into fancy tables? Or do I just have to like... So the, this table being yellow means it's a special table, right? It's a masterpiece. You do a bed if there's less... Oh my god. Make a bed if there's less than one bed. You're so smart. Color is the material. So you know how they just currently made all these like fancy expensive beds? How do I know where those are? How can I find those like fancy expensive beds? Basically. Is my question. The stocks menu. But... How would I then replace, like, what is a fast way to replace these shitty beds with a good bed? Oh, okay. So I need a bookkeeper, which I do. Okay. So once I move underground, I should try to place my legendary beds and not place my non-legendary beds. Could I, what's the better thing to do? Is it better to destroy the non-legendary beds or, um, hmm. Or, okay, my metal crafter is also a good gem cutter. Well, competent. He's not good. He's competent. Leave yourself a commune in place for migrants. Smart, smart, smart. So basically, I can leave this bedroom and this dining table up there and just keep it here. And then once I start moving everybody really, really deep underground... I can start doing things a little bit better. I really have to pee. <laughs> I really have to pee and I really have to make tea. I'm sorry, everybody. I got to make tea and I got to refill my water filter. So I'm going to be a while. I am going to play the long ad so that it doesn't play ads later. And I've said this before. I put my ads to the minimum, but I just play ads when I go pee. I can't stop playing this game. God damn it. This game is too much fun. Yeah, eventually what I'm going to do, eventually I'm going to like turn, for example, right here I have a gem cutting room and like a butcher room. Eventually I'll turn those rooms probably into a medical room. All right. Be right back, everybody. Don't do anything I would do, okay? Hmm? I'm watching you.
Hello? I'm going to take just maybe a two-minute breather. I am boiling some water, and I need my water to filter a little bit before I pour it. So let's just talk for a minute or two. I just, uh, <laughs> I feel a little guilty when I, when I get really into games. I know, I know I still have, like, I'd like to think pretty, pretty good chat interaction, you know? I, I don't want to be modest like Zen, but, you know, I feel like also for the modest like Zen, for those that missed it this morning, I had a collab with Zen and she was so funny. She just kept being like, oh, um, I am the best. I'm the na na na. And it, we just all kept being like, wow, Zen, <laughs> it's a good thing you got a metal arm to pat yourself on the back so it won't break. <laughs> So uh, I feel like I get really into things. And, uh, you know, when I was much younger and kind of new to Earth, it's something that I got teased for a lot. But it's really, really cool that I can find a place, you know, now that I'm a little old, that I can just kind of enjoy myself. And it's not it's no longer like a cringe or a weird thing, you know, to be like really into something and enjoy yourself. And that's always something that I am so grateful to Twitch for and content and stuff like that. And another thing that I kind of miss too about a lot of games is like seeing people get into my favorite things. I really like it. Yeah, Zen could have gone pro in Halo Infinite if she didn't join the Navy. If she didn't break her knee playing, uh, what is it, D1 football. <laughs> I agree, Gungo. I agree. But I feel like for, you know, some of the younger gen, you're kind of growing up in a time where gaming is cool and like D&D &D is getting cool and all that stuff. And, um, you know, it wasn't that cool back then. <laughs> so I think there's always this kind of, um, oh, wait a second. Oh, right. That's the animals. Sorry. Sorry. I got scared, but it's the animals that I myself set to slaughter. And I got scared that somebody died. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely there's definitely um this like I feel slight kind of cloud over anyone's like over the age of I don't know. I feel like gaming definitely became kind of cool around Fortnite. That's when gaming became like very and when I say kind of cool, I mean to the general public, right? Not to like gaming was always cool, Mata, always. But I feel like a lot of the general public kind of got more into gaming with Fortnite, I'd say that was like the really, really big one. Because um, even when it was World of Warcraft, I feel like it was still kind of like, oh, you play World of Warcraft? Ugh. No, I feel even with Minecraft, it was kind of known as like a kid's thing, right? So, I guess everybody, you know, to each our own. I, I feel like it probably got like more mainstream and normalized there. People think sooner, people think later. It, it doesn't matter, right? But, uh, yeah, it's just so cool to have this kind of freedom and just be able to do this kind of stuff. But somewhere, even though, like, I worked on myself, you know, I go to therapy, I read books about myself and talk to my friends and family, sometimes a little part of me is still kind of like, ooh, like, I can't get, like, too into stuff because it's kind of cringe to be too into stuff. And it just sucks because I feel like you can really grow up and you can take care of yourself and like focus on yourself but there's still always going to be a little part that's kind of like oh you know don't go so hard it's not cool mm. which sucks and I wonder if like that's something you also feel like no matter how much you work on yourself you're still always going to have a little bit of like a Ugh. but I'm I'm really really happy that I get to learn no, that's what I mean, Patch. It's like it's almost like a self ingrained thing, right? Where like you kind of like it's stuff that we think about. Like we just yeah. That's another one specialist is like, oh, like video games are a waste of time, na na na, stuff like that. Gungo, I really think that's also one of the best parts of streaming. It's true, Naran. It's hard to get over that. All right, let me pour my water and uh hear a sound that sounds like peeing I'm not peeing it's just my water I promise
Yeah, I guess as an extrovert, I just always have to like be aware of how people perceive me. So, but the the positive is I'm an extrovert. <laughs> I'm an extrovert. But you know, I got to worry about how people perceive me. But I'm an extrovert. Ah, you win some, you lose some. I just realized I forgot to take my medicine. All right, I'm back for good. I'm currently playing it without mods, if that's what you're asking about, Meguru. Please, please don't roll away. Please come back. Please, I beg you. I beg you. I think whatever, like, little cold I had is... Oh, I don't want to brag. You know, sometimes you think you got over your cold. And then it comes back worse. But I hadn't taken my meds earlier today for my cold. And it's gotten better. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I like to see you assemble. What is the slow mode at, by the way? I'm going to put it to 20 seconds. Because I know I put it to like a minute the other day for book club. All right. Let me take a look at this stuff. One time order of cut gems. Amount of available large gems. Gem rough gems. I guess I'll just keep doing it. And then what other work orders do we have? Cut gems. Cut raw glass. Encrust ammo. With glass. Uh, what is a finished good? Hmm. Is a finished goods like a goblet? How does that work? Encrusting adds value. Hmm. So is it worth to do it on random things or not so much? Because I don't really want to have beds with, filled with gems <laughs> for now, right? I feel like having beds with polished stones. What is polished stones exactly? Is that after you cut stones, you polish them? I know I'm asking a lot of questions. Okay, stray gander skin, stray gander bone. Okay, so we can make things out of bone. Make bone crafts. And then I'll just do it infinite. Polished stone. Pol Polished stone is making gems out of base rocks. That's amazing. So I should put that to infinite, right? I should basically have somebody here polishing stones until they die. Correct? I should just have them here... Amount of items available is at least... Wait. So, what are the items that it's looking for? So, if I have at least two stones, it's going to make me... It's going to start polishing them, correct? That's what it's telling me. Polished stones are for low value. Perfect. I'll, I'll just do that then. And they can keep training. You can make bolts with bone. Ooh, maybe that's a better idea, huh? But then I need a boyer. And if I remember, I actually had somebody with the boyer skill. Or sorry, boyer. <laughs> you little frog. My god, I got so much stuff. 
Oh my god. All right, let's do that. Do y'all usually like make the okay? So I have a question. Am I building the rooms correctly by doing this, or do you just make one big room and shove them all in? Or do you just like shove them all in and just whatever? You can make rock earrings. Interesting. Looks clean. Depends on my mood. You like one big room? Boy, you're kind of cute. Make a three by three workshop. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, so you just put the room with the door, basically. I like the putting stockpiles around them. I think that's what I'm going to do when I go down. Is there anything I can really do with rocks here just to kind of keep this guy working? What do y'all think? Just wondering, like, what... What is like a good next step for this? Make shell crafts completed. Oh, you have a ton of shell crafts, my friend. You are going to keep making. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong thing. You are going to keep making shell crafts, my dear, my dear. So if, hold on. I just want to understand that I'm understanding this correctly because sometimes it's so confusing. If I have more than one unrotten shell body, if I have more than one good shell, I'm going to make shell crafts, basically, until I can't make that anymore, is what I'm trying to understand. But is it only going to make 10 or is it going to make forever is the question. Because I want so that every time there's even one shell, they just make craft with it. I don't care which craft. It doesn't really matter to me. But I want it to keep going beyond 10. If possible. Oh, okay. It's going to make 10. And then tomorrow, if I have more. Okay, that's actually amazing then. So it's never going to technically run out. It's always going to keep going. Um, for this job, for the for this job, is it worth making the um anything out of rock really like a rock cup jug is that better than a not rock jug make rock crafts i guess you make multiple blocks per stone because now i'm kind of curious like what's a good thing to do for money because i think the trader will come kind of soon and i want to make sure that i have enough yeah i get it so it's the manager's job to like make the make sure these things work cool that, that's awesome hmm i just wonder if it's worth like kind of trying to get rid of my stockpile like i have a lot of clay stone i have some stuff but then should I just maybe make a trading post? Just cut gems for the first year. All right. Like, I feel like maybe I should just put a trading post and then, you know, take it from there. They love cut gems. Cut gems. Yeah, I have cut gems cutting. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. If. The amount of rough gems, which is what they're cutting is more than one they will keep cutting gems perfect okay wow this is like this has got a lot of stuff in it and i love it it's making my brain hurt just right and now if the amount of stones yeah the amount of items available no 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 no. If the amount of stones is more than if i have more than 10 stones make the, make the polish stuff All right, so I am going to make the leather working, I think. I don't even know what I can make with leather. No, no, no. I should not be making the leather working. I should be sending my people underground, right? I should be sending my people underground. That is what I should be doing. I should be sending my people underground. My people have to migrate. I have to stop wasting my time here 
We must migrate all the way down. Also, why do I have so much wood? Damn it. Okay, we are also going to make a zone for the dogs and accept. Um, so now for these dogs, do I have to assign somebody to train them? Yes. No, I don't. I guess they will automatically. If you can make a spare craft workshop for when a dwarf gets into a strange mood. What do you mean by in a strange mood? In a creatures tab, I can go. Talk whenever this creature will receive war training. Ah, thank you. Any trainer unassigned. Do they level up in training pretty well? Or how how would that work? Sometimes a dwarf will really want to craft something. So like an inspiration, right? Kind of like that. All right, sorry, alpaca. Sorry, donkey. It's time for your slaughtering. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, anyway, we're going to be digging underground. It's time. It's time for me to go, go deeper. Go deeper into the mines. <gasps> if they don't craft, they'll go insane and have to be put down. Ooh, exciting. Exciting. All right, I guess I, I'll just put a extra crafting bench just somewhere. And then you all said that there's also a stone workshop that I got to do, right? Because then they got to... I have to stop doing this. I'm doing this thing where I'm building everything up here. Where, like, I should be going underground. I should be going underground. But I'm not. I'm not going underground. Hmm? Hammerer. Chief Medical Dwarf. So the manager can also be the trader. It's a lot of stuff, but the manager is doing a lot over here. The caravan won't be able to reach that depot. Oh, does the caravan have to be upstairs? Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. And the trade depot, do I need to, like, have items in it? I guess I'll find out as, you know, things happen. Okay, cool. Thank you, everybody. The caravan is three wide. Oh. So I could have just made, like, a deeper, like, this. Right? And then, oh, no, it's three wide, so it won't reach here anyway. That's fine, then. I'll just put it up here. It's not the best, but... It's better than nothing. I'll learn as time goes on. Yeah, and then once... Broker requested. Anyone requested. No trader needed. All right. So eventually I will put the broker. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. So she is a dabbling animal trader. And she's also an armorsmith. So let's put her to train the animals. Her name is Bim Ekur something bim ekur something so you are going to get trained by an animal has become a stray war dog nice masterpiece barrel love that for me <laughs> love that for me um oh my god there's so many things to click So is it always the same? Hold on. Sorry for this. One second. Hi, Mom. I don't have a lot, but I want to wish you well. Thank you so much. And please don't ever worry, worry about that kind of stuff. All right? Please don't ever worry about that kind of stuff. Man, I really want to kill the wild boars. Well, 
What was that thing I did last time for the wild boars? I made boyers, right? I'm doing this again. I'm doing this again where I'm not going down when I should be going down. I should be going to kill. I should be going underground. Right? You have a legendary carpenter and he's just out here making wooden barrels. I mean, what else can he make? Am I right? What else can he make? We're, we're all filled on the other stuff. I guess I can have him make more beds and stuff, but for now, like, we're good. For now, we're good on the beds. What else can he make me? Armor stand. Animal trap. Cage. Well, cages is probably not for the same. Chest. I will need cabinets and chests. Can I, Can you explain for what? All right. So you want me to make bins? Okay. So then I'll make 10 wooden bins. You can catch those boars if you have cages. And then will I be able to... Cabinet hold... Oh, okay. That is actually amazing. All right. Thank you. Right? This is the... Sorry. I'm, I have so many things I'm clicking, so I'm just... No. Okay. I, I took the other one. I'm out of beds less than one. Less than two. Then... Okay. Um, work orders. We are going to make them make... chest <laughs> if you have amount of empty boxes if you have two empty boxes you make 10 chests I'm, I'm i'm getting it i'm getting it i'm getting it i feel i feel my noggin turning and what was the other one bin no i already had a bin cabinet and then same thing if you have two cabinets then you make oh my god Wait until she finds out about flooring. Don't even. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for flooring, please. So here, should I just make them put the plump mushrooms over here? Custom. Plump. Mushroom. Mush? Helmet? No, it's showing me helmet snake heart. Um, plants. Ah, thank you. So if I could put plant helmet and like what, barrels maybe? I guess just the plum helmet is good. Right? I just want to see how this is going to function. If they're going to take them over and then just put them over there. How this is going to work. Oh, I see it. I see it. It shows that it's just for plump helmets. And this shows that it's for everything. Nice. So then I'll put this for fish and muscle. I'll put this one for fish and I'll put this one for like the muscle shells, I guess. Okay, so this area. Oh, sorry. This area is for the muscle shells. Muscles. Muscle and bone, I guess. No, you all told me to make bolts with bone. So animal. Maybe it's a corpse. Shell? No. Muscle? Muscles. The muscle corpses are technically shells, correct? Maestro, this is technically my second time because I played it for two hours like last week. But this is like my official sort of, you know, first full playthrough. It'll be in Refuse. So corpses. You think shells are in Refuse? What is Refuse? Where is that? I don't see Refuse. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. Thank you. 
Oh, other. Okay. So otherwise, if I said put. Okay. Okay. I get it. I think if I had done put corpses of shells, it would have put like shells that are um, rotten and bad. But this way I'm putting shells that are fresh, just not yet a rotten corpse. Well, Furluge, do you think I should make bone stuff instead, then? Corpses is the whole body and then refuses the... Okay. Wow. This is... This is... I'm learning. Um, I guess we'll put bone as well. Bones. Oh, wait. Did I not... Yeah, bones. Can I not do... Can I not do custom more than one thing? I guess I can only do one custom thing unless I'm doing it wrong. I thought it could be the same thing as like uh, RimWorld where you can put like that thing, that thing, this thing. You can. Ooh, that's smart sideless. You'd make bone trinkets for trade. Or bone bolts for hunting. You can. You need to hit all under bone. Oh, I see. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's like, it, it, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little confused, but I got the spirit. I'm a little confused, but I got the spirit. A little confused, but I got the spirit. All right, so then here I can put just fish. Just don't, like, whenever you have stuff, just bring fish here. So this would be custom fish. So food, fish, all fish. Nah. Uh, 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 So should I maybe make, like, a little one for wood? <laughs> no, I'm learning the power of I am learning the power of stockpiles, everybody. We're doomed. We're going to be here forever. I am learning the power of stockpiles. We're done. We're doomed. We're doomed. We are doomed. It's happening. All right. What do we got here? Here we got to make is a bone crossbow that much better than a wooden crossbow? Or it's like, eh, kind of the same. How we feeling here? It's eh. So I guess I'll just do two wooden crossbows. And then I'm going to make... Oh, I guess the wooden bolts, huh? I need a freaking Fletcher! A boyer is not enough. I also need a Fletcher. Yeah, that makes sense for the material being more for melee. 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 Okay. Um, let's see. Make shell crafts infinite. And then what did I decide to do? Were we going to... Yeah, let's make bone bolt bolts, actually. Let's make a boyer Fletcher and make bone bolts. I see what y'all mean for the for the farms. I definitely like don't need this many farms for now. <laughs> I definitely do not need all these farms. Definitely do not. I really what I need to do is to be digging underground. I have to stop this nonsense and I have to start digging underground. What am I doing? FLN, thank you so much. Craft workshop for bolts. I thought it was the boyer that made bolts. Right? Dig deep, get greedy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get greedy. But it's hard because I keep getting, I keep getting distracted by everything else. Wait, that's my craft station. Yeah, so this craft station has the bolts. Add new task, bone, bolts. All right, everybody, I'm sorry. I got a bad news. I'm making bone bolts. I'm making bone bolts forever. 
for now. I'm just going to hunt with them, all right? Sorry for that. All right, it's hunting time. And then I guess I'll just put a stone cutter here so that they don't feel alone working together. I don't know if they want to be together here. None of my business. God, I hate to say it, but I think I think we might have a playthrough going on. I think I think we might be doing some stuff. I think I got a playthrough going on, y'all. My God, there's also furnaces. Stop. All right, let's put a stone worker and start working on graves. Just to have a few graves just in case for this game. Just have a few graves just in case. Um, all right. And then and then we're digging down. And then we're we're digging down. We're going back. I'm sorry, everybody. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta dig. We gotta dig deep. I keep getting distracted and not going where I need to go in this game, all right? We gotta go. My people need me. Ooh. Play. What is this? Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Kowaline wall? Nice. Hmm. What is this? Chalcedony cluster. Okay. So this is where we were at when we were stuck. Let's go over here and see if we can go down. Maybe. Yeah, I think I want to move down to like a minus two or something, you know? Maybe like a zero or a minus two. I think that would be a good start. Should I have more wheelbarrow? Actually, maybe I shouldn't be moving the stone up. Maybe I should make a... Maybe I should just make a room just for the stone right now, right here. Because... I don't want them to move the stone all the way up. Has she uncovered a cave yet? Th this is like... I am baby, baby, baby in this game, my darling. You are watching an absolute baby learn video games. You are watching a baby learn video games. Don't bother to move them. It's too much. It's just, I don't want them to wheelbarrow it all the way up. I also wonder if I should maybe make like one more wheelbarrow because of that. Aren't you baby all the time? Sometimes. Sometimes when I'm learning the games, I'm a little baby. It happens. Dingo, you are lying. The bits are going to be free eventually when I enable... When I enable... Um, what is it called? Oh, they're different. Whoopsies. The bits are going to be free eventually when I enable... Um, the alerts. But for now... It's everything is expensive. Everything costs money. I'm sorry, darling. Set the torch up. Repaint this. Yeah. You could remove non-economic stone. Oh yeah, there. I think I said it. Oh. We're dead. Uh oh. Autumn has come. This is it. We're gonna die. Oh. <gasps> Hellscape, thank you so much. All right, everybody, it's autumn. We have struck Saltopeter, and we have struck something else, Microcline. Never heard of her. We have created masterpiece barrels and chests. <laughs> and autumn has come. Okay, so this means we are very, very close to having... <gasps> Roka, thank you so much for the gift. Oh, I'm looking away. Not the hype train again. You are all. Thank you, Elo. Thank you for spoiling me, everybody. This is the great circle of baby. Momo's our mom's baby. Mom is baby a game. Games are babies to us. We are all baby. Small, pathetic babies. All right, so. My stone carver is also my miner, and I don't want that. I want him to mine forever. He will never stop mining. Wendigo, thank you. Wait, Rain, what did it do back then? Nero, welcome with the prime. Wendigo, thank you so much for the 25 gifted. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Canadian guy, thank you for gifting. Thank you. Yeah, I'm keeping my miner on mining duty. I do not want my miner to do other things than mine. Um, oh my god, this carpenter is never gonna come here, by the way. He's never gonna make look at him. He's never gonna make this bow. Ever. He's never, ever, ever going to make this bowl. This is it. Like, it, you're done. <laughs> He's never going to do it. Thank you, Dingo. Oh, my God. Thank you, everybody. God. People so spoiled. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Oh, my God. Wait, what? No, you stockpile. Plus. People so spoiled, everyone. Oh, my God. Yeah, Wendigo, we... We got to talk, Wendigo. We got to take away your money. Wendigo, we got to take away your money. I'm sorry. I have heard that it is time to take away your money. Okay? I know. I know. I just, it's true. It's true. Wait, so if you have less than two empty coffins, make 10 rock coffins. That's fine, I think. I'll have 10 coffins and then what? And then what? All right, who do I want as my worker here? Hold on, everybody. We need to find somebody who's not busy. My mason, right? Mason is kind of stone. What is Lord Narkim, Narnokim doing? Hold on. Everybody's trying to spoil me, but I'm trying to read a video game. Oh, okay. He's not great at other stuff, so we can put him here. I want him to improve at this, right? Lore, person, uh, Lore you're going to be here. Okay. Timmy, thank you so much for the soup. But what currency is that? D and D. I've never heard of that currency. Mm. Thank you for letting me know about the war alert. Also, Leviathan, thank you for the bits. All right, everybody, please. You got to stop. You got to stop, everybody. We got to fight. Stop this, everybody. Stop. Stop this. Get some help. Oh no. My wait, where was my war dog? What? Where's my little guy? The war dog is fighting. Where are they fighting? Where are they fighting? Click on the icon. I did, but it didn't jump. Look, look, look. When I press look, and then I go down, or is up the most, uh, like, is down the most recent, or is up the most recent? It's time to stop Hellscape. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Okay, what is this? One person says down, one person says up. Who do I trust? Who do I trust in this community? left i think it's right pack to be honest i think it's right i never know honestly right like look when i click here there's no nothing but when i click down a splattering of oh shit of wild boar blood i guess we just follow the blood Does anybody know for the boar attacks, do the boars just get kind of hungry and attack you or do your dogs kind of aggravate them? I think it's the boars get kind of bored. Yeah, it does sound like, oh, I get what you did. The wild boar soakings the war dog in the right rear paw with her right rear hook, and the injured part collapses into a lump of gore. Mm. 
An artery has opened in the leg. Mm. This not good. Like, where are they? Where, where, like, where, where are the dogs? Where are the dogs at? Also, how did they go all the way here for the fighting? Huh? How did they... Oh! <gasps> I found him! Okay. Um... Can I save my dog in any way, shape, or form? Or... Yeah, that would have been easier if I just went... I guess we just have to kill all the boars now. Pasture it inside. Pasture it inside. Hmm. The dogs apparently can be pastured. All right, everybody. We need to make those bows, and we need to go. Jet, cold hot bitch. Na 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 na. Waiting, give me. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Pink jade cluster, yes. Ba -da -ba -da -na -na. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Nice. All right. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm having a great time. So it's kind of the same thing, right? Waiting, give me. Oh, wait, I forgot I can go. All right, let's go to minus five. And then we will forever, we will make our final, final base. Limonite is iron ore. Interesting. So I can actually make, you know, the good weapons and stuff. Limonite, you said. Limonite, limonite. It kind of looked like iron ore ingots, actually. I know, wait. This, right? No, that's kyolinite. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Although it is grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan... I'm sorry, everybody. This is the longest I've survived. I This is the longest I've survived. Can we please take a moment to cheers? It is now time for capitalism. Although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the torch of worship is a welcome sign. Their eyes are alight with the anticipation of expecting the splendid products of your industrial crop store. Wow, thank you everybody for the hype train. Thank you everybody for the love. Um, I really appreciate it. All right. Um, let us. Broker can access depot. Okay. Move goods to the depot. Mm, bags. Giant bag of spider silk barrels. Okay. Beds. So I can sell my beds. <laughs> but I, everybody told me, like, I'll need so many beds. Body parts. Yummy. Boxes. Buckets. Let's go, everybody. Um, I guess I keep all of these, right? Because I want to put them in stuff. Same for the rough. Ooh. Rough sapphires value a thousand. I actually don't know how much money is worth in this game, so this tells me nothing. This tells me nothing. Prepared meals are easy to make and sell. Wait, I have nothing to sell. Should I sell the cut gems? I just realized I have like nothing to sell. Man. Check bins. I have a gem bin. I have a finished goods bin. What what are finished goods? Is it like cups and stuff? Okay, so I should be selling my finished goods bin, right? 
Starbuck or coffee bean. I'm actually having tea. Okay, that works with me selling gem bin. I want to keep my gem bin, right? Because I want to eventually put gems to like be click them to see what's inside the bin. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like all the extra stuff that I have made. It's like I'm going to sell all the wood cups, but I'm guessing stone cups will be more worth more. What is adding the value so much? I should sell everything I don't need for money. Okay. Even though I could eventually make more money with the gems. The bin itself might be valuable if it's masterwork. Ah, might as well sell it. Zulki, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the prime. Might as well sell it. Wait, this is a rib? I can sell a rib. What's a saguaro? Oh, my God. Mm. So it's basically like a tree almost that I'm giving them. Oops. All right. Um, so you all told me I can sell all the gems, right? So it's fine to sell the gems even though... I could eventually make them into stuff. And then should I sell the rough sapphires? You also all told me yes. <gasps> Dan Sullivan, thank you for the gifted. I have an anvil, but I haven't been able to place it from upstairs to downstairs. My anvil is up top. The, the brought it. They brought it. Thank you, Blue. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I can sell a really nice table too, just for the extra money. I guess I'll sell, like, the cheap table, right? Just so I have a little bit less cheap tables. Okay. We are bringing things to the depot. Chop, chop, everybody. It's time to move. Oh, one guy's getting a little unhappy. What's going on? What's going on, my buddy? Oh, why are you unhappy? What's wrong? So right now would probably be a good time to start developing an army, right? It's been a year. I haven't been attacked, but I am growing all my stuff. So probably would have been good to like have an army. Oh, he's sad because his dog died, right? He's sad because he slept in the dirt. What's wrong with the dirt wall? Okay, let's move down to the bottom of the caves. Let's trade with these guys and then move down to the bottom of the caves. Okay, everybody? This is our time to move down to the caves. Oh, no. He's getting more and more unhappy. First, to get metal working set up. All right. Diplomacy. Expedition leader trader meets with the outpost. I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. There is much to share. Make requests for next year's caravan. They'll charge more for these items. Um, is there anything that you guys usually request? Seeds are good. All right, all right, all right. Please, sir. Oh, I would like some seeds. All seeds or just all seeds and all ropes, right? Cloth and clothing. Can't you grow like um, like the mushrooms that you grow in RimWorld? Animals would be good. Hmm. I guess eventually when you're able to like store your animals underground, right? So then your animals could reproduce underground. Seeds and beer. Oh, we can make beer. We can make beer. Leather and cloth. Leather and jeans. The rush from the rest. Not sure what it means. Eggs. 
We can grow our own duckies. Oh my god, we can grow our own emus. That sounds terrifying. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Where do y'all see animals? Or are the animals in the eggs? Well, no. That would only be the birds in the egg, right? Hmm. Oh, so it's just eating eggs. I see, I see. Pets. Oh, thank you. I was looking for animals. I hate... Okay. I hate that this is not, like, in order. So, what would you say are really good pets? Probably dogs, because especially if you can breed them, right? And then you can just always have war dogs. So then they'll probably get aggro from the animals. They'll probably protect your villagers. So probably female and male dogs good, so they can reproduce. Um... You can make rhinos. Pigs are good. Are pigs good for the leather and the fat? Cows can make cheese. Elephants make great pets. No way are you going to have elephants underground. That's insane. Pigs, they can be milk, make leather, and don't graze. Ooh, we got to reproduce some pigs. A sow is a pig, right? And a boar is a pig, right? Alpacas for wool. Elves sell lots of exotic animals. I'm excited for when that happens. I really, really am. There's also a cave boar and a cave... No, 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 no. We were going for... Wait, a boar is a pig, right? So these are also boars and pigs. Should I do both? I mean, I'm just requesting, right? So let's do both. Now we can have reindeers. And then you all said alpaca for wool could be nice. What is wool can be used for? Cavies are guinea pigs. <gasps> is it the same thing as in RimWorld where the guinea pig fur is just worth so much money? Oh my God, there's so much stuff to do in this game. All right. How does this look? Alpacas, pigs, dogs. I wonder if you can train your donkeys to haul. Turkeys produce leather. I already have pigs that are going to produce leather. Leather. Only tiny little skulls. Let's crush their tiny little skulls. I wonder if you can make mules and donkeys carry things for you. A mule will probably carry things for you, right? We use children for hauling. You can milk everything. Ain't that the truth? Amen. Okay. I guess maybe a cow and a bull for the milk. No, we're going to have enough. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. And then you all told me to get some cloth, right? Pigtail cloth. Cool. Thanks. Oh, my God. Look at these prices. Let's discuss what we are willing to offer you for your craft's warship. A need for ammunition and legwear is expected. And if you're able to provide some, the caravan will offer. Okay. They want ammunition and leg protection. So, what now, my dear? Trade? No trader at depot. Why not? Can I make the trader go to the depot? Request a broker? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now... Broker requested, please, sir. You are requested at the depot. You are requested, Mr. Broker. Hello? Please, sir. You can make ammo and leggings out of bones? Yeah, I probably will do that, huh? Please, sir. Get your ass over here. 
He's eating, sir? He's drinking. Alcoholic. Alcoholic. Absolute alcoholic. When do y'all usually start making kitchens? I feel like I'm so behind in this game. But also, I just started playing. It's normal I'm behind on everything. Right? All right. I want... Nothing so far. Nothing so far. You make a kitchen almost right away? Mm. Is it worth it? I always wake up and choose violence. Yeah, I think I'm also doing things so much slower, right? Because I'm I'm learning everything. I guess I could buy some cloth so that we'll be able to build some stuff with cloth and leather maybe. You all told me that cloth is kind of worth it, so maybe. Thank you, Velo. It's again, it's my first time, so it's it's, you know, I just wonder how much of this stuff I should buy, you know? Hmm. Ooh, prepared mule brain. Prepared bat kidney. Oh, should I buy some of these delicacies for them? Should I buy some of the delicacies for them? I mean, it's kind of cheap. Right? Cave lobsters and turtles, yes. Why? Because they like to eat it? Oh, okay. It gives them a treat. All right. I already have enough plump helmets. So I guess I'll just buy like extra, uh, extra fruits and stuff like that for them to eat. So that way they will have different foods and they're going to be happy, correct? Backpacks. Can somebody explain what those do? I guess I'll also buy cheese and stuff to spoil them. Just so that way I guess they'll be a little happier. Okay, wait. Maybe the cheese was a little expensive. Maybe maybe we're not going to afford that much cheese. Um, crutches, bindings. Backpacks are for military dwarves. I guess after I can like make more of them, right? Oh, I have more than enough stuff to sell to them. I'm not worried. Animal development. Is this a skill trainer? Codice. I wonder what that is. Purring maggot parchment sheet. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to get a little backpack. It's only 10 gold. So we bought some food. I don't know if we really need those leaves. We got more than enough plump helmets. I'm not too worried. Let's buy them. Let's buy them some meat brains and stuff so they can have a nice time. Let's buy a little bit of pigtail cloth. Right. And then do we need spider silk for now. Hmm. Buy the quarry bushes. Oh. I thought I couldn't plant them underground, but thank you. Get a bit of silk. This is nice. Do I need the rope? When you're telling me to buy the fabric, I don't really need to like max out buying the fabric, right? Or should I buy all the fabric I can afford? Because I'm guessing the fabric is probably to make them into nice clothes, which is going to keep them happy, right? That's what I'm guessing is going to happen. 
by the pigtail claw. I think I already did. Hold on. Let me go down smaller. Let me just close these. It's going to be easier. So that way I don't get, you know. Maces, maces. I see. So that's what you all mean about a strange mood. So basically, my dwarves are going to ask for things. And then if I don't... Oh, a bronze pickaxe isn't even good. And then if I don't make it for them, they're going to get kind of mad. And it would really, really suck. God, I hope that doesn't happen too often. I hope that doesn't happen too often. Because that would suck. So pigtail bag is just a bag full of pigtails. Spider silk, giant cave bag silk. Cave weed bag. That's good, right? That's cave weed, which means I can grow it. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. It's just a bag made of that material. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for letting me know. <laughs> I would have I would have bought the wrong thing. I would have definitely bought the wrong thing. Whoopsies. All right, we're going to get some leather. The fact that you need a little bit of everything in that game. All right, I think this is enough. I think this is enough. No, those are seed bag. Damn it. Contains pigtail seeds bag. So this is going to have pigtail seeds. Rock nuts bag. Those are also seeds. Cave wheat seed. Well, I guess rock nuts. I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm learning. I'm learning. I wonder if anybody is recognizing the noobness of my days. All right. Let's sell. Muscle crown. I can actually sell everything here, right? Yeah. And then I can sell everything here. And then we are going to be making. Are we not allowed to make money in this game? Because right now it says value 1930. So the trader's making money. So does that mean... It's a barter system. All right. So 308 profit means the trader like made money off me so I can like lower it. Is there any reason to spoil them with with your stuff? Is there any reason to like actually give them things or it's kind of like eh? It's all in a barter system and the trader wants a profit. So if I give him a big profit, he'll like it and he'll bring me better stuff. All right, then my friend, you can take my stuff, all of it. You're welcome. I love you. So basically making money all on the trader is also good. Cool. All right. Trade. What do you mean there is simply not enough? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean there is not enough profit? Hold on. You're making so much money off of me. Making like 70% profit. Isn't this bin going to be like, yeah, look, look, look. This bin has like everything in it. Mark all. I see, I see, I see, I see. So because my trader is weak. You little shitbag. All right, my friends, we have to get a little bit of less stuff. All right, we got a lot of pigtail cloth. We can get a little less. I feel so swindled. I feel so mooched. I feel so taken advantage of. Thank you, Dingo, for the bits. Great. Don't trade at a loss. I feel so hurt right now. I feel so hurt. 
so bamboozled. I feel that life is so unfair. And I feel used and taken advantage of. Okay, so now it's YOLO, so it should work. A dick. Yeah, 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 I get it. My trader basically sucks, and he thinks our stuff doesn't suck. And, um... Man. Should I just place my anvil down here? Hold on. Build furniture anvil. How do I place the anvil down? I haven't been able to, like, take it down from here. Oh, okay, okay. So it's for... Can I get rid of these items currently? Or are they slowly going to take them away? Hold on. Oh, wait. I have no items. They're just going to... I have no items left here. They're just going to move everything to... I get it. I get it. All right, everybody. It's finally... I'm sorry for my language. Effing time. To effing go downstairs after I make this kitchen. It's finally effing time to effing go downstairs and get my stuff going, okay? It's finally time. We're about to settle. And hopefully this guy makes his wooden crossbow soon because he is just working, working his himself to the bone. Oh my god, please don't be unhappy. Life is beautiful. You got nothing to worry about, my friend. I'm gonna make you so much new food, everybody. You're gonna be so happy. Don't even worry. Oh yeah, I did release the trader from trading duty. No worries. No trader needed. Alright, everybody. It's time to get to work. It's time to get to work, okay? Chris, I'm so sorry. Hey, at least you got gems, right? More migrants? Uh-oh. Children? Ugh. I hope they can carry things, because... These guys are new, right? Is that what... No, those were the legendary ones. Ugh. Not the children. Ugh. You can make them do chores like hauling good. They better do chores. Come on, children. You think you can live here for free? Eat my food for free? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The children's must also, they yearn for the mines, all right? The children's absolutely yearn for the mine. Uh, can somebody tell me what the... Can somebody tell me? So, okay. The meals will never spoil, correct? So I can just make meals forever. Or will that make my money go too high up? Like in RimWorld, you don't want to just have a thousand meals in your fridge because it's going to make your raids much stronger. No reason not to make lavish? Meals spoil if rats eat them. I do feel like I have a lot of cats. I have like two cats. Meat spoil, but so do raw food. I guess for now, I'll do, okay, I'll do lavish meal, but I'll do, I'll do, um, like not that many. I'll try to keep like 10. Wait, no, I have 20 dwarves, so maybe I'll try to keep like 20. Wealth is tied to enemy strength, just like in RimWorld. Two cats, but are they both one gender? It's okay. I'm going to get more cats in the future. I trust in the plan that my, my cats will come. I trust in the plan that my cats will come. All right. Let's make stone mugs now, right? No more armor stand, book stand, bookcase. Make some armor stands. Let's make some...
Is a coffer make rock table? So that would be better than a wooden table, right? So if I now started making rock tables, do I eventually want to move everything away from wood, it seems like? Because people told me that the elves don't really love you. It's not better. It's just a different material. Mm. I would like to... Mm. Thank you, Hawkeye. I appreciate it. Yeah, a coffer is a stone chest. Yeah, maybe I can start, like... Getting him off the wooden bins and chest. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Let's get rid of the bin, cabinet, and stuff. We'll keep the beds for now. Now this guy can hopefully make some effing crossbows. And we can actually hopefully kill the children. No, we're not going to kill the children. But we will, we will, we will, we will do some stuff. Because we, we got a lot of stuff to do. Got a lot of stuff to do. For the chests, should I be eventually putting them in people's bedrooms? Bins and barrels are great to make from wood and stone okay so bins and barrels are wood and uh, sorry bins and barrels are wood everything else mm. cool i'm learning i'm learning <sighs> one chest and one bed in the bedroom is there anything else that i need a coffer a cabinet and a bed perfect should I be making my cabinets out of stone then? Just to kind of start leveling up my guy's level. Cool. Let's do that. Exciting. Oh my god, we're going to have so many bedrooms. I'm so excited, y'all. This, this is finally going. We're doing this. It's finally, we're finally, finally, finally doing this. Um... I really do want to go hunt those boars, though. Oh, I do. Wheelbarrows. Let me also make a few wheelbarrows, because I, I feel like they're good for carting things, right? Oh, oopsies. Let me make, like, five wheelbarrows. Oh, my God, I'm scared. What's going to happen with my first attack? I have no army. I, my people don't know how to fight. Okay, let's go deep underground and finally, hopefully, since we're deep underground, we can put hatches on the stuff and hopefully that hatch will protect us, right? I know it might not, but it's better than nothing. Build cage traps and whoa, 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 what? I barely, I barely even have stuff. Come on. Hmm. All right, everybody. Let's go. So with the cut gems, hmm. God, I wonder if you could like encrust furniture, but only legendary furniture. Like, is that a thing that you can do? How would I do that? Where it's like I only make the best. Thank you, Leonardo. I'm having a lot of fun with proper stockpile finagling. Oh, so I need to basically make it so this only takes from that. Okay, so I would need to make it so this would only take from a certain stockpile. And then. Right. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I can make a stockpile except masterwork furniture and accept things from that stockpile and this should technically fix everything. Okay. 
I love how they're just having the time of their life here. They're just out here. They're mining. We're not even doing what we're supposed to do, but we're having the time of our life. Because this is technically iron, so this is good. Oh, my God. This is like, this is the place for the stones. Oh, my God. Look at him go. Look at him go. All the clusters, all the stuff. Oh, that's not iron. That's clay. E. E. Whoops. 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 Uh-oh. I thought that was iron. I was so excited. I was like, yes. Hold on. Why did it not let me build? I wonder if it's because there's um water. Oh, they're also busy mining other stuff. That's probably why. It could be fired. Yeah, probably to make like, um, yeah, there we go. There's the water. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to cut here and then. And then cut here and make it priority one. Oh, sorry. Not auto. No, 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 no. Priority one. And then build my walls around it. We're good. We got nothing to worry about. It used to be Genio. It used to be, but it got a, um, I don't know, re-release, I guess it's called. Oh my God. We got a baby yak. Willow Wheel Baron. Masterpiece. Wow. I sure love my masterpiece wheelbarrow. Amazing. Okay, wait. I got to make sure this is like three. Because the other stuff is more important. How amazing. A miracle happened today. <laughs> we got a masterpiece wheelbarrow. Every single time that dwarf will use it, he will be the happiest little guy. Right? Put jewels on the wheelbarrow. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking in portals, my friend. Now you are absolutely thinking in portals, my friend. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. They're going to get smooth walls and stuff. Smooth like butter. Okay, why is this not canceling? Hello? Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. This is fine. You jewel everything when you play. But the thing is, I don't really have an army yet. So how does that not cancel? Hold on. Okay. That was not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure this out in a second. I'm going to figure this out in a second. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. No stresses. No stresses. No worries. No stresses. Hakuna Matata. What are you doing? Why are you just vibing? Who are you? Adequate blacksmith. Um, Why aren't you hauling and stuff? You know what? I think I have an extra. Don't I have like an extra pickaxe that he could be using upstairs? They're going to remove one of your stairs. No, not my stair. It's because I put a wall. Oh. Because I put a wall on that stair. That's why. Are they fighting here? Where are they fighting? The girls are fighting. Where? Hmm. It's fine. The dogs are doing their best until we get people with proper bows, which is not happening anytime soon because this guy's busy making barrels. Isn't this great, Chris? You're watching me play this and you're like, ah, oh, yes. I remember how that used to go for me. I remember when I was a noob. Such a long, sweet time ago, I too was a noob. Like, what is she doing? What do you mean you got no job? You're a manager. You got a bookkeep. All right, I guess it's time to have a military commander. Uh, maybe one of the new people that didn't really have a job, right? 
can the children be military commanders? Probably not that soon, Volley, just because um, I'm like settled in a pretty safe biome, but also maybe soon. I don't know. So, like I got a lot of food and drink. I feel like I got too much food and drink. I feel like I probably should not be making all these lavish meals and stuff for now, you know? And my metal crafter, I think he's like here, right? Where's my metal crafter? No, this is not my metal crafter. Where is everybody? What are y'all busy doing? Mm. All right, we abandon this. It's too bad. So sad. Is it? I can just build the wall there and it'll be fine. And then eventually it's going to dry. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Instructions wall. And then I guess I'll close this empty. I feel like. All right. We're fine. We're fine. And then I'll make a wall there. You can use a hotkey to map a position. That would be great. I I'll do this when I like make my base downtown walking fast oh, cannot reach site all right you know what we gotta do what anybody in this position would do make a base dig 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 elsewhere yeah chris i'm gonna do that better next time i'm gonna dig differently look at them look at them bringing my oars here you're such a good little guy look at him Look at that. Good guy. You guys keep fighting. Uh, question. When the wild boar is killed naturally, right? Can I set something up in the butchers to butcher? Or is it just extract from land animal? How does that work? My population went down. No, it went up. It's 19. If it's dead, it's butchered, not extracted. But what if it's like not me who, um, like, what if it's just it got killed by the dog? Is that the same thing? Or is it like different if it dies? Because, you know, like in RimWorld, you got to like, uns if, if an animal dies from another animal, you got to like select it in RimWorld differently. My God, why do I have so much wood? I never realized that there is so much wood in this game. Oh, my goodness. In the labor menu, there's a page for standing orders. Oh, automatically butcher carcasses, automatically clean fish, automate kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my crossbows are not going so far. <laughs> my God. Wait, I just turned those three things off. I thought I turned them on. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Within 43 squares of the butcher shop. So then maybe I can make a zone for like animal. Um, Not when it's like already dead and decomposing, but when it's still like the scrap. I forget the word for it exactly. So then I'll make a zone. All right. Wow. A masterpiece chestnut bin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Exciting. All right, so let's do that. Let's then make a zone for accept. It's not corpses. It was refute. So refute custom uh, corpses, right?
Well, I guess I have to do all. So now it'll, it's going to put them as long as it's not rotten. Because I don't want rotten corpses there. I want not rotten corpses. Because if they were rotten, they'd be corpses, correct? Paradine, isn't it awesome? You're watching me play, but you're learning stuff. Why? It's not really my landfill. So what I'm hoping is... I just want to explain myself. So I am hoping to put a corpse place with rotting corpses far away. But I want a corpses that are not decomposed yet clothed. Because I want the butcher to butcher them. So, I want, this will store non-rotten, rotten corpses and skeleton. They will all be butchered. How can I make sure it doesn't store rotten? Oh, okay. Corpses is the clean corpses, but then I feel like I did the opposite for the... I'm confused. I thought you guys previously explained to me with the muscles that the corpses is when it's rotten and the refuse, it's when it's like parts of it, but it's not yet rotten. So it's like the difference when you like you you catch a muscle and you eat it, right? Like she cooks the muscle and then you have the muscle shell that you can use for stuff. That's a refuse. But if the muscle shell rots, that's a corpse. I won't put it this close to my trader, but I will put it like kind of close-ish because yeah. All right. I kind of get it. I think I understood. Let's try it. And if I didn't understand, well, then I didn't understand. <laughs> it's either I got it or I didn't get it. So let's find out if I got it or I didn't get it. All right, let's try this. So this is my corpses, meaning this is my pile for like dying, decaying, gross corpses. And then here is going to be my cute corpses, the corpses that I will use for leather and goods and wood and stuff. Well, not wood, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I hope. Let's find out if I'm correct. Dun, 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 dun. What is tree bone? Stop. Mom, leave my children alone. No, I must kill them. I must murder them. I must. Did you like TwitchCon? I saw on Twitter that you were at TwitchCon. And I think it was you who posted that it felt like one of the first kind of Twitch TwitchCons. I think it's a good time for me to be on Twitch. Thank you for your patience with me, everybody. It means so much. I am still a little confused. By everything. <laughs> I am still a little confused by everything in this game. Oh my god, we got a lot of cats. But I don't want to neuter my male cat for now. I think he's fine. We do got some baby yaks. This is exciting. Although it took like a year to grow the yak. Ugh, colony of ants? Not good. She's a little confused, but she got the spirit. Isn't that the best? I'm a little confused, but I'm doing my darn best. All right. Once I finally finalize my base down here, I can finally start living my best life underground like the dwarf that I am. Okay. Let's try setting up M T. Oh, T. No, it's 
Yeah, empty. All right, finally, we are going to minus four because four is my lucky number. Do you believe? Oh, oh, it's again the dog. The dog and the boar, they keep fighting. Let them be. Let them do their thing. You know what I mean? Let them do whatever they do best. Rose says, yeah, I've had a few people today mention that they learned some stuff. I am kind of curious. If you have been playing this game for a while, have you learned anything from watching me play? And please don't say that you have learned that you are much better than me at this game. Because, duh, of course you are. Mm. New. Darn it. All right. We're doing it again. Oh, I have to automate it. No, 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 no. We're doing it again. We're doing this thing again. Cool. You learned about ice. You learned this game exists. Honestly, not bad at all. You can't get yourself to train dogs to be war dogs. I just feel like war dogs will probably take away damage and aggro from your dwarf, so it's worth it. Everyone plays differently, so there's always something to learn. Right? Okay, build. Hold on. Let's not get... Let's not forget. Build. Furniture. Constructions. Wall. Oh, no. You have to make support beams later? That's scary. You learned about aquifers slowly leaking? That makes sense. But maybe you didn't know because maybe you just stopped playing with aquifers, right? That's another thing. Like, sometimes I feel when you play these kinds of games, sometimes people will only play, like, their favorite stuff. And then they forget how, like, stuff in the game actually happens, you know? You just play all the favorite best stuff and you forget. It's cool that there's a lot of materials here for me to mine already. And we're still at elevation 9. We're not even that deep down. Wait, did I make a mistake? I think somebody had just told me that I got to make sure that when I'm building these, that I make sure to clomp, like clog the sides first. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just found out, Wowzy. Let's find out if I'm going to get punished for my mistakes. Will I be punished for my mistakes? Yes or no? Yeah, I guess I got to knock down the wall next to it. My question for knocking down the wall next to it, do I have to do it a different way? Okay, so I can just remove this wall, it seems, and remove this wall. Perfect. God. Perfect. All right, we're doing this. Oh, we have just struck jade, actually. Maybe I can I can remove the jade while we're here. Nice. So they can mine diagonally, but they cannot build diagonally. Ugh, how lame. How lame, you guys. All right, all right, everybody quiet. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. We got this. Okay? Build. Constructions. Wall. And then this wall. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on, you guys. Do it for me, please. Do it for me. Please. No, no, we're going to be sunk in. I'm scared. You might need to click on the lower right corner to restruct construction. All right, I get it. Maybe it just got kind of stuck, right, in limbo. Let's bring it back. I like how everyone's probably micromanaging their dwarves, and I'm just here staring at this wall like, please, wall, I beg you. I beg you, wall. So... Is there a quick way to find out if somebody doesn't really have a job? And I mean, like, if somebody is, like, kind of doesn't have anything they're good at, isn't, like, crazy at anything. I guess here, right? Let's see what Latas does. 
Because we have Weaponsmith. Or is he my legendary Weaponsmith? Yeah, he's my legendary mempool. Like... Ask them if they are me. Ooh. Because... What did I want to... Oh my god, I already forgot what I wanted to do with him. No! Oh, I want it to be... To make them military people. So he is definitely not going to become my military person. Uh-uh. So the Vukar Dedalum doesn't have a job. But, like, she doesn't have anything to make her good at war. Right? Like, she doesn't have anything to make her good at war. Which is why Vukar Dedukum, I now grant you the power of war. And here we have Dukar Dedukum being our war leader. And also I feel like the sheriff, right? Like it kind of makes sense. You need a lot of stuff. When it says she needs a modest dining room, does this mean she needs the dining room in her training? Like she needs the dining room to be in her train, in her area, correct? You may want to avoid assigning anybody who gets stressed by combat. Let's find out if Miss Vukar does. Miss Vukar, let me take a look at you. Not greedy. Good memory. Seems like a perfect person to send to war. No? She needs a dining. Perfect. That's awesome. Six children. Well, when she dies, they're all going to be sad. That's that's for sure. When, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I really want to start hunting these boars. I guess I can also assign her as a hunter, correct? Since she's going to be like my, my, uh, what is her name? Militia commander. Perfect. All right. We need to give her like maybe one more person. We have an armor. I don't want to use him. Mason, administrator. I don't want to use him. Planter. Blacksmith? I also kind of don't want to use him. Ugh. Maybe we don't need two planters. I need these, sorry, darn kids to grow up. How early is too early to start preparing the children for war? Is it ever too early to send the children to war? Hmm. Genuinely. When is a good time? Give war a chance. Exactly. Exactly. I'm just saying. It's time for these children. They have eaten my food for free. They have lived here for free. I have been like a mother to them. For free. When is it my turn to be happy, huh? When? Hmm? Okay, I'm sorry. I keep still. I'm not used to where the, all the stuff is. Okay. Build the final wall and we're good. You can use children as vampire food. Is that actually how it works? So realistically i want real answers only for this game when is it time to send the children for war for war can i send them to be training from youth or what do they think they're just gonna have a childhood no 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 like you're you're not just gonna have a childhood that's wild <laughs> that's crazy that's, that's, that's silly, goofy, crazy, you know? That is, that is, that is whew, funny. Funny stuff, these kids. Thinking they can, uh, you know, thinking they can just do, oh, this is very RimWorld, the music right now. I'm loving it. Jet wall. Interesting. 
All right, let's definitely dig more coal wall. I don't know if we need this much coal, but we are going to soon make a forge. So it's about time. Thank you for the raid. I'm sorry I missed it. I really appreciate it. Welcome. I just want to play games. Too bad, kid. Here's some armor. It's time to live your life. Oh, my God. I was paused. Whoops. Okay, I need to not gather this stuff anymore. Uh-uh, cancel this gathering. We are, we are done. No wonder I have so much wood. I'm accidentally chopping down trees when I'm not supposed to. No more chopping trees. We're done. We're done. We're done chopping trees. Jade opal? Oh my goodness. We're uncovering so much stuff. Variable. That's usually my thing too. I watch a lot of RimWorld, but I really don't want to replay RimWorld just because I haven't even played with the royalty DLC. So then going into like all the genetics DLC and stuff, it's just a lot. Ooh. Lore has become a stone worker. Finally. Finally, Lore. Doing the things I want you to do. Good man. Making the rock cabinets, doing the stuff. Good for you. Is he going to need to make a millstone for the forge later probably huh hey why aren't you making shell craft what's going on what's going on with the shell craft is this not the right amount of make bone bolts what's going on why aren't you making bone bolts oh do i have to set what material can i just do random bone bolts from random stuff why am I saying bolts like that? Am I be eating sleeping? No, no. I feel like they've just been not there. I feel like they've been lazy, you know? I feel like they've been lazy, lazy, lazy. The person doing the craft has a higher priority task they're stuck on. Okay, no, not anymore. Perfect. He's probably working elsewhere, and you can lock him into doing this. Uh, so, Sazir. Oh, can I lock him on his... Okay. I see. So, I can lock this guy to be in, like, the rock cabinet. I see. I, so, I can lock him to be carpentry in here. Oh. Oh, right. He's my gem guy. He's my crafter and my gem guy. Okay. This is awesome. This is such a cool everything okay vukar dedukum my dear it's time for you to go do some stuff so first things first um they have a crossbow and they're waiting for armor what else am i missing just crossbow and then they can go hunt boars or do i have to mark the boars for hunting Native platinum. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds like that makes steel. But what do I know? Look at them go. Oh, hunting is automatic. Nice. They should be a lot safer with the dog. Oh, my God. This is exciting. All right. Look at me mining out everything except, you know, my home. Why do I do this? Why am I still not mining out my home? How did I? I want to say this very politely. Oh, never mind. I was okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong place. I am useless. Useless, I tell you. This game has a genetic system. <gasps> So if your dad and your mom are good at mining, you might inherit some other abilities. Interesting. Oh my God, I keep pausing by accident. Whoops. All right. Remember what I learned about the wall making. Oh, the packet. So eventually, once you get stronger and stronger dwarves, it's for the better. I see. Looks like I'm doing really, really good with, like, food and stuff. Um, I'm just not doing very, very good with, you know, B 
the other stuff. <laughs> Feels like I'm doing really good with food and stuff, just not the other stuff. Hammerer. Any ideas what he does? And chief medical dwarf. Yeah, I also don't have anybody being a chief medical dwarf. Hmm. Good evening, Oren. How are you? All right. Let's build. Build. Construction wall. Boom. Oh, why didn't they just call him an executioner? I see. So if I suddenly had the vampire man move in, this is where I'd need to call. Okay. Who am I going to call? The executioner. Oh my God. You can eventually have a jail. Oh my God. This is so much stuff. I love it. Come on, guys. Get back in here. You know, I could have just not built where this, this aquifer, but I am stubborn now that I've learned, now that I've learned its secrets and I've learned how to conquer it, I am conquering every aquifer just because I can. Is this the smartest thing to do? Don't care. I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I can. I'm doing it because I can do it. That's it. That's all that matters to me. See here? Any reasonable, logical person would say, don't do this. Don't do this, Mata. But I will do this. I have learned to brave the elements and beat this game. I want to be at minus four because four is my lucky number. So question, whenever you would encounter this like copper wall and stuff, would y'all mine it or like not even bother? Like, would y'all go down here a bit to mine it or just wall it off? Don't bother about this. You know, save yourself. Because there's probably going to be so much other copper, I'm guessing. Bye, Maroni. Take care. Hope you have a great rest of your night. It's an aquifer. Ignore it. Don't bother unless it's iron. Okay. I have figured out your ways. What is that? Hold on. Microline, don't even know what that is. Yeah, I feel like later I'm going to get so many ores anyway, so it doesn't really, really matter. Oh. Winter is upon you. Well? I feel like I've done my very, very best. I have a lot of bows. Will my animals die grazing? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. I have two female war dogs and a stray puppy that I'm hoping will grow up to, you know. I don't want to get into the details of it, but, you know. I also have a male cat that I hope will grow up into stuff, you know. Ah, uh, cool. Militia captain. How is that different from a militia commander? I guess we'll find out. I would really like these little babies to grow up ASAP. I would really, really love that. It would make me so happy. Oh, oh, baby, no. I have to make a doctor. I have to make a doctor. I don't even know how I do it, but I have to. I have to save her. I'll make a plant or a doctor or something. Oh. Oh. So wait, having these tombs is going to help them be happy? Since they're like the nobility dwarves. I see, I see. So I should basically set up kind of pre-prepared tombs for everybody. Ugh. Ugh, there's so much stuff to do in this game. Can you heal him? Can you heal him, please? Hold on. Hold on. 
Merekku? No. No, no merekku. Oh. Oh. I don't want him to die. Animals just heal on their own. All right. Well, then, let us all put our hands in prayer and pray that this animal recovers because the cheap mining dwarf is no longer there. All right. Good luck. I wish you the best. I wonder if the reason this is happening is because I only have shell crafts set to 10. So they come in, make 10 shell crafts, and then leave, right? This why. What if I just made it like forever? Hmm. I have all these bones here that aren't getting used. I guess I just have to. Oh, I might not also have room. Oh my God. For hospitals, you want a water source like a well. So big, making a hospital next to like an aquifer could be not bad. They'll make it ten a day right now. Is there a way that I can make them just? I guess if I take these off and just do these non-stop right so i can do bone uh what was it bone bolt infinite and then uh shell open menu shell crafts infinite right that way it's gonna go through all of it infections are brutal and you need water and soap is the soap what you make what you do with the tau uh Talo? Talo? Okay. And Talo, is that something that you hunt from a wild animal? Or is that something that you have to domesticate animals for? Also, infections being brutal is the same in another video game I quite enjoy called The Rim World. Oh, oh and it's not good. It's not Daijubu. It's processed animal fat. So basically, I just kill animals and then I process it. So I can already have my people be making tallow. Right? Maybe it's not in the butcher's shop, though. He makes soap from any fat, really. So basically, as long as I'm routinely killing animals, I'll have soap. Oh, fat gets rendered in the kitchen. Thank you. Cool. So I'll just render fat as long as I have fat. Cool. Thank you, everybody. We're learning today. What I, what I can I make here? Rock cabinet, rock coffin. Did I say I was going to make a rock chest as well? Or are we doing chests out of wood again? I forgot. And tables are probably going to be way too heavy, right? Bookcases maybe could be made out of rocks. I don't know if that's going to be very nice. Velodicon, I'm overdue a lot of stuff. My little guy died. You all said. You all said he was going to heal from his wounds. I guess he didn't heal from his wounds. I've been bamboozled. I've been misled. I've been deceived. Rank, that makes sense. I feel like soap can probably, like, last for a while. So if you just make it, it's good enough, right? He could heal from his wounds if he was stronger. Are you calling him weak? He did the best he could do. Oh, my God. I am being so stubborn with this stupid aquaphor. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody more stubborn than me with this shit? <laughs> Sorry for my language, but, like, damn. Now that I've learned how to fight, oh. You can make walls out of soap. That's actually kind of crazy. 
Animals can be buried in pet cemetery. Oh, I can't like eat him. That's a shame. Thank you, variable. I'm I'm learning. You all taught me how to how to beat this aquifer. Also, I am I am settled in a safe place. Honestly, I agree. I feel like my dog would have wanted me to eat him. I feel like my dog loves me and would have wanted me to eat him. So while we are still poor and adapting and learning this game. My dog would have wanted to be a part of me forever. Exactly. Why wouldn't my dog want to be a part of me forever? You know? But damn it. I still have to mine like nine more levels. <laughs> I still have to mine like nine more levels. Oh my god. Because I'm too impatient. Tall person, thank you so much. I love your name. Would you all believe me if I said I've been streaming for almost six hours after also streaming? Oh my God, the game was paused for this morning. It's almost like I like, I like the dopamine I get from the video game, you know? Oh yeah, you guys maybe maybe stop mining this stuff. Maybe this stuff is like not as important as the other stuff, okay? You can you can like stop mining this for now. Th this is less important than the other stuff, okay? I really need you guys to build, you know, my aquifer stuff. I want to go deeper. Come on, you guys. It's time. It's time we go deeper. It's time we go into the cave. It's time we finally have our stuff set up. How long does it usually take you all to move deeper into the mine? Because now I realize I can pretty much live overground for a pretty long time and get everything set up and then, you know, move deeper, deeper down. Red tourmaline, don't worry, I'll go mine it later. Thank you, Lyra. You can live on the surface. I somehow feel like that kind of escapes the whole point of the game. You know? You usually try to use your starting supplies. Okay, so you basically like don't make caves and stuff like that up top. Uh, sorry, you don't make like beds and stuff. Um, You don't make like a room up top. You just go straight into that. Interesting. She's at it again. She won't stop. She's digging straight into the sack of four and she doesn't care. Damn it. She just, she just doesn't care. Do you know anybody else more stubborn? I'm, I know I'm being so unreasonably stubborn, but I don't care. I have these tiny little kids that won't grow up. I have this child without a job. I just hope we start hunting people and eventually butchering people. Okay, Lore the stonemason doesn't have a job. That's because I had, like, locked him in a stonemasonry. So now that I move away from the stonemasonry, he should, again, have a job, correct? And just do random stuff. Thank you, Chris. I yearn for the depths. So do the children. Let me open this up a little bit. Good music. Lame Gamer, thank you for the five gifted. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Okay, these boars are terrified. Why? Are we hunting them? What's going on? Are we hunting these boars yet? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you mean militia commander no job? You can hunt. Do you not have anybody to hunt? 
Have ye not made bolts for you? Let's make bolts for the militia commander, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. You can build children prisons? That's a little, you know. Yeah, I unfortunately recently played a map right before this one where, yes, my, um, my river was frozen when I started. And then, of course, it unfroze and um, I died. <laughs> it was fun. You can build child training rooms. Tell me more. Where do I start? Where do I sign up? So I do a train. I make this zone into a training room, correct? And then. How would I do that? I think a little child daycare would be amazing. Also, I think this wood is an insane amount. I. I did not realize just how much wood I'll be always having. You know? Oh, I should have just went down. No. It's fine. 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 We're doing fine. We're doing great. Nobody worry. All right. Let's dig here and quickly cover it up. All right? Quickly, everybody. Quickly cover it up. Cover it up. Build. Instructions. Wall. Oh, no. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by harvest sentient mermaids? So later in the game, I'm guessing when you find like the deeper mines, there's going to be mermaids and stuff. Already people told me that there's going to be trees underground. So I can assume there's going to be fish, trees and stuff like that. Give me the story. Give me the rundown. I want to know. Also, let me just in case check that I'm not missing any important messages. Um, let me just make sure I'm not missing any important messages anywhere. Uh, I, okay, I think Giga is making Zen say things, right? Because Giga just wrote, kitten, please unblock me. I'm sorry I tagged you in a spoken word mumble rap about feet. I know your grandma sees your Twitter. Please, kitten. There's a darkness inside me. The plot of Sonic Adventure 2 really fucked me up. Some might call me twisted. What is this? What is this? What is that? What is that? Can somebody please explain? Oh, Deliot, that's so terrifying. I see what you mean. Like that is actually that is actually some some shit. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. So she has become a brewer. Hold on. So having a dedicated brewer could make sense. Should you have a dedicated brewer and cook, maybe? What does Stodir do? Stodir Geshut. Stodir. Who are you, Stodir? What do you do for me? Oh. You aren't doing anything for me. You were worthless. Damn. I do have a dedicated cook, I think. Oh, I guess he can be my cook and brewer. Would that make sense? Where it's just him cooking and brewing. That's his job. He cooks, he brews. He cooks, he brews. He cooks, he brews. Oh, you tend to keep them separate? Whoops. I guess for now, while I don't have enough people. But later, maybe? I guess it would have made sense to make the farmer brew, huh? Now that I understand job systems, I feel like I would assign things a little differently from the start. 
because now I'm confused. And I think I would have named my people. Next time, after we die in this one, which might not happen soon because I, I don't think I'm... Ooh. I don't think I'm getting, like, killed anytime soon, unfortunately. I, um... I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon. I'm too good. Um, I really want to kind of get better at naming people so that I'll, I can be like, Farmer Cook. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the good old naming system. The best naming system. No, I know it can happen at any second. And the problem is, I think right now I'm feeling super cocky because I haven't been attacked because I'm in a really safe biome. So right now I'm thinking like, oh my God, I'm never going to die. Things are fine. Things are good. I got nothing to worry about. Oh no, I got stuff to worry about. I got stuff to worry about. Definitely. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Ooh, Amata. That would work nice. I like that. Alcohol poisoning? No. That's actually kind of funny. I'm sorry. Um, obviously, Kitty's dying is very sad in the real world. But in a video game, the fact that it was coded that like your cat can lick itself and die of alcohol poisoning is kind of funny. Also, don't I have my people like getting all my... How do I have so much drink when I thought I only had like I just want to know why I have so much drink. 320 logs, which is a lot. 500 something stones, which is a lot. Plants, a lot. I have a lot of these leeks and stuff. I guess they're not cooking them yet. I guess I have too much everything. Where is my drinks? Oh my God, we are absolute alcoholics. I feel like in RimWorld, when I get attacked, this would absolutely destroy me. Like I should not have this many things set up, correct? When... Like, I feel like in RimWorld, this is very noob to have, like, all so, so much everything. It, it feels like it's it's probably not a good idea to do so. But maybe because I'm in the safe biome, it's, like, less bad. So I don't know. They're dwarves. Alcoholism is the bare minimum. I get... Oh, no, not the pink tourmaline. It's fine. It's fine. There will be other pink tourmalines. Shinier, brighter, more beautiful. There will be others. I wonder if this rock right here is actually showing me that there's, like, something special. I want to see. I want to try. Is it? Is that what it means? Because it looked like they're... Oh, I, can, I think it's just the way... The map is made. Never mind. I thought it was goodies. I thought it was like, ooh, there's something special there. But I think eventually I might I might have to like strip mine this. Right? I think eventually I'll probably just have to strip mine everything. All right. Back to reality, everybody. Chop, chop. We got stuff to do. We got people to see. I like how the only thing I've been focusing for the last hour is this stupid aquaphor. It's true, ya boy. Absolutely agreed. So it's kind of cool that here it's like a lot more chill, you know? You can kind of take your time with stuff and it's fine. All right. Go up. Down, down, down into the ring of fire. But we're going down here.
you also get goblins stealing your things. Ooh. I wonder when the goblins will come, you know? Because they will come. But when? So, I haven't really noticed my hunter hunting yet. Why is that? Is it because she doesn't have bolts? Fairy remains? Uh-oh. If they will only hunt if they have tools and something to come. There's there's boars, though. Oh, no. Why are you guys scared? Who did you fight? She is terrified while in conflict? Magpie. Okay. Did the magpie really attack them? No way. Oh, I see. Military and hunter dwarves are different. All right, so that means I'm going to take her off of military. Maybe that's the problem. So for now, miss, I don't need you in military. Okay, let's do that. Let's hope this makes her hunt more people. It's like, I, I would like for her to, you know, murder. Blue Jay remains. Ooh. How do I know if it's... Hmm. I wish I could auto set the butcher. Yeah, I have this auto set, but hmm. Is this also cooking? Dabbling butcher. What is that table? Is this the butcher's table or is that the kitchen? What what does that look like? That looks like the kitchen, right everybody? No, no, no. This right here. Oh, I think that's my cook. That's my cook and my brewer. All right. They're already pretty busy. So then maybe I can make my brewer and my butcher. You can manually set up a forest butchering. I did. I put in work orders. So hopefully that does it. Hopefully. Oh, okay, that's why. I thought all Blue Jays were made the same, but apparently they aren't. Wait, TV Shredge. Oh, is that my dog? Look, 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 look. I thought it, oh my goodness, it says Dolomite. I thought it said Sodomite. I was like, why is that important information about this boar? That's... <laughs> I genuinely thought it said that. It really caught me off guard. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've been streaming too long today. Oh my god. The hunter needs to bring the animal to the butcher shop after hunting. And then the order is started. So these boars right here should be getting hunted. But they are not. Where is the woodcutter, planter? Perfect. I just want you to hunt for now. Well, actually, I want you to do other things. So maybe I'll, I'll take the hunting off of, like, priority. But I would like you to... Oh, God. Sorry. I forgot where everything is. I'm so overwhelmed. I want you to do other things as well. Legendary miner... And Grandmaster Miner. Y'all see this? Y'all see this shit? And my Carpenter, actually, I think he came Legendary, right, everybody? If I remember correctly, I think he came Legendary. Also, I don't think I need to force restrict him to these because he's also going to, like, automatically go to them, right? It's like I don't need to force restrict him to here because he's automatically go going to go there. Same to here. I do want to force my best miners to stay on mining, though. Thank 
you, Kuru. I really appreciate it. Welcome, darling. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Look, look, look. The problem now with all these boars is that there's four of them. So what are we going to do? Right now I have two miners. And for now even like one is a for real miner and the other one's just kind of helping him out. You trained your carpenter to become legendary. Ooh. Oh, I see. That's why. Well, you know what? He deserves it. He's made so much stuff. <laughs> you don't understand. He's been stuck here. I have kept him here forever. He's been truly, truly stuck here. Okay. Good for him. Good for him. I have kept him here for such a long time. All right. I have kept him here forever. Should I make some wooden weapons while we're here? Uh, maybe the training swords for the kids? Training spears, training swords? How would that work? Because those kids, when they grow up, they are going instantly into war. You have so much weapon, metal is the way to go. Um, well, the problem is I haven't yet made a metal worker. God. I almost feel like the fisher and the hunter should have been the same person. Like the fisher and the butcher should have been the same person. Because there's like, I don't think there's enough job for both of them to be that fully busy. At least now. I don't know. Am I wrong? You know? Official will fish until they go instinct. Uh, but they're not going to go instinct, right? Because there's migration. You get so many dwarves, it's fine to special. Yeah, I guess I will, huh? I guess I will. Oh my god, it's already midnight. It's already midnight. My goodness. Time flies. Can somebody check my schedule really quickly on Twitter? Do I, I stream only at 6 tomorrow, right? If you want, you can make cage traps and breed the boars. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Instead of hunting them. Who would trap the boar, though, is the question. Would a hunter trap the boar? Or only at 6 tomorrow, thank you. Tomorrow, the Giga Surprise. No, I think that's not tomorrow. I think that's um, Friday. Tomorrow's not Friday, is it? Oh, okay. So I basically would need to put the cage traps in a way that the boars would step on them. Ooh. <gasps> I want everything to be built in quartzite wall. I want everything to be built in quartzite wall. I demand it. It is so pretty. I want every single thing to be built like this. I'm just saying. Tomorrow is Wednesday or Thursday? By the way. <laughs> Which one is tomorrow? It is my color. Masterpiece Willow Cage. Well, listen, people are going to be so happy taking a look at that cage. Despite all my rage. All right, so let's make a few wooden cages and then what... How would I place the cages? Um, let me try. Let me try searching for it. Uh, military. Armor set. No, 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 no. Cages, restraints. Rope chain cage. Animal trap. Animal traps can be placed in the wild and baited with meat. Ooh. 
Oh, but this is a small creature. So this could be for like birds and stuff, right? Hmm. Is there any reason to breed birds? Nice. All right. Um, and I'm guessing later you can have like an animal trainer. Hmm. Interesting. You want to bait with gems? You want to bait magpies, right? Because it's uh, all shiny and they're going to see it and be like, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> okay, the fact that this child, this useless three-year-old child that hasn't done shit, I'm sorry for my language, but this pisses me off, is complaining? Buddy, what are you complaining about? Your life is perfect here. Your life is perfect. Okay, so now, how would I get the boar trapped in this cage is the question. Or does the boar just have to walk into the cage? Or are the boars considered tiny little animals? Put the child in the cage. No, 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 no. We're good without that. No, the children yearn for war. Oh, okay, never mind then. So then remove, no, remove, 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 remove. All right, all right, let me try again. So build cages and restraints, animal trap. But this is only going to catch, some, oh, traps. Cage. Cage traps. I don't know if I can do this. All right, so this would make sense. If I, like, put cages right here and then I attack the boar and, like, move into the cage... All right, y'all, this is too much work for me. I need my hunter to go kill them. Why is my hunter not killing the boars is the question. What do you mean no? Wait, 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 wait. How is there no seeds for the plump stuff, by the way? I have them set to not be cooked. I have them set to not be cooked. No one's eating them? Are they being brewed? Do I just have too much other stuff that they haven't even been brewing them? Oh, okay. So they probably didn't even brew them yet. That's why. Okay. Okay. That's probably why. There's just too much stuff. All right. Uh, let's get down back to business. Sorry for that, everybody. I got I swear I cannot end the stream today if I don't mine finally to the place that I desire. I need to mine to the place that I desire. Minus four. We are so close. Minus four. We are so close. Let's keep going. I want to start building my somewhat forever home. Sunberry seeds making sunshine. Good biome only booze. Oh, you only get them here, right? Is that why it's biome only? I feel like there's so much depth in this game that I haven't even remotely gotten close to just the amount of depth of like all the different metals all the different dirts all the different things there's just so much stuff you hope the aquifer doesn't extend to level four we keep digging we keep digging if it does is that a dead olm interesting if it does we keep digging We keep digging if it does. I don't know what to tell you. I am not a quitter. 
Okay. I kill floor with invades in your forever home. So how is it going to work for like the enemies that are going to attack me? Are they going to basically go down my stairs? Because if so, I should place traps in my stairs, right? Right? Something like that. Oh, my God. Do you think I'm of beekeeping age? Can you believe all this peace? I have not yet known war. I am so green. I have still yet, you know, I've not known winter or war. Here I am feeling cocky. Oh, wait, I got to make sure they don't, I don't make the same rookie mistake as before. We are peaceful, sweet summer children who have never known war. Who are you? A stray dog. Hello, little guy. All right, you know what this means? Animal training. Hello, little guy. Hello. We got a little guy. In the animal training. So this means we can go and set up our animals. Creatures. All right. Who wants him as a pet? Who wants him as a pet? Hmm? Who wants this little guy as a pet? All yours. Good night, Pedia. Take it, take it easy. I want to say take care, take it easy. But I talk too quickly. Please, God. I wish for the sack before to end. I really like high fantasy stuff, but I was more into Harry Potter than Lord of the Rings. That being said, um, I'm definitely more into fantasy things in general. Just, oh no, I pressed F1. No. And I know what you're all going to say. Why don't you just, you know, set your next hotkey. God, we have a dead fairy. I feel so bad. But there are some fairies I know that deserve the death so that fairy was innocent but others not so much others are not all right let's build a wall shall we we're back to building a wall this little light of my oh wait a second i again i'm about to make the rookie mistake i hate how you can't just erase the wall building Have I read any of the Warhammer books? I've not read the Warhammer fantasy books. Okay, straight war dog. I've not read the Warhammer fantasy books, but I have read some of the 40K ones. And um, <clears throat> did you know that we have a Warhammer book club? Hmm? 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 November 19th, we are gathering together. And talking about it. Exciting. Oh, yeah. Okay. I did press play. This feels like it's been the most exciting Dwarf Fortress content. Just me versus me being too stubborn versus this Aquaphor. I have the info on my Twitter, I think, and I'm going to update my panels, but it's going to be the infinite and the divine. I think we have, if you type exclamation mark book club, it's going to give you some info. I think, right? I know the mods were kind of busy with adding some stuff. Man. We're almost at minus four. We're almost at minus four. We're doing this. It's happening. Come on. Come on, game. Please grant me. Grant me more aqua. 
but wait a second. So this was an aquaphor, but the stuff around it isn't? Oh no. Oh no, I have made a grave mistake. I have made a grave and continuous lapse in my judgment. Uh oh. Uh oh. So I already kind of know that I'm not supposed to open the caves. That bad things will come through the caves. That being said, I'm not seeing an opening for monsters, but I could potentially, like, what, accidentally mine there? So I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Build a door, wall it off. So right now, for now, I'm good here, right? Oh, we did it, y'all. We are doing stuff. Look at us go. That's exciting. What the heck? Oh, we need to make the wall here. We're doing it. We finally dug. Look at how much new stuff I learned today. Oh. So, just to be clear, right now, this area is safe, right? Or would I need to wall off the water? If I, like, dig out, for example, all of this and this and then, like, wall it off, I could just have... I can just have um, my animals live there sort of in peace. You probably clipped it below. Oh. Oh, sh shit. I am safe from everything except climbers and flyers. That's like everything. Why, why was my lucky number the unluckiest ones? All right. How do I close this off? Because I am definitely not ready. Um, how do I go ahead and close this off? Is there a safe way? Just build walls. Okay, you guys get back up. You guys get back up. Stop. Hatches. Okay. So, you guys can come back up and basically, like, wall off. Okay, let's cut here and then let's cut here. And then basically just put walls around one of them. So if I like went up and then put walls around here, we'd never be able to go down and it'd be good. Okay. So just again to check, down here if I just wall this off, we're safe for now until something bad. Oh my god, how scary. How scary. Now I'm really playing the game. All right, so people said I should dig until my first cave layer. Seems like I did. So yay me. Wall in the cavern itself. So right here. And then up here, I can place walls over the... I just need to make sure this guy is like, what is this guy doing? Stop, 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 stop. Please. Please stop. Please stop. Go back. All right. Uh-oh. A butt bag. A butt. Wait, what was his name? Bug bat? Butt bag. Seems not good. All right, where's my other guy? I need to make sure I don't accidentally leave a miner down here. Because that would be not good. All right. So this is good. And now I'm going to build this just a little bit thicker and then build walls around this. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I'll do it. Oh my God, there's so much 
some gems there. So then how does this work? So here, for example, if I dig into it, it's still... Oh, creatures can move through corners. Shit. So how does it work? Technically, that place right here is somewhat open, right? So people would be able to come. If I build up to there from the bottom here, they'll be able to fly up because it's open. Right? There are natural ramps. Oh, oh, oh. Um, um, that seems very scary. <laughs> that seems extremely not good. Um, and maybe this could be the end of the run. Do not GG me, my child. I will be saved. No, 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 So I have a feeling this is a bad guy. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Um. So how can I block this off? You guys wanted me to, like, deconstruct the stairs, basically, right? So how do I make sure that my guys aren't going to be trapped down? All right. So if I deconstruct the stairs, I'm kind of safe. Ah! And it saves just as this happens. No! I think they're going to be climbing too fast. Face is too fast. You just won't last. I got a wall up here. If I can even do it in time. Uh-oh. 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 What? Who's been vomiting here? What's going on here? Ruin has come to this live stream. Oh, God. Well, I have to say, maybe this is perfect because I have streamed for um, four hours this morning. And this is what? Six and a half hours. So maybe this is good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, everybody. I think this was perfect. Unfortunately, I think when I restart, I will abandon this base and start again anew. But now I have learned. Every time we play, I learn more things. Do you remember our fortress? Opulent and imperial. Can we see what happens? Actually, good idea. Let's see what the horse is going to do. Oh, my God. The horses are coming. So you better run. Run fast for your mother. Fast for your father. Run for your sisters, for your mother and your brother. Oh, they're terrified. Okay, wait, wait. Don't undo the stairs because now you're going to trap the horses in here. Don't do that. So, if I just, like, close off here, we're fine. And I don't actually have to restart. Not me giving up before before the cooking gets cooked. Aw, 
honestly, they're just horses. Scary horses. They're scary, scary horses. Just make a couple of doors. You could tame them even. Maybe. Let me save. Stinky Zen Treya. Let me save. Imagine we just have zombie horse cheese. That sounds a little strange. No, I don't think the run's over. I think next time when I play, I'm going to log back in. And possibly it might be this Friday because I still don't know what... Um, you know what I can do in the future when I'm digging down this down? I could start putting traps. Like, yeah. Like if I had, for example, put traps right here, they would have both gotten into the trap. Right? But then, would the cage trap have sprung by itself or no? Is the question. Thank you, Velotikan. I'm definitely going to take a look after. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to save for now and be done just because I've streamed for 10 and a half hours today. I really need to do groceries tomorrow. Um, but we are going to talk a little bit before I go. Gonna get all close and personal and getting social with you. I'm even gonna take off my my antenna. I know you all say the antenna stays on during gaming, but at least let me take it off. After. Ah, this game was really fun. I did not notice the time go by. I feel like I learned a lot, and I feel like I definitely need to learn to manage the dwarfs a little bit better. But now that I kind of understand how management works. Yeah, I get it. So how do I get out of the game without save and return to the title menu? There we go. Save this timeline. You learned a ton. Yeah, that's actually okay. I need to pee really, really quickly because I've been drinking so much water. But when I'm back, can we talk about if anybody here also learned new things about this game, even though you've played it a lot? Ru, uh, not Ru Shipa, thank you. That makes me really happy because I feel like actually watching people stream this game and give advice can probably help so, so much. So give me a moment. I will be right back. Yes, yes, I will play the ads. <laughs> I will, okay, honey. Anything you say. Oh my God. I will play some ads, and then I am going to raid um, somebody. Probably Hen or probably Mousy. I don't know yet. We'll see. Hmm. Lexer, I don't even want to look. We're about to hit 11k, which is insane. Which is insane. Because I debuted it 10 days ago. Two of those, like one stream was scuffed. I think two. Did I? No, I only had one scuffed stream, right? Don't say every stream was scuffed. But you know what I mean. There was only one time where I couldn't deliver on the content. Okay, let me rephrase that. There was many times where I couldn't deliver on the content promise. Example, scary games with Zen. But there was only one time where I didn't continue streaming after the scuff. Every other time I continued. Every stream is amazing. I don't know what that means, penalty, because I just played like for the first time. So I don't even know what that means. Okay, let me pee finally. God damn it. I have to go pee. And let me make some more tea. And then, oh God. Oh God, so many video games. Oh. Give me a moment, okay?
I see that you have all decided to spoil me while I am away. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. I'm not mad. You know? Please, please wait for the alerts. I beg you. We don't even have alerts yet. Please, we don't even have alerts. Please. Please be gentle. Ow, ow, ow. I gotta ask the girls if on stream I can like play their songs. You know, especially some of the originals. I gotta talk to Vishojo about giving us like a little playlist of the song so I can listen to the song. Mother, mother, I crave violence. Mother, mother, I crave violence. Grim, thank you so much for the five gifted. Let's, oh, I think the ads are done. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, we are so, I don't want to refresh because we're going to hit 11K. And the fact that I don't even have alerts. I don't even have alerts because I didn't want to get overwhelmed with the amount of, you know, alerts and sounds and everything. Whoa. Oh my God. Hiroka, thank you so much. Well, all right, I'm going to end the stream. Goodbye. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I want to talk to everybody, even if you are absolutely killing me here. Um, uh, thank you for 11,000 uh, subscribers. <laughs> um, it, it feels kind of crazy to say that. No more. We did it. T you told me 10K was the maximum for Twitch emotes. So now that we hit 11k, no more. We're good. We're we're good. I I uh we're good, right? We're good. We lied. I know you're stinky little liars. Thank you so much, Piroka, for the 50 subs. I hope a lot of people got subs gifted. Remember, we have a Discord that anybody can join, but if you are subscribed, you can also chat. Please exclamation mark Discord, get in there, connect, and if you got, you know. If you got a gifted subscription, see if you like it there. We got a few rooms right now. We don't have that many rooms to chat in because we're kind of trying to figure how things are going to go. Count, thank you so much for the for the subs. Thank you. 40K subs before the next Warhammer stream. No, no, no. It's Sunday. I could stare at your smile all day. Thank you, Gold. I love it. I'm going to get even better lights, so it's going to be even better tracking. Kate kills. Didn't you? Oh my god, thank you so much for the What the hell? <laughs> <gasps> no, well, no, not 40k subs before the end of the year. No, 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 no. What are we gonna do then after we hit, you know, I, I know you're all gonna actually do that and try to do that. So then what are you gonna do after? You got a new badge? I saw the red one. Thank you so much. Subs for the sub throne. Blood for the blood mom. Thank you, silly. I appreciate it. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to do 50,000. Duh. 80K, double the emperor's glory. No, then it would have to be 100,000. What is it? 1,000K. Because the emperor eats 1,000 souls per day of psychers. Alice, thank you so much for the gifted. And DFI Delta, thank you for the gifted. Please, I don't have alerts. Let me at least get alerts, please. I beg you, let me at least get alerts. I beg you. Yeah, I was actually thinking what kind of Warhammer... Um, I, I want to be a little bit careful with copyright. I know Twitch is like kind of no man's land and free-for-all for... -all for copyright but i still want to be careful like sometimes when i see people with like definitely copyrighted emotes i'm like Oof. i just want to be careful <laughs> um so if we have any ideas please let me know in the discord and stuff please let me know heresy detected Ooh, that's good thank you everybody and thank you jeffrey i like how you gifted subs before actually coming in <laughs> 
You weren't even sub, but you were already giving people. It's like the plague. You're giving people the plague, but you don't even have it yet. Speaking of, I'm really, really excited for Sunday. I keep thinking about everything that I discovered with Mechanic as last time and like how much there is to it. I'm really, really excited. I'm also going to be uploading a few emotes from the Discord onto Twitch. The only thing is, I'm kind of not sure. I need to talk to the girl. There's a few emotes, which, for example, I love in the Discord. For example, they're very um, JoJo's Bizarre. Like, it's just the face from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on the Momo. But I still kind of worry that it might be copyright. Have I played Bolt Gun? So my goal after I finish Mechanicus, right now I'm playing Dark Tide with... Um, I played this morning. I want to play more Dark Tide, get a little better at it. Um, eventually, I would love to play Bolt Gun. But like one of the games I would love to play maybe in December, it's Dark Crusade. You all told me it's easier than StarCraft and it's got my homeboys, the Necrons. The reason I initially fell for Warhammer was Mechanicus and um, Dark, I call it Dark Crusade, but Dark Crusade. And then I looked up a VOD of it and you just have the little, the little like, oh, they have their little guns and it's all like plasma looking, you so cute. I love it. Razorius, I'm not sure what that means. Nisnayo SMS. Also, I've been meaning to check out the game that Zen was talking about, the Robocop game. It could be interesting to check it out when it's out. It could be really interesting to check it out. Oh, Razoria, I think they talked about it, but I think I can't watch it yet because it's going to spoil some of the um, Warhammer for me. Oh, stop, Mike. That's insane. I don't know where you even read that, but that is insane. That is crazy. You wish there was a Warhammer MMO? Don't wish too hard. It might happen. I feel like... It seems that like a lot of more streamers are getting into Warhammer. It seems like it's like people got into D&D during COVID a lot more than ever before. So now it feels like now it's the next kind of thing. Because there's always something that's like kind of reaching the mainstream, right? First it was anime, then it was D&D. So hmm, you never know, maybe it could. Do I have plans to play StarCraft? I played StarCraft not long ago, and I took forever on, like, the last Terran mission. I think I had to reset it many, many times. So I got to be honest with you. My way of playing games is usually just getting more loot than my enemy. <laughs> I'm not good at games, so I always try to, like, oh, out-strategize. But in StarCraft, you actually have to out-micro, because eventually you run out of resources. And I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> They need a Tyranids. Love them. They're, they're, they're my Bugsy boys and they're colored like me. And I'm just, I'm too old. Like, look, you saw me today barely clicking like the B and the O and then the T, right? Because I kept clicking BW because in my head, I'm like, build workshop. Instead of being B-O-T, I'd be like, oh, build workshop, you know? <laughs> so... You've seen my micro. I just, you know, I'm I'm here for a good time, not a competitive and hard time. That's what I'm here for. That that's what I'm here for. That's what I do. Yeah, I really love the Tyranids. It really does feel like they are absolute Zergy boys. It feels like they are absolute little Zergy boys. Just, you know, cuter, cuter colored. I love it. Orcs are Zerg, but funny. No, orcs are definitely different. I read a book about the orcs, uh, Brutal Kooning, and I feel like they're definitely different. I heard about it, Angel. I heard that initially StarCraft was supposed to be a Warhammer game, which is crazy right because now starcraft was such a success in its own dark link it wasn't even on purpose but you know when i was kind of talking about the concept i i didn't give a photo of 
the gene stealers. But I definitely mentioned to like, I had posted like pictures of Kerrigan and I had like, I think it was mainly Kerrigan, a little bit of Lilith and um, Rhea from Fire Emblem because I think she's very motherly and nice. Um, and I kind of like that, you know, spoiler, monster in a dress type of vibes. So I really love that. And um, I did also tell, you know, the initial concept artist to also look at stuff like Warhammer and look at stuff like Starcraft, etc. So, yeah. I think um, it's more the body that I know it looks a little bit like a Gundam or it looks a little bit more like a Bugs armor and chitin. But initially, like the my concept artist, I really love the way they draw scales. So initially, like my body was supposed to maybe be a little scaly, but I really like how it ended up being kind of more of this almost like mecha futuristic bug armor, you know, instead of the scales because I think the scales are great but like um I think Kerrigan is a little bit more scaly and so was kind of what's her name Lilith from Diablo she kind of had scales but they were almost like armor scales yeah I'm almost like a mecha space bug I feel like if you take off my dress it almost looks like the body of a mech and it's really really cool because I wanted I wanted my naked body to be armor and here I am. Here I am. My naked body armor. <laughs> also, thank you everybody for the train. You are absolutely crazy. Thank you for spoiling me. Thank you for spoiling me. Thank you for everything. Uh, we actually have made this joke before that maybe once you open me inside of my big head. Notice how big my forehead is. Do you see it? What if inside my big forehead is just a Momo highlighting me? What if I am the one Momo that gains sentience from all the other Momos? I am the first, I am the first Momo. All other Momos were formed from my ribs. What if, you know? I am the one that gains sent sentience. I am the Momo brood mother, exactly. Which is why you always connect with me. I am the Momo Prime. <laughs> I am the Prime Momo. The Mama. The Prime Momo. Creator God Momo. We lower Momos must follow Mama Momo's command exactly. I know, isn't it great? The hair twitches. I love it. I'm kind of, um, you know, I'm already planning some more outfits in the future, but a part of me kind of worries. Is it, you know, what if it, what if it's going to be less buggy? Hmm. Definitely what I want to do for one of my next outfits is I want to have a toggle for much smaller antenna. I love my big antenna and I wanted them to be big, but I initially got my big antenna and my big claws because I thought, all right, I can just always, you know, toggle them off and take them off. But you all want the antenna to stay on. Why? Why do you want the antenna to always stay on, huh? Why? You want the antenna on during gameplay. So probably if I have an outfit where my hair is a little less big, I'm also going to try to get my antenna probably a little less big as well so that we can have it more often in the game. Yeah. You look bald without them. No, I feel like I have helmet head or like hat head a little bit, no? And I love it. I think it looks so cute. I look like I have a little ball head. Hat hair. No, it's cute. I like it. I just have a big head. Hey, it's me with my big head. All right, let me put my... Oh, sorry. Let me put my, my everything in defense mode, okay? It's illegal to be this cute. Also, I have so many toggles that I never even get to show you. It makes me sad. I never use this one. Hmm. <laughs> 
And this one either is cute. And of course, when's the last time I said good morning to you with my toggle, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 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 still new at all of this. It's only been a week. It's technically been like 10 days. I'm almost at my two weeks in, I know we just had a week, but like, I'm halfway to my second week in Vishojo. And I still haven't updated my panel. Mom hugs my beloved. Mm -hmm. Right, Tattoo? It feels like I've been here forever. 10 days and 30 streams already. All right, now you're counting all the ones that disconnected, you jerk. I like that. Where are my pills? Are the claw spikes sharp? They are. So I grab you and then, you know, you just got to hope. You just got to hope you don't get hurt. It feels like longer. Hmm, Leonardo. Hmm, suspicious. Feels like you've known me for much longer than that. Hmm. Nope, just your imagination. <laughs> Must have been a dream. <laughs> Must have been a dream. Ooh, I am going to make the Momos a little jealous. I'm sorry. Um, what, what do we call the moderators again? Hold on. We call them the... Ma moderators. Mo moderators. Ma moderators. Cute. 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 I am going to tell you something that might make you a little sad, but I'm going to do it anyway because you need to learn that this is the unfairness of life. Yesterday, I told a few of the mods a few things I'm working on. Because after Ayuki helped me with setting all my stuff, uh, Ayuki and Hyuni were talking in stream, and I joined because I was trans. I was working on some stuff, and I needed like the company. And uh, I did tell. Again, I did ask them if they were okay with me kind of spoiling the project a little bit, but yeah, I did talk about two little things I'm working on, uh, which I I. I think worst case, even if the projects are delivered maybe a week after Vishojo's three-year anniversary, it's better, you know, it's better than nothing. So, mm, we'll see. Even if it's just a little late, just because right now I have, what, a month to do a music video, commission stuff, but then I'm also commissioning a lot of other stuff or some stuff that I can't tell you about because you'll see... And then, you know, it's a music video and then also a, a release for something else. And, oh, it's a lot. So worst case, I think, even if it happens like first week of December of something, I think it's fine. Not first week, sorry. Last week of November, I think it's fine. Uh, and then I have something for you for Christmas. <laughs> but it's going to happen before Christmas. So I have a lot of stuff for you. Which is why me streaming 11 hours today almost is amazing. But... It's also eating up a lot of my time. Eating up a lot of my time, too. <laughs> uh, Ray, unfortunately, I'm not really, you know, if I accept DMs from one person, I have to accept DMs from everybody. But you can always come into the Discord and chat with everybody there. And I'm very active in it. Um, you know, some days I'm a little bit more active than others. But I'm very active in it, you know, um, stuff like that. Do I accept fan letters? Not at the moment. Uh, eventually, I want to figure out if I'm moving, where I'm moving, what I'm doing. And if I do that, I will then figure out. Um, I guess I can talk about it a little bit because, you know, it's I, I don't think there's any fault in doing that. Um, not to sound like a weeb. Do you know where this is going? Where do you think? What do you think I'm going to say? I know, I know, and I've seen the videos. I've heard that Japan, you know, it, it's not, you know, there's also bad sides to Japan, of course. It's hard to make friends, the work culture, the loneliness. But as a content creator, 
who, you know, there's already staff in Japan. There's um, Hime Hajime's grandma in Japan. There's a lot of folk there. So even if it would happen for, say, like two years or something, it would be really nice. And it would be really, really cool to, um, yeah, just see how it is. And, you know, if, I, I wouldn't want to be there forever, but... For just a few years, I think it's really nice that I'm working this job that can grab me that kind of freedom and that kind of stuff. Just wanted to say hi. It was good to see you in Mel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your name was Neonzies? I wrote you down as Neonzies. You were wearing the, the purple wig, right? And we were joking that you were be going to be become like Mel. We were joking that you and Mel were going to have like a fight to the death. A battle royale to be the ultimate Mel. I wrote you down as Neonzies. My bad. Let me change that. Neons, Neonzies. It was good meeting you. Thank you for waiting in the in the meeting greet. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And thank you for meeting us. And thank you for wanting to fight Mel to the death because she's getting stronger and stronger. So. Not right now, but my goal is to hopefully like next year get all my proper paperwork in order for everything. Um, make sure that I get kind of things set up because now that I'm able to hire assistants and things like that, I want to make sure I have a really good funnel for, you know, everything. After I kind of like take a look at my finances, my living situation, everything, um, I would like to take a serious look at if I would want to go to Japan or maybe the United States. Does this mean we're changing schools? No, we're staying. You're staying, you're staying. This is not going anywhere. This is staying the same time. Nothing's changing, my, my loves. Would I still stream this hours in Japan? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Especially because I, I would pretty much have the night free, I guess. So it makes sense. Mm. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So I, that's why one of the reasons, too, that I'm going to be going to Japan for a little bit longer this year in February, just to kind of see how it feels, kind of see how I like it. Also, I don't have to live in Japan either, right? I can always just travel to Japan very often. And especially now that, you know, I'll be able to use the IRL backpack and things like that. Once I become better at like piloting the flesh body that I'm inhabiting, um, once I become better at piloting like the flesh, the flesh Gundam, hopefully like I can, I don't need to move to Japan to just kind of visit Japan very often. Uh, but for the United States, I previously had lived in LA and I loved it. I don't really want to move to LA just because everyone kind of moved away everyone's living far mm. but at the same time there's so much events happening and things like that and I know there's a lot of like mocap studios and things like that plus from LA it's a lot easier to go to Japan but I think I would maybe go to Vegas I have a lot of pals that live in Vegas um, I used to go to Vegas a lot for gambling <laughs> so I feel like if you want to be near LA it's probably cheaper and easier to fly from Vegas to LA than it is to drive from I don't know Orange County to downtown LA you know so it might be a lot easier to just be in Vegas and just you know fly into LA for the weekend than actually drive somewhere. <laughs> I thought Jerma lived in Massachusetts. Does he actually live in Vegas? I had no idea. It's the Jerma danger zone. Oh God. Well, it's fine. If I if I meet Jerma, I will infest his body and inhabit him and pilot him. So that's the thing. You don't have to fly into LAX. You can fly into like Studio City has an airport. Orange County, like Santa Ana has an airport. You don't have to fly into LAX ever. So it would be so much easier to do that. So those are kind of like my top two options. Ryo, thank you so much for the for the subscription. I appreciate it. 
yeah, Tape Man, that's the thing. I'll be honest. Look, it would be very sad if Japan banned IRL streaming. But with all the recent new stuff that I've been seeing, you know, if they do that in order to make stricter rules, I, you know, I get it. I completely, completely get it. I completely, completely get it. I feel like Japan has such a polite society that if people did have the stuff that they do in Japan, in the States, they get beat up. And it just doesn't happen in Japan. So if that's something that they choose to do, I completely get it. It would suck. I would be sad, but I get it. So also the thing is in Japan is you like, I, I don't even have to go full IRL. Um, I think, is it Emi Richu her name? I think I've seen her do videos where she reviews like cafes, but then she kind of draw some of it in and then she shows pictures and it's almost like a story time so again i wouldn't have to also live in japan to do those things right i wouldn't have to live in japan i can just always visit or travel or yeah yeah i thought it was really cool she reviewed some restaurants and she just kind of talked it was almost like a story time but it wasn't fully drawn it was half drawn and half kind of talked it was a really nice concept Rushi, I wish that for you. I think you're going to have a great time. I think you're going to have an amazing time. I know. I'm already going to be staying at Didi's for a little bit. I already talked to her. I already talked to her that not for too long because I want to stay in different places, but I'm definitely going to stay with her for a bit. Yeah, you're right, Pungent, but it kind of happens everywhere like this, right? It kind of happens everywhere like this, so it I get it. Like, it, it happens like that everywhere. <gasps> Dingo, I've never been during Sakura season. Please have so much fun. Science team member, I love your name. I love it. Yeah, we'll see. I definitely would like to. Um, yeah, I definitely would like to. Mm -hmm. But uh, only for a few years, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. But for that, I need to make sure that everything here in my life is kind of set in order. Right. If like I open everything business wise and stuff like that, I need to make sure all the, you know, all the lines are dotted, all the T's are crossed. So that's going to take me a few months at least to figure out. And then yeah, I'm going to start looking. I'm going to start seeing. I'm going to start visiting and seeing how I feel. Visiting a place and living in a place is very different. So yeah, Oliver, exactly. It's, it's you know, it's a lot of trouble. And, you know, for example, if I am living in... Vegas it's a lot easier to get around with English it's an airport hub so I can get to a ton of because that's one of the main reasons why I'm like maybe not considering Japan is because I would love to go to more conventions I feel like during quarantine I didn't get to experience any conventions and I miss going to conventions in person no Rushifa did you just get COVID from TwitchCon I'm so sorry so I, I feel like if I'm in Japan, it would be a really big shame to fly to everything. But if I'm in Vegas, you know, it's it's an airport hub. You can go anywhere. <laughs> you can go anywhere. Plus, Vegas has amazing food. Everyone's always coming to Vegas because there's always so much stuff happening. A lot of streamers there, a lot of streamer friends. It'll be fun. Yan Moro, this is actually my original BGM. It is made by Odyssey Eurobeat, and I have it posted on YouTube. If you want to listen to this BGM on YouTube or this one, I have both of them posted on the YouTube. If you just check it out, yeah. Mentai, thank you so much for the Prime. I really appreciate it. Slacker, I don't know. Like I said, it's a lot of stuff that I'd have to check. It's a lot of things that I'd have to... Um, look into which is why you know obviously i feel like now that i have this freedom to travel and to be anywhere my first instinct is like oh my god i want to go to japan 
But then my other instinct is thinking, well, I also want to go to conventions. I want to be, it's a lot easier to be in a place where everybody speaks English. Like going to Japan would help me a lot with my Japanese. I don't know. Well, good for me, Tayan, is I would be pretty much at home from what, five, uh, 3 p.m. to midnight every day to stream. So I'd miss the heat anyway. I'll go outside in the morning, which I love. So yeah. We'll see. All right, everybody. I gotta go. I've streamed for 11 hours total today. Um, four hours of the dark tide and now... Dwarf Fortress, I gotta rest up or I won't have the energy to be entertaining and cute tomorrow. And you deserve me at my best. Tomorrow is Vampire the Masquerade. Um, how far did I get last time? I uncovered a few mysteries. We, I think we got a, a decent chunk of stuff done. I can't wait to be back tomorrow. I'm gonna start the gameplay pretty quickly, by the way. I'm probably gonna try to start the gameplay 20 minutes into the stream. Eventually, also, when I get a longer loading stream, I might start stream a few minutes before 6 p.m. just to kind of, you know, get you all in here, corral you all in here, and then gaming time. What time does the stream start at? For the future, I always have a schedule posted and pinned on my Twitter. And also, if you join the Discord, even if you're not subscribed, you can still see all the schedules um, on the uh, in the Discord, so don't worry. Uh, but it is 6 p.m. Eastern that I typically start at most times. Unless, again, please check the schedule because today I did a stream at 11 a.m. And sometime when I streamed at night, people were saying, I didn't realize you were streaming twice. But it was on the schedule. I know the mods have been spoiling me. I would be nothing without the Twitch mods and the Discord mods and all the momos. All right. I gotta go. I feel like I'm gonna, I feel like any second my adrenaline's gonna end. I feel like any second my adrenaline's gonna end and I'm gonna go. So let's raid Iron Mouse. All right, everybody. Please, please tell her that you love her and she's amazing. And you know what? I might go chat with her and hang out with her a little bit in voice call and then let me get some water and I'm gonna jump in voice call, all right? Enjoy your streams, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, Sumomo, if you're going to bed. Good morning if you're waking up. And I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.